Welcome to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid for the PS1. This is Ron Moore along with Ravna Spectre and for the first time with us in a LP on SC2K, Mega Dan. How's it going? Pretty good, man. Thanks for having me on here, dude. Peace, Shaquin. Glad to be back. I know we haven't done any uh, streams or, or recordings or videos or anything in a while. Used to do it a lot. Kind of fell off the track, but hoping to get back into it again. Glad to be here. Yeah, this is the first LP in, in four months. The last one we did was uh, DuckTales. Okay. And I think the last thing we did on the channel, well, yeah, was DuckTales, the final part. And then sometime <laughs> before that, we interviewed Mega Dan, and then after that, uh, Retro Gaming Star. And so it's been pretty inactive for four months, and I really wanted to get this channel active again. I miss doing commentary with some people and trying to get Mexico in this one. Just could not get a hold of him. He's hard to get a hold of. I only can get a hold of him on Discord, and he already gets on there. Well, I appreciate ah, you hit, hitting life. me up. I appreciate you hitting me up, letting me be on here. Oh, yeah, and I thought, man, for this to a first LP in four months, what game <laughs> should it be, and who should be in it? Yeah, yeah I bet. <laughs> and uh, I said, dude, Mega Dan's never been in one of these. This would be freaking yeah. awesome. Can, can, I, can I tell the story of why I should be in this? Absolutely not. Anyway, no, I'm kidding. No, no, go ahead. So, uh, Ron Moore asks me to be in this, and I was like, okay, that's cool. And I'm like, well, so I thought he was going live, and I go, so what are we going to be playing, and you know, what video is this going to be on? I was just trying to understand it better. And he sends me the link to this to this video, and I'm like, of course you would pick Metal Gear Solid. And he starts laughing. So one time, when he was playing Metal Gear Solid a while back, I had came into his stream and I was watching him play it because he was apparently really good at it and he wanted to play through it again. And I was like, that's cool, man. I remember playing that when I was a kid. So, <laughs> you know how Ron Moore is with the ECW stuff? Yeah. Well, well it freaking cracks me up, man. So, um, <laughs> Snake, Ron Moore can do this better than me. But Ron, he, Ron was sitting there at the very beginning, which is what it's showing right now, is <laughs> it plays that music that, oh, and Ron would be sitting there going, E-C-W. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I come into the stream, and that's the first thing I hear, and I go, "What the heck is going on?" In this <laughs> so we always joke around about that stream, and that's why I'm like, "It's so ironic." I'm in here in a Metal Gear Solid stream for the first time, and he had to pick this game. So that's that's really funny. Man. Oh yeah, there are only, uh, there are other funny moments too regarding the, that uh, series of streams I did with this game. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, and he's gonna do it again. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. And this this is a good uh, game to uh, start off with again. Uh, st to, uh, get kickstart or kickstart, uh, jumpstart or revive. Kickstarting Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, kick S two K Kickstarter. Did you again. guys did you guys play this when this first came out? No. Oh yeah. I did not. I didn't play it till like 2000. Swindoll got me hooked on to it like 2001, around the time the second one came out. And he was telling me all about it, and he brought it over my house, and he played it, and then he got me hooked on it, on onto this game, then which got me hooked on to uh, Sons of Liberty as well. And I just got drawn into it. I had heard about this game when it first came out when I was in high school. People were talking about it, and mm -hmm. I was I was like, oh, Metal, Metal Gear from NES, like. Yeah, it's like a sequel to one of those NES games or something like that. And I was like, oh, because mm -hmm. I never really played much of Metal Gear on NES. And then I heard some things about Metal Gear Solid, and then I watched Swindoll play it, and I was so intrigued and pulled in by the storyline and, and just the, the gameplay. I was like, man, dude, this game's freaking awesome. So, Ather, what do you want me to call call you? Is that okay? Oh, Raven Specter? Yeah, is that okay? This Raven Specter? Ravenous Spectre. So can I just call you Raven? Is that cool? Ravenous? Oh yeah, that's cool. No problem. Okay, ECW so Spectre. Ravenous, when you first played this when it came out, how blown away were you with these graphics? <sighs> Honestly, man, it, it, it was just like you said. It blew me away, like without mm -hmm. a shadow of a doubt. I was just sitting there in total awe at the fact that video games had came to this point. They had become so cinematic. They had become... 
what I felt at the time was so real to me yes. that I never thought uh-huh. that they could ever go this route. And then when I finally got into playing it, and then I, the funny thing, honestly, like I, I still have yet to actually beat this game. Wow. I, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, I think last I remember, the farthest that I can remember that I had gotten, I believe it was either to the Sniper Wolf battle or it was to the... Um, Psycho Man. No, I got I got past him. It was the dude um, the dude in the tank. Yeah. Oh, Vulcan, Vulcan Raven. Raven. Yeah, Vulcan Raven. Um, Vulcan Raven. Yeah, yep, that's I, it. It was one of those two that I think was where I had left off on my own. Though then again, I was really a big cheater as well in the '90s when it came to cheating <laughs> devices like Codebreaker and Game Shark. Yeah. So oh sometimes, so sometimes it came to a point where it would crash my game or it would corrupt the save, and I'm like, okay, obviously the fates are trying to tell me something here. What so, game? What Game Shark codes were there? I'm interested. Well, well I wonder what there was because I never messed with that thing. So, what? What do you remember? Any kind of codes for it? They had. Uh, they had. If I think they did have infinite health, obviously. Right. Um, they had like infinite ammo. I believe there was one where you could get all of the weapons. Infinite there was ammo. another one. Infinite yeah. ammo. Yeah, Ron, you should do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I also. I also believe that there was probably one that had to deal with infinite oxygen. I think oxygen in the game or something was missing. Gotcha. This. I can't really remember. Um, and I, I think there was like one where, where you, when you get electrocuted, that no matter what, you didn't. You, you could just sit there and just let the game play on by itself during that moment. You didn't have to bother to like press the buttons or nothing. It would just <laughs> basically auto save you, if you will, during yeah, during that cool. point in time. So. <laughs> Looks like the elevator. In yeah, the that the that was a really cool part of the game when they get you on that machine and you got to hit the button really fast to stay alive. And that was awesome, man. Yeah, just got to break your thumbs trying to survive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Snake, it's been a while since you saved your game. There are yeah. no continues, my friend. <laughs> Dude, hey, Ron, what, do, you, do you guys know anything Psycho Manus would say? Like, I heard that if you had Castlevania loaded on your memory card, he would comment about it. Yeah, he would. I oh, yeah. remember when I would play uh, Twilight Princess. Uh, or no, at the time, uh, I think I had played Wind Waker for a little bit on my memory card. And uh, he, uh, at least on the Twin Snakes, uh, he said... Yeah, the remake. I see you've been playing The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> and I, th- I think he said, would say something about, you know, your PS1 memory card, too, uh, about uh, Symphony of the Night, because that came out before Metal Gear Solid. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah so yeah. I think he did say, like, you've been playing Castlevania or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> so the Psycho Mantis, that, this one, like, one of the most innovative games. Oh, and, yeah. I mean, the Psycho Mantis battle, I, did, I didn't figure out how to beat him on my own. Because Swindoll had told me you got you got to unplug controller one to controller two, and uh, and all this stuff and just the the, the whole encounter with Psycho Mantis. Yeah, well, how would you ever have? So me and my brother, we had a strategy guide back then. I don't know why, but we did. I think my brother was the one that bought all that stuff. He was a little bit older. And how how would you? Was there a way to figure out to do that on Psycho Mantis? Like, how would you ever figure that out, man? I think the Colonel eventually gives you a clue i don't know i know on twin snakes uh i think in my stream uh at least on the twin snakes the colonel said i got it unplug controller one to port four and and now that's on the twin snakes i don't know if he actually did that in this version yeah because stuff's pretty cryptic cryptic back then i wonder if they did because i I always thought that like dude how you would never think to try anything like that you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like right. X Men for Sega Genesis, where at that right. one party goes, reset the computer now. And I'm like, what computer? I'm hitting buttons everywhere. I'm trying to hit things. <laughs> and one day, <laughs> one day, I just told myself, man, oh, let me start over. And I reset my Genesis to start the game over or the level over. And then I see all these binary digits appear on my screen. So weird. And I'm like, what the heck? So I accidentally figured it out. Reset the Sega Genesis is what it was telling you to do. 
And Meryl, that, that's crazy. And to find, in order to find Meryl's frequency, look at the back of the CD case. I'm looking through my inventory. I'm hitting L1 or L2 or yeah, L1. Like, where's what CD case? I don't have no CD case in my inventory. <laughs> what are they talking about? And uh, I yep. think I think it was Jody that told me, oh, look on the back of your actual uh, CD jewel case for your game, Metal Gear Solid. And then there's Meryl's frequency right there. So Dude, that's some, so cool. Man. Yeah, it's awesome. Breaking now, the fourth wall. <laughs> yeah, bring the fourth exactly. Don't even think about using auto fire or oh no. <laughs> Don't really even cool. think about using ECW yeah. mode or oh no. <laughs> So, so, I see you like ECW. <laughs> yeah, what are you playing, uh, ECW Hardcore Revolution? I mean, it, it came out after Metal Gear Solid, but what if he goes, I see you like ECW, huh? And, uh, <laughs> what, if it's like, what if he's like, Boy, that game sucks. <laughs> that game sucks. <laughs> and then you, Ron Moore goes, what did you just say? And he just yeah. <laughs> Yeah, ECW sucks. That's why it's dead. Just like you and Meryl will be. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you when you oh, beat Psycho Mantis, he goes. So you use the other, meaning you use the other controller or the other port. That's why I couldn't read your mind. Why? Why couldn't I read? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. awesome. You know how do you, how do you figure they program something like that? Like. Okay, going back to the X Men thing you were talking about, how do you figure they program that to where when you press reset, it goes and does something else, right? Like that's yeah, so. I, like, how do you even do that? You know, that's so crazy. Yeah. Well, I know for one, when it's dealing with uh, when it's dealing with the Metal Gear Solid side of things, when you're dealing with Kojima, you have no idea what's going on in that man's head. <laughs> yeah, he is like the is. Quentin Tarantino of video games. <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. Remember when I streamed this the first time? Uh, it was on my emulator. And so when you fight Psycho Mantis, when I unplug my USB controller out of USB 1 and try to plug it into USB 2, that did not work. My controller so would wouldn't even work. Well, remember, I, I said, uh, all right, guys, so I'm going to have to quit right here because I can't get any further. I have to continue the stream another time because I play stream for a while. And then I said, I think that's when I... Uh, decided to use the console version gotcha and that's how i was able to continue with the game because on the on your emulator i think there's a way to do that with the psx emulator or whatever but i don't know how you do it with at least with my pc i had to unplug my usb controller into a I, you know i try to plug into a port 2 and it just wouldn't read it it just wouldn't uh i couldn't push start or play the game anymore so I don't know if uh, there probably is a way around that for the emulator, or maybe they didn't think it through. I don't know, but I still had the real copy, and I said I'm just going to use the console version because uh, I don't know how to do it. Uh, if I Psycho Mantis on this emulator here because the controller situation. Didn't you have to do something special against Sniper Wolf too? Wasn't there something to that fight? Like, uh, didn't you take your cigarettes out or something, and you like had to blow on to see like these lasers or something? I don't know about that. I because you can see. Oh, that was a laser room. Okay, yeah, that's okay. the laser room. Yeah, there is a trick yeah. to at least on this version a trick to beat Sniper Wolf easier in the second battle. You use the Nikita missile, and you can use it to sneak up on her, and and it is, it, she will never see you. She, you got to hide at a certain spot. Use your Nikita missile, and then you you hit her every time. Just control the Nikita missile, and then because I did that on stream. And uh, I learned that from seeing it, uh, a playthrough on YouTube. Mm. And people in the stream were like, I didn't know you could do that. I said, me either. I've seen somebody else do it on YouTube. <laughs> hey, Ron, she, she never where, sees the missile. Where did you find Meryl's thing? I'm looking at the game case right now, and I'm just trying to see where Meryl's code is. It should be uh, the, the, the screenshot where Snake is talking to Meryl on codec. Oh, I got you, man. Yeah. Wow, that's that's slick, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it just says Meryl dot dot dot. Yeah, and on Twin Snakes... He goes, oh, it's on the back of the package, which, of course, by now, if you're playing the remake, you probably already know everything of what's yeah. going on. So they have to say, and it's not a CD case. It's a, you know, what's it going to say? Oh, it's on the back of the uh, video game box, whatever you call it. Right, right. 
That's awesome. That you know, this game, this game did so many of those cool things, man. That is, that's so neat. Yeah. And have you heard? Have you heard about the rumblings that's been going on of them actually remaking, like really remaking the first game, not just the you know the GameCube port or nothing like that, but like actually full blown remaking it. Oh wow, remaking Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, I'd, I'd heard about that um, probably like some odd weeks ago. I don't know how true it is, but I saw a couple of YouTube videos about it. I guess there was some stuff on Twitter or something that was out there that was talking about it. So uh, people yeah. would go crazy, man. That's for sure. Yeah, you'd get it, wouldn't you, Ron? Oh yeah. Get whatever information you can. He's like, that's a CW. <laughs> if he's alive, that is. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel, what is this about a remake of Metal Gear? I have no idea. Don't lie to me. <laughs> this is all a computer simulation. Oh wait, that's in the next game. Colonel, Colonel, you double cross me. There's no time for that now, Snake. You gotta stop Metal Gear and save Meryl. Did you like Did you like Sons of Liberty and stuff, Ron? Yeah, Sons of ECW was pretty good, but I like this one better. I wish you would have. Remember, uh, Spectre, when we did a live stream of Jeff was drunk doing the commentary with us on Sons of Liberty? Uh, yeah, I remember that. And he goes, I, I, I go, welcome to Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of ECW. And he goes, oh, oh get out of here with that ECW crap. It's Sons of Liberty. <laughs> remember. Oh, he got all mad at you. Yeah, he was well, he was drunk and in quarantine, and depressed, and I was like, "This is a mistake. I'm not going to have him live with me anymore. It's going to be recorded to where I can edit stuff because I had to edit around that stuff because he says some very messed up things about certain situations, and I had to message him about it, saying, "Dude, next time, chill." He never he just left me on red. He didn't respond. Usually he's pretty cool, but when he's drunk i guess and like here to say things like a little a little risque and and like about certain things about life or whatever and then oh, oh shut up yeah that's jeff, that, that could be jeff for you <laughs> oh boy you stop it with that ecw it's not ecw you sound like a you sound like a freaking nerd nerdy fanboy um get it right it's not sons of ecw it's sons of liberty <laughs> <laughs> it's like that time Jay Leno was making fun of people talking about Star Wars. Like someone that says uh, it's a sequel or episode one was a sequel. I forgot. And someone goes, it's not a sequel. It's a prequel. And Jay Leno goes, oh, <laughs> shut up. It's a geekquel. That's what it is. It's a geekquel. That's awesome. Did you like Snake Eater, Ron? I, I kind of liked it. It's a good game. But, man, it, it's more advanced technically advanced than the first two and right. the battle with the end to turn me off i'm like i ain't got patience to fight this guy for an hour jeez i was trying to beat him and find him and it, i couldn't already find him did you and, figure out the secrets on how to easily take him out yeah but i want to take him out for real like i got gotcha. actually killing him and then like i know you know you wait a month and then you turn the game on again and the memory card remembers the time and he's dead because of I guess waiting too long he was already dead anyway by the time you fought him he's 100 years old and he's about to die <laughs> and that's great but would you have to mess with the time in your system yeah yeah and, oh yeah you could do that too and I sh but during the fight I shot his bird and he was pissed and yeah but I couldn't find him man like he always find me I try to use the directional mic or thermal goggles try to find him it took forever i said man forget this i'm done dude i, was a, I didn't like that boss battle it took too long it's like a long rpg <laughs> you're trying to fight somebody for 45 minutes right i, the like, inf I think the infrared goggles really help too because you can see exactly where he was and be able to aim at him and you got to sneak up on him you know quietly or he's going to hear you and then run away uh he also uses a I think you use a flashbang on him too to kind of stun him and then shoot him. Uh, this is guy I forgot his name on YouTube, George something. He's like an expert master at Metal Gear Solid games. He has like I don't know how many subscribers, probably close to a million maybe. The guy's a beast at pretty much every Metal Gear Solid game, and he was streaming Snake Eater on Extreme the other day live and just beasting through it, getting spotted on purpose just to kill everybody. Oh, nice! That guy so was yeah, a come at me. Yeah, it's called it was called Snake Eater on Extreme Difficulty 
uh, alert mode, which means he allows himself to get caught on purpose to take everybody out and then proceed through the game. Like, jeez, man. That's a beast right there. I, yeah, I, I did a blind out. stream of uh, Snake Eater back in March and uh, for, for a few streams. And, dude, I was playing on very easy, and I was just still kind of – I mean, I know I was new at it, but, man, it was like I, I had no clue how, really how to play it as far as, like, you know, how to – you know, you gotta hunt animals, eat snakes or other animals for sustenance, and then it was a, it was a much more advanced game, like camouflage yourself. Um, yeah, I heard you could mess around with the camouflages and stuff. I never played that one. Yeah, and, you gotta get good, Ron. You can't be playing it on easy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, what's the name? If you haven't checked out Rabbit Inspector's video, I'll send it to you later, Mega Dan. It's called okay. I forgot what it was called, but he rants about people that. Talk about you need to get good, and Ravage Specter's like, That's what he was talking to me about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Dim Guts, he was just joking with me, but this is, I guess, before I knew a sense of humor. Like, I was saving the game, and you can tell the difficulty I'm playing on because it says very easy when you save. And he goes, Very easy, Ron. You need to nut up, Ron. And I said, and this, <laughs> Well, this is a blind run, dude. And if you're one of those get yeah. good people, we're not going to get along. I told him straight up. <laughs> he was kind of like, Didn't say nothing after that. Like, Whoa, he's. I think I kind of pissed him off. Yeah, but but, he but then he told me. Uh, but, but he told me uh, because like, I thought he was like being for real with that. I don't like people that really say that. Like, I hear you, I hear you. but but you know, but you know, he, got, he we kind of laughed about it later on. He goes, "Yeah, at the time, Ronnie didn't know my sense of humor, and I was just messing with him. I wasn't really getting on to him about it because there are some people that would do that." Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Well, you play on very easy. You need to play on hard and check out Ravnus Specter's video. <laughs> I like how oh, yeah. he rants about it. It's, it's freaking hilarious. <laughs> I think it was called, like, uh, I think it was supposed to be... Cheating in single-player games. Or I think cheating? that's what it was, yeah. Yeah, cheating was, in single-player yeah. games, and you're talking about how if it's a single-player game, you can play however you want. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Have fun with it. It's not about, get good, get good. Well, F you is what you said. And I thought yeah. that was funny. <laughs> yeah. I did that at work on my break, too. I'm surprised somebody walked in on me. That would have been... Kind of funny. Your boss, like, what are you doing? <laughs> or my previous, my yeah, previous, previous job, I guess I should say. Like, get good. Your boss, like, get to work. Oh, yes, sir. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> did we just talk to uh, Guile? Oh no, that was Master. Yeah, that did look like Guile. I know exactly. What you Master, said. like, like he has an integral part in this game. Anyway. There should be a cargo elevator that you I, you know, this, is, this, is, this is something in this game that I thought was crazy, too. This was the first game where you could, like, knock on stuff. Yeah. And, like, people would come over there and you could get them. That was, that was really cool, man. Have you heard of, uh, have you seen the Flash movie that came out, like, 10, 15 years ago called Metal Gear Fiesta, The Twin Tacos? No. I don't think I have. That was hilarious. I got to probably send it to you all sometime. And it's just a parody and, uh. It was Snake's birthday, and the colonel's like, when you want to talk to me, press the select button. And Snake goes, the select what? <laughs> and, this, and the colonel keeps on talking. And like, what, colonel, what buttons do you keep talking about? <laughs> and then uh, it's Snake's birthday. <laughs> Snake's hit, knocking on the wall trying to get the, the soldier's attention, and the soldier is just not hearing him. And so and Snake keeps banging on, on the wall or, or play, plays the radio, the radio real loud, and the soldier still don't hear him. All of a sudden, Snake makes makes a fart noise, and, they, and then the soldier hears him. Oh, what was that noise? And he gets spotted, <laughs> and, he, and he's cornered by like twenty five soldiers. And the colonel contacts him. And he's like, uh, "Hey, Snake, do you think I'm ugly, Colonel? I don't got time for this, <laughs> Snake. I got something to tell you, Colonel. If I make it out of here, I swear it's your birthday today, David." <laughs> and then it's like end up having a big party, like the soldiers like. Did you hear that, guys? It's his birthday, and they all celebrate. Even Liquid kind of was, kind of was in on the party too. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> Dude, Liquid Snake, he was an awesome villain in this game. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was. So cool. Did you guys ever beat the NES ones? No, I barely played, but the first one. Yeah, I don't know. Nah. Actually, I played the, um, I think the first one or the first two or something, I think is on the, um, the Nintendo Switch right now with, um, the, the, their subscription service that you can get to be right. able to play online when they give you yeah, access. Online. I think they're on yeah. there. 
But I had played the first one back on Nintendo, although I was a kid at the time, so I didn't know any better. And I was like, what is this? I'm not really doing anything. I'm getting caught all the time, and I'm dying, and all this other stuff. And, <laughs> and so I didn't really think anything of it, so I didn't really, I, I barely even scratched the surface with it when I had played it way back when. But I think it was just the first one that I that I had ever messed around with like that. Yeah, and then there was Snake's Revenge. <clears throat> yeah, That's which I yeah. had. Mm. I was never into him, man. I don't know. And then Solid Nate played through Metal Gear not like last year or something like that, and I guess he didn't really like it. Like, there's some like super cryptic stuff, and you have to like do something with key cards. You got to like keep switching them or something, and it's super annoying. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, Skip there Rogers a really did a good one. review of it. <laughs> it was, oh, of course he did. Skip Why Rogers. Wouldn't he? This is a hard game, so keep practicing. But don't listen to what you hear on the radio. You'll find a lot of misinformation. And Magus is like, misinformation. That's ironic you would say that, Skip. <laughs> there was one that came out, um, I believe it was on the Game Boy Color. I believe it was Metal Gear Gaiden was the name of it. And it was like a really good Metal Gear game on that system. Um, I, don't, I don't know if it was supposed to be like a remake of the first one or it was supposed to be like... Metal Gear Solid in like Game Boy form, or if it was, I, I can't really remember, or if it was just supposed to be a side story dealing with Outer Heaven or whatever. But it was, um, but I never played it, but I've always been wanting to. But I think it's like, if you, if you were to get like the physical version right now, it'd probably be expensive as piss. Threatening the White House, they say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. I remember this part of the game right here. That's why I'm sorry. I'm. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. in here watching it. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. Nuclear weapon. Meryl. I, I remember he dies, and I don't remember oh, how. Just for keeping the Doesn't his, like, head, something happens to his head or something? What I'm about to no, it's... Fox die. Okay. Oh, okay, they had put some in him or something? With a new type of yeah, someone did. A weapon that will change the world. What? Yeah, this stuff, man. When this came out, this was crazy amount of cinematic. This was awesome. Right, I mean, it was. reminds me of Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, for sure. Like how Ninja Gaiden was on the NES, this was on PS1. Like, it was just amazing. Yeah, Metal Gear Gaiden. So, Solid Snake teams up with uh, Ryu Hayabusa. That'd be awesome. Metal Gear. That would be awesome, yeah. How did you know that? Solid Snake would be like, I'm an old man now. I can't do the flips you can, Ryu. <laughs> My which, favorite... Metal Gear, which Metal Gear was that, guys, where he was an old man? Four. Uh, yeah. Is it any yeah. good? I heard it. I never played but I heard it was. It is, but, like, it's very cutscene heavy. Probably more so well, of than course. the it's Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> yeah, it's... Well, yeah. Yeah, I, but I mean, like... More so than the first one is, maybe more so wow. than the second one is. That must be so a lot of cutscenes like playing. playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, you're playing it, but I think there's just like really long cutscenes, and like yeah. half the game is cutscenes or something like that. Yeah. I, I can't remember. Reminds me of that long cutscene from when you beat the Metal Gears and Sons of Liberty, and then before you fight Solidus. That's a long freaking dialogue, like 45 <laughs> minutes, I think. Holy crap, is it really? Jeez. Yeah, he's, you remember? I don't know if you guys remember. Um, you beat the Metal Gears, and then, you know, Ocelot reveals his master plan. He's, you know, and then, um, you know, the whole cuts with the, Cur the Colonel is actually an AI, not Colonel Campbell. And he's, you know, and him, and then the AI Rose starts speaking weird stuff about conspiracy theories and the government, how the Patriots are running everything. And then you, and then you finally freaking fight Solidus in the end. <laughs> it's like a long cutscene. Of <laughs> course. I remember what was another game like Final Fantasy. Those had really long cutscenes, right? Oh yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They definitely did. I wonder what the longest cutscene is. Like 45 minutes. That's got to be one of the longest, man. That's got to be. Yeah, up I think it is. It felt like 40 something minutes. Like, I mean, I have to go back and look, but it was a long time, man. I know it was at least more than 30 minutes. The Xeno Saga series has some really freaking long cutscenes too. Really. My favorite yeah, villain. Really in -depth jar, my favorite villain in this game is Psycho Mantis, but my favorite villain in the entire series is Ocelot. Yeah, Revolver Ocelot. 
Yeah. Yeah. This is bad. I wonder how many people has he backstabbed? <laughs> Seriously. And his voice. Sean Connery. Proper, well, I don't know. Maybe not with the voice, but Sean Connery. If they had a real movie, Sean Connery would be Ocelot. Uh, of course, maybe Kurt Russell <laughs> would be Solid Snake. Uh, Christian Slater would be Raiden. Jack Nicholson would be Solidus. Um, who would be Liquid, though? I was going to say, who would be Liquid? Uh, yeah, who would be Liquid? That'd be uh, something uh, to think about right there. Um, I was going to say, who Nicholas else? Nicholas Cage. No. <laughs> <laughs> Meryl? Would, who would Meryl? Who plays Meryl? If you, can, if you can put a wig on him, how weird would it be to have like a weird Tom Cruise to be a villain? <laughs> like Liquid Snake. <laughs> Meryl, who's the actress that played as... She was in the Marvel movies the, with the Avengers and... Uh, yeah, I know. The Black Widow. Black no, Widow, I think. Yeah, the one that uh, sacrificed herself for the Soul Stone. Yeah. Yeah, you're talking that, that about be, um, that, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, that would be Meryl. I heard the guards. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, that was a really good pick, actually, man. Yeah, you're, you're, you're spot on. Any other clues? I know who could play, play Liquid Snake, dude. Who? Uh, Ron Moore. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why <laughs> don't... <laughs> no, but I was trying to think. Uh, you know what? Nah, I was trying to think because of the mullet. Here. Brian Bosworth from back in the day. I don't know. <laughs> He's a big dude too. Yeah. If he had the accent, <laughs> probably probably. No, uh, I would say also Kurt Russell because I mean, Snake and Liquid are twins. But Liquid, you know, it's funny they're twins, but they sound different. I can't quit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have always dreamed of being an ECW streamer, and now, so what now? You want to quit? <laughs> I can't quit. <laughs> so, you know, that, that's the other story, dude, is is I was watching the stream, and there was a part in the game where I'm not sure what Meryl is saying. She's, like, telling her story to Snake or something, right, Ron? Yeah, they're in the restroom. I just said no. Yeah, and, <laughs> and I, she goes, I always dreamed of being something. What was it? A soldier. Okay, I always dreamed of being a soldier, but then he goes, <laughs> she was talking and it was all, you know, the cinematic was all serious and everything. He goes, I always dreamed of being an ECW wrestler. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I freaking lost it, dude. I was cracking up. And before that, when they had their first Kodak call, she kind of said the same thing. And she goes, but now, and Snake goes, so what now? You want to quit? <laughs> and she goes, I can't quit. And so it became this big joke, and now it's a command in my live streams. Instead of wrestler, I changed it to streamer. I've always wanted to be an ECW streamer. You type in command in my dream, and, and Nightbot will say, I have always dreamed of becoming an ECW streamer. So, like, I picture myself, we make jokes like, I would try to beat Super C without dying. And I said, I've always dreamed of doing a No Death Run of Super C. And now, and Mega Dan, so what now, Ron? You want to quit? Because Mega Dan is good at No Death Runs. I'm like, I can't quit. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you think of all his ECW stuff? The fact that you've known him for a couple of years. What do you, what do you think about that? Well... Honestly, it kind of seems to me like it's gotten a little bit more uh, extreme since the last time I. <laughs> yeah. Since since the time when I first started talking to him, it started out okay, and then it got a little bit more extreme as time wore on. But um, it's still hilarious to me, regardless. And I mean, um, he and I we're both wrestling fans anyway, so it's you know something that we'll talk about on occasion as well. So, Ron, did you really like ECW the best back in the day? I think uh, I, I mainly liked WWF Attitude Era ba the best back in the day, but ECW was something I really got yeah. hooked onto in '98, '99, toward the end of its lifespan. But I, I, back then, I still preferred the Attitude Era of the WWF. But mm -hmm. I think that that's where they got it from was ECW. I mean, pretty mm -hmm. much. No, you're right. That was where all the attitude mm -hmm. was. So, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's just a. No, isn't that somebody in disguise? No. Yep. Yeah. It is, right? Yep. It's Meryl. Liquid? Oh, that's Meryl. Okay. Yeah, I say I kind of remember this. Don't move. Yeah, she's shaking. That's right. Yep. Yeah. And he's like, you're not going to do nothing or something like that. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. 
player. No rookie. That nerd this was just an awesome game, man. Look in your eyes. God. Yeah. No rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. Doesn't she end him up rookie. saving him like later in the game? You're not one of them, are you? She shoots somebody when you're about to get killed or something. Open that uh, I don't I think, think they so. save each other, don't they? Don't you? Why? Mm. So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. I always crack up because these guys. They're supposed to be like these really like elite soldiers and everything. Yeah. And you can just like you can just like knock on a door, uh, a wall, and they're like, huh? I guess it was nothing. <laughs> I like that one soldier that we'll see uh, later on in the in the series. That, that there he is over there, but he's knocked out right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he is not an ECW soldier, but he's freaking hilarious. <laughs> What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. Eat, eat, see, double. Jeez, my aim is terrible. Come on, get good, kid. Aw, oh, dang it, I need ammo. I don't, I don't have the infinite ammo. This is a really cool part of the game. We just get the I need my headband for the infinite ammo. Yeah. <laughs> I like Sons of Liberty, but disappoint uh, the, my favorite part in the game was the tanker chapter probably one of the reasons why because you play a snake and also the the, the the plant chapter story I wasn't a big fan of like it was the tanker chapter and just plus it get real sad and depressing and uh, yeah I, I mean that's why a lot of people though not just me preferred this game over Sons of Liberty as great as Sons of Liberty is uh, I think a lot of people disappointed. Not just me, but a lot of people disappointed that you couldn't play a snake throughout the whole game. Absolutely. Thanks, that I mean, was a big deal. I mean, Ron's all right. Came out, yeah, that yeah. was what the problem was with it, for sure. Yeah. I mean, Ryan was all right, but Swindog wasn't a big fan. He's like, man, you you got to play this Final Fantasy looking mother <laughs> through the game. Yeah. Well, you know, and part of it was, too, man, is just the fact of it was the follow-up to this great game. So you yeah. wanted this again, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I, I don't play through games again very often, especially if they're story-driven like this. But in, yeah. this, in my life, man, back when we were kids, I played through this game at least six, seven times. Yeah. I, I... Okay, so I just realized the video that we're commentating on right here was uploaded October 21st. 2020. That's exactly 22 years of the release date of this game in North America, I think. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Did, did you do that on purpose? Good time. No, I did not. Now, wow. I did start the LP. I think I originally did do an LP of this on this channel before, but uh, even though there's fair use and I give credit where credit is due, due to some contra copyright controversy, I deleted a lot of footage that wasn't mine on this channel and decided to maybe uh, to redo maybe some of those projects in the future. And this is one of them. This time it's me playing the game, not someone else. Gotcha. Oh, you did it over regular gameplay last time? Yeah, like like World of Long Plays, or, or they don't mind yeah. if you use their footage, as long as you give them credit. They're cool with it. But uh, someone had flagged down an old Ocarina of Time LP on this channel before because they got butt hurt that even though I gave them credit for it and you know everything they put a copyright strike on me I'm like really man so I guess to prevent that stuff from happening again I went ahead and uh, deleted some LPs that were recorded from other people and so I said you know from now on unless it's maybe world of long plays every once in a while I'm gonna just record my own stuff because I did it that way because it was easier to do that, especially with a game I wasn't good at, and it, the footage would be recorded for us, sure. and I would take their footage and always give credit for it, for it, you know, was just to do commentary over it, and then put the credit in the description box or flat out say in the video, hey, you know, this is from so and so of this channel, and then, but that one guy didn't like it, and even though technically Nintendo has the rights to the footage, not him, and I. Uh, he never. I didn't want to dispute it because when you do that, you dox yourself, and I want to be careful with that. And right. so I was like, forget it. It was so I'd use the world of long place footage of Ocarina of Time on this channel, and they don't care because they flat out say on their 
about page. You can use any footage you like. Just give us credit for it. Hmm. So we're, this is a redo from a... Uh, oh, I guess I'll just blow myself up. And I planted two of them for some stupid reason. <laughs> At least with me playing this game, with the funny mistakes I make, it'd be uh, more fun to watch me mess up. Because I like seeing good gameplay of the video games, but sometimes they can be boring because, you know, they're perfect. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Put it on don't the wall. You, don't you fight the dude in the tank first? Isn't he, like, the first boss? No, the first boss is coming up right now. Okay. Oh, it's isn't it Revolver Ocelot? Yeah. Revolver. <laughs> yeah. Thir 30 seconds later. <laughs> Ocelot. This dude's dead, right? Is that George Costanza? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's principal You're McVicker. President Baker, right? You're the principal, uh, McVicker, worry. right? I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it. C4. Look at those PS1 graphics. <laughs> yeah. There he is. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old. So you're Isn't this where you like you chop off his hand, don't you? Special no, not Snake. <clears throat> Revolver Ocelot. Yeah, um, Ninja does that. Oh, that's right. The Ninja comes and does it. Yep. I've been this guy's a beast with a handgun. Even a Snake now Eater, he, he's a beast. Is Revolver this Ocelot in like all of them or something? Me. I don't know about the fifth one. Six bullets, more than Ask Game Sensei about that. I think he streams that a lot. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Yeah, this game, man, so good. Just watching it again is like you just remember all this stuff. Yeah, no one draws to the sister ground. Look at all this cool stuff happening within the first 40 minutes of the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, it just keeps coming like this all game, too. I'm not too good at this battle. I keep trying to hit him and then it's like just trying to chase him down and shoot him and then you know, shooting me. Because Ocelot's a beast with a handgun. I like to see him versus Dirty Harry in a shootout. That'd be cool. Ah! Eat, eat, see, double. C double W C double. Listen to Baker. <laughs> Shut up. You had me cracking up uh, as we were getting ready to do this today because I was just thinking of that WrestleMania 2000 music that used to W. I'm trying. Which I tried to think which track was it? Is it's what? like a low. It's very low. You know, it's a very low tune. I'd have to. I'll send it to you later. <laughs> okay. I remember the one, one of the tracks you hear when you wrestle, where uh, W E C freaking W W E C freaking W. The one where Retro Star said it sounds like a bunch of crickets singing. <laughs> Somebody said the other day, they were talking about the old WrestleMania 2000 game, and they're like, that was kind of dumb how that music played. And I was like, it wasn't that bad. I liked it. Some of the tracks in that game is better than in No Mercy. Yeah. You were playing Which, No Mercy the other day, that dick, 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 Dude, I, I streamed that the other night, and I forgot, dude, you gotta, like, lose on purpose in some of the championship mode storylines, oh, and I forgot all about that, and I'm beating the game again with Eddie Guerrero after I defended that light heavyweight title, and it's the same match, it's the same story, as I go, wait a minute, now, yeah. I, but I haven't got 100% yet, so how do you get 100%, and then I remembered, and I looked online, you gotta, like, lose some matches on purpose, you gotta get all, unlock all the scenarios, yeah. oh, that's right. So the next time I stream that, I didn't. Yeah, I'm gonna remember that. Yeah, I didn't really like the fact that you have to like lose on 
Summerfest and stuff. That's why, that's why I kind of like the road to WrestleMania better, you know? Yeah. The road to ECW is not an easy one. <laughs> the road to ECW is not an easy one. <laughs> ah! This is like Beavers get hit. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Yeah, so there we you go. Just gotta wait. You just gotta kind of wait till he has to reload and he stops running. Yeah, something like that. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. Here's where he gets it chopped off, dude. It's right here. Yeah. Bam. My hand. Well, give the man a hand. Ah! <laughs> and J the K the JR. Good, good God. He just sliced off that man's hand. Ah! Good God. Look, that look, man has a family. Well, 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 give the man a hand, JR. Ah! <laughs> he didn't mean to do it. <laughs> good God Almighty. What is that thing, King? That's like a ninja cyborg. We're still camouflage. Oh, ah! oh, come on, King. That's just not right. It's just not right, King. <laughs> he, he choked <laughs> off his hand, JR. Ninja, go on and get you some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like what he used to say that about Stone Cold. Go on down there and get you some. <laughs> it's about to dish out an ass whooping when his soul going to chop his hand off. <laughs> that damn Sopor Ninja. He just come out of nowhere. Who is it, King? Where'd he come from? <laughs> I don't know who's the man behind the mask. <laughs> it's me, Snake. <laughs> it was me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine seeing Vince Man flipping, flopping around everywhere with a sword turning invisible and chopping stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> that storyline was actually pretty cool. I knew. I oh, called yeah, it. it I called it. It was Vince McMahon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. It was me. It was me all up. <laughs> yeah. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist He couldn't read you. How'd you do it? It's not ECW. This is Metal Gear Solid. It's not the ECW crap. Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret. I wish I could have been there for that. Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Now you're making me want to watch like the whole playthrough. How did they get your code? Right? <laughs> Watching it like a movie, because you know it pretty much is. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, there's some channels on YouTube that they just upload strictly the cutscenes and that's it. Yeah. Cool. They put, put it all together as a, as a movie. What happened to your arm? That's what I did when I was watching. Uh, I watched the uh, what was that? It was the game, the one I'm, that was on PSP. I forgot what it was. Uh, right, not rising. Uh, what's it called? No, not rising. Damn, yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I forgot the name of it. Now I want to look it up. Acid? What's wrong with you? No, it wasn't acid. Now here, acid. Oh, Peace Walker. I didn't kill Oh, a Peace Walker, Texas Ranger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that'd be cool. Walker, Texas Ranger video game. It would be a combination of Sunset Riders and Streets of Rage. Play as Walker, that, Trivet. That, that, it, yeah, yeah. It, it, there could be like that. Or it could be like how Shenmue was, where basically the fight scenes, you had to hit buttons. <laughs> yeah, and you could play as Trivet. Uh, Walker, Trivet, Gage, and Sydney. And uh, maybe unlock C.D. Parker or somebody. That'd be cool. I heard you had them. I remember we'd be getting ready to watch Raw every Monday on USA Network, but Walker, Texas Ranger was on. Dude, I freaking love Walker, Texas Ranger, as cheesy and stupid as it can be. I thought that was a good series overall. She just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit. This dude dies, right? Yeah. Same thing, he like has a stroke or whatever. Yeah. Fox die. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the How many guard. times have you beaten this game, man? Uh, you should be able to uh I beat a still has it. decent number what of times. I mean, back then, yeah. I beat it on no, uh, yeah, easy, then normal. And then uh, probably played a few times after that and beat it. And then when I streamed it... Damn. 
a few months ago. I beat it this. I haven't beat it a lot, but oh, I'm definitely not a pro. It's right there. He tells you it's in the back of the CD case. Contact her right away, but tell me if this doesn't work. Really? Yeah, he just said it. It's on the launch. Yeah, uh, the frequency is on the back of the CD case, and that's where you look on the Whoa. back of your actual CD jewel case for the game. Um. But yeah, I was much better. Back in the day, I was much better at Sons of Liberty. Because back then, on Sons of Liberty actually beat the game on Extreme. Nice. What's Extreme do? It's just, you take more damage and stuff? I think that, and not as many rations, and uh, just the enemies are difficult, more difficult, takes longer, I think, to beat them. More accurate. Yeah. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand. And when you fight the Metal Gears, I think you gotta fight ten of them. Jeez. Jeez, dude. Dang. That's insane. And Fat Man, who this guy looks like Fat Man from Sons of Liberty, right? And then uh, Fat Man and Solidus and Vamp, they're pretty challenging on Extreme. Have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. I always thought it was really cool how they had real footage on here. Yeah. At the time, PS1, whoa, it looks real, but it wasn't real graphics, though, but I was like, back then, I was kind of like a Nintendo 64 fanboy, and Swindoll was a PS1 fanboy, and we would argue, nah, uh 64 is better, it has better games, nah, uh PS1's better, because it has audio and video, you can't do that on 64. <laughs> I said, well, 64 has better wrestling games, though, oh. <laughs> well, yeah, well, N64 doesn't have load screens, you know, you could have said Right, yeah. I'll be honest, though. I like PS1, though. <laughs> well, I, I love the uh, visuals and music, you know, that, that the, the PS1 was capable of doing. I mean, you play, like, I mean, yeah, uh, you know, ECW, Hardcore Revolution sucks on both systems, but in some ways it, it's a little bit better or not as bad on the PS1 than it is on 64. And on Nitro, remember Nitro and Thunder on PS1? You can hear, you can see those rants from the wrestlers. You can, yep. you can see those rants. You can't do that on 64. So and, their <laughs> and their entrances. It showed the movie of them coming out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're on N64, WWF Attitude. I'm, I'm sorry, Warzone and all that. You couldn't yeah. see that. That right. match video. Yeah. I yep. remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers. But the wrestling games, though, much well, better on 64. The yeah. Yeah, I mean, those are the best ever, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I first played World Tour. I was like, oh, man, this game is so much more superior in, like, technical, the gameplay, the technical wrestling moves you can do, as opposed to the PS1, like, <laughs> just Paul Driver, Body Slam, or, like, just... Yeah. Yeah, all that yeah. stuff. But you can actually do, like, do good technical stuff. The wrestling was more fluent on the 64. Absolutely, dude. Same with, like, the speed of the fight, too. It's kind of like back in the day, as great as Mortal Kombat was, it, it was like uppercut, kick, and then throw, but it wasn't fluent, though, like Street Fighter. I agree with that, too, yep. I think Street Fighter's a lot better. That's another argument I would get into with people. Yeah. Yeah, people just wanted to see the fatality, too, you know, I think yeah. that's mostly. Yeah, which, yeah. Which, 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 is, which is cool. It was yeah, cool. it is cool. But yeah, I said Street Fighter is still better. I just had more fun with it. Better overall music, gameplay, overall. And I enjoyed Street Fighter much better back in the day. Oh, and by all means, I think that the PS1 wrestling games are good. And I think Mortal Kombat's good, too. I just think yeah. Street Fighter and the N64 wrestling games are a bit better. That's all. I yeah. think both are good. Yeah. It's like Street Fighter. while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. I can't wait to see what Rambo is going to do in, in the, as one of the new DLC characters in Mortal Kombat 11. Right, what? that's going to be so cool. Yeah, he's in there. He's in Mortal Kombat 11. Oh my god, I want to oh, see he's gonna So be. is Terminator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, Rambo. So Rambo's not out yet, but he's about to be. Is that right? Um, I think so. They're going to have one of those Ultimate Editions is coming out with all the DLC characters in it. And I think that I think that he's supposed to... Dark little secret. Whoa, hello. I think it's Mike unplugged. <laughs> oh, God. Hello? Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear yeah, you hello? now. We're good. Okay, sorry. I moved and the friggin' uh, headset pulled out of my phone. Um, <laughs> but I think it, yeah, I think it's supposed to release the same time as the special edition that's coming out, I think. I don't know. It might come out soon. Freaking Rambo, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah. Love Rambo. <laughs> That is awesome. <laughs> ah! 
Seriously, he better just be shooting the hell out of people. Yeah, or that's using actually, that knife. That's actually his victory screen, or one of them where he's screaming. Nice. Yeah, shooting in the air. Like, go when after Striker. When he loses, he's gotta go, Nothing is over! Nothing! Yeah. Nothing! <laughs> you don't yeah. just turn it off! Dude, he's, he's gonna mess people up with that army knife he has. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Dude, you know he's going to have the different. exploding arrows. Yeah, oh, yeah, dude. And yeah. also, like, Murdoch, <laughs> lightning strikes, <laughs> thunder. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. That man. is sick that they have Rambo. So now they got, like, what? Predator, Terminator, Rambo, the Ninja Turtles. Colonel, are you listening? Uh, Freddy dude, and Jason. Dude, they need to have Chris Hansen in the game fight the Predator. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. His finisher move. His finisher move. Why don't you have a seat right there? He pulls out the chat log. That's his finisher move. No, the cops come out and tackle him. That's the finisher move. You not be able to tell without doing an autopsy. They need to have Ron Mower in there. Shoot, what would I do? Mow him down? There you go. You'd run him over with a lawnmower and be a really grisly end. Yeah, just like Cyrax is uh, when he chops him up. Ron Mower yeah, exactly. wins. ECWality. <laughs> Morality. <laughs> <laughs> My taunt when I first started a fight, I'm going to mow you down. Or I'm going to mow down the competition or something <laughs> cheesy. <laughs> and then when I lose, looks like the Ron Moore is out of gas. It's not very ECW. <laughs> yeah. ECW combat. Is he freaking dumb? Mei Ling. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's some kind of. Isn't she how you saved your game? Yeah. I wonder what it is. Anyway, be careful. Yep, there it is. Be careful, Snake. All right, and that does it for part one of Metal Gear Solid on the SA2K. It's good to be back on this channel again. Thank you guys very much for joining, and Mega Dan, welcome to SA2K CW. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me, dude. I really appreciate it. It was fun. Very fun. All right. Indeed. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Ron Moore. Right. God bless, and take care. Later, taters. Woohoo! This is Ron Moore, Mexico. Do you read me? I do read you. Is that you, Ron? I can't tell. Or is that Snake? Welcome to part two of Let's Play Metal Gear for PS1. Oh man, this is such a great game. I love any time you do this. I wish I, think I was. I was. I was say I wish me and you could do the whole commentary of Snake and the Colonel, like if we sounded just like him. I don't know how good my impersonation would be, but uh, I'll go with it, definitely. I'll try. <laughs> no, I mean, it would be cool if we could do it. I don't think we can, though. Who are you? Uh, I was really Unless they paid us enough money. Out of there's, I have no family. One from there's the Meryl. Person? You're the colonel's niece. Who is that? Is she the third woman? Or is she the third person? Whose side is she on? You? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came no, I'm a big yourself? fan of this game. You I remember think you're some kind of just seeing army? so many of my friends that owned lectures. PlayStations at the you're time just, like uncle, just keep know? talking and talking and going uncle? on and on about this game. But you know what? What's I gotta name? agree with them. My you know, name's not it's an experience that you know, I would recommend Could even try it at least snake? just once. I'm not gonna snake? say I beat the game, but I got past the first part. Yeah. I haven't got really far, but I did enjoy the experience. Hey, maybe I'll check it out again one day. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. I know you love this game. Is this they're the one you're favorite yeah. in the series? Or? Yeah, and I recently streamed the the they're Twin Snakes as well. Eyes. Oh yeah, I've seen that too on there. Yeah, that, that's been pretty good too. Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry, you'll land yeah, back. Metal Gear was all these uh, the one of those games no where everybody was talking about it, how oh, good it I is. You gotta check it out. Of course, only on PlayStation. when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? 
But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. Damn, right off the bat, it seems okay. like we just get a ton of but information. What is this place? It's like, damn. I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons yeah. disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Today on okay. Metal Gear Solid you see, News. This place isn't really for disposing yeah. nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right, for the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. But whose side is he on? I don't know whose side he's on. I definitely know for sure he might not be on my side. Colonel, you can't kill my buzz. There's no time for that now, Snake. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, or is it? I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the no, revolt I still started. believe, I think I have like oh, yeah. old magazine That's tips and tricks and, and it was right. uh, right. around the time That's Metal right. Gear came out. Amazing. You were able and to keep I still remember just guards. reading through the strategy well, guide and I was like, oh wow. And it's that. like you have to hook up a anyway, completely, you, you have to hook up a controller into the second port reading through it for one of the boss battles. I'm like, holy crap. Same as the other they got of everything. The chief died from and I still attack. got the player's guide yeah. for Sons of Liberty. Them sick or anything? Ooh. No, not that yeah, I heard even of. if I didn't play well, a game, I, I still used to love reading through like Something the actual like, strategy guides mm -hmm. or tips like and tricks it. or game I players no or any what? magazine out there, Me PlayStation either. magazine, Yet. just reading about it and you you know, know the person who designed yeah. seeing how the game is, you how it plays out and seeing, whoa, that looks rather difficult and if I didn't know about that. Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the Nowadays, nuclear warhead storage you, you, building. To all the you north. kids, all you young second kids have it easy basement. now. You guys yeah, can just look it up on the internet. Yeah. We were going to do that. It was like 56k we hear. So they'll need him alive <laughs> yeah. when that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he Y'all finishes. don't know how good You're you have right. it. In case we yeah. can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. Easy I never had any tearing through those soldiers' bodies. I, Maybe I you haven't checked out that stream. ECW. Yeah. I was there the other day. I was there the other night. Ever since I was a little girl. I, I always dreamed about being an ECW wrestler. Every day of my life. I ECW. My Beating for Taz for the for the television championship. No, I don't even think he held now. that. <laughs> so what now? You want to quit? I can't, I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. If you Listen, quit now, you're a quitter. Everybody but if you quit later, you're still a quitter. You kill Either way, you're a quitter. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, when you're pushed, killing is as easy as breathing. Traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of the battlefield. Uh, no, but this <laughs> isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. Now, for me, what I really liked about it was like all the stealth and everything. The, the uh, we'll actual like fighting later. and doing everything. Now, I wasn't really big on that. I always died alive. when I got confronted by enemies. So I was like, oh crap. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. Skip Rogers, number one tip in we'll this game is to be like doctor, John Cena. We'll you can't see me. You better not see gotcha. me. You can't well, listen, see me. You can't kill me. You. Use Cena camouflage. Be careful. You can't okay. see me. 
after I open up the cargo door. This is a hard game, so keep practicing. He's a doctor of thugonomic. Doctor of ECW. I wonder if that gimmick would have got over an ECW. The doctor of thugonomic. Probably would have. Uh, uh, probably not because he couldn't wrestle all that good. So, I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to ECW, you better know how to wrestle. Right, yeah. Or unless wrestle. unless you're, uh, wrestle. Dusty Rhodes got away with it because by that time he was like, you know, pretty much old and past his prime. But he was Dusty Rhodes though, and he was one of the original hardcore wrestlers back in the day. Oh, yeah. And he was there as a special attraction, have a little match or a feud with Steve Carino, who called himself the King of Old School. King of Old School? By whose book is that? Steve Carino was cool though. He got much better uh, in that year, the year 2000. He uh, he ended up becoming world champion too. Steve Carino was pretty cool. Now that's ECW. Is it freaking dumb? <laughs> So I wonder what ECW wrestlers have played that ECW game. Oh man, this game sucked. Right. Get this ration here. No, crawl on the... Crawl, there you go. Now, Rabbit Inspector, number one tip is get good. Yeah. No, hit the, hit the... There you go. Good job right there. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Well, I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. So what gas? gas. Would you have? Okay. So Ooh. Uh, don't die. Yeah, okay. coming. Wait. Man, <laughs> what tips would you have for a newbie girl. like me who I sucks at this game? Mind. Don't get careless. That's when things Don't be seen. Down. Sorry. But this is the Pull only John way Cena. I can figure you out whether or not mean. I cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Wake up. Now go back to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> it looked glitch out right there. Nice. So calm suppressor. I know. I was wondering about that. I was like, oh, oh, oh. Not right. Ah, dang it. Forgot. I gotta equip my card. Tip. You gotta equip the card. That'd be racist if the card was green and you were playing as a Hispanic character. Ooh. Mexico stars in. ECW gear solid. Rated E. E. D. Freaking W. I got the box. So if you play this game as John Cena, you could beat it super easy. Nobody can see you. Yeah. Have the invincibility. Invincibility code always kick out at two. Kick out at two. Sometimes at one. Damn, I'm trying to make sure you don't hear me. You can't see me, but you might be able to hear me. Yeah. What wrestler would have that? You can't hear me. <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious.
Nice, the ECW detector. Where's the BS detector? I smell BS. OBS. Bull manure. Yeah, OBS. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it is BS. It's like, come on, get the chat room going. It's not going. Ah, dang, I was hoping something would be over here. I already got it. Oh, shoot, it's coming back. Oh, dang. I forgot there's no, uh, huh? Is there somebody there in this game? Once they see you, they see you. See you, that's it. E-E-C double. E-E-C double. Double you. They also see their own death. They are. You die now. Oh, shoot. Oh. Ooh, close. God dang it, how am I supposed to get out of here? Uh, that's a good question. I was wondering about it. How do I get out of here? Am I trapped here the rest of my life? What do I do? Yeah. This place looks I so skip. gloomy. Ah! <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> so you're screwed. Oh. Aim, dude. You can't first person aim in this game. I know. I thought I had trouble with that, but it was just... Yeah, this game was more made I felt, you know, at least this one. Yeah. Stealth. You're coming in this game, like, you're thinking you're playing Contra? Uh-uh. Alright. Contra Gear Solid, coming soon. Ee, sit the pump! Ugh. Some hide and go snake. Some yeah. Hide and go see. So, which way did he go? Which way did he go? Yeah. So we knew we wouldn't be asking that question. Right. Oh shoot. Dang, well the security cameras reminds me of my old high school days. Yeah. The security cameras moving, you just have to wait until the camera moved and then run past it. Oh man, I was gonna try to shoot him, but oh. dang it. <laughs> oh man. Ah Oh no, don't pull a Mexico. Yeah. Shut up! The definition you gotta do this again. Is a Mexico. I need, I need that mod detector. Mexico is when you fail. Yeah. box again. Gotta get that box. It's a mystery. Evolution is a mystery! Oh, shoot. Evolution versus the rock and sock connection. Dang, I don't have the suppressor yet in the SOCOM. Ooh. Oh shoot. You gotta get 
get good at this game or else you're gonna suck. Yeah. Well, if you don't get good at this game, we'll just call you Mexico. Here's a tip. Get lost. Beat it, kid. Quote the Raven, nevermore. Quote the ECW, nevermore. Ah! Shut up, snitch. Oh, dang it. Snitches get stitches. Ah, oh, man, he's getting up. He's getting up. He kicked out. He kicked out at two. What is he yeah. doing? Yeah, John Cena. Come on, rationalize with me here. Now let me talk to you guys about wrestling. Yeah. Shoot first and ask questions. Never. No time for questions. Let's see behind this box here. What's that? Man, how'd he see me? What's that? I guess because the box looks out of place. Dang it. You win. You got me. Peekaboo. Now it looks more in place. What's that? They I still spot me. Much better. How the... Ah. Come on. I don't get that. That's BS. Maybe right here. That's, I blame it on OBS. What's that? Man, come on! Come on, like man! If you see a box, there's somebody in there. I know, man. Wait, man, I, I'm feeling boxed in. Yeah. Oh, wait. There's a box outside my house, Ron. Let me go check that real quick. No! Don't open that door! Oh, no. I'll open the window. Oh no. Yeah. Snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Blah, 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 blah. How many people would just give me a thumbs down right now if I kept saying it? <laughs> yeah. I know Sid would for sure. Shut up! Who? Oh, Sid. Sid. Oh. <laughs> I got half the brain. Yeah, I have half the brain that you do! I remember Teddy Long saying, Sid was just dumb. I mean, <laughs> he's, a, he's a friend of mine. I don't mean to talk negative about him, but he was just dumb. Oh, there are some people that can cut problems in there. Ah! Uh, Whoa! Alert! 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 Yeah. Do -do -do. Abort! Do -do -do -do. Abort! Abort mission! Abort mission. Do not collect pay. The code. The code. Figure out the code. The code is E C W. E C W E C C W U. I think the only thing I own of E C W is the Rise and Fall DVD from uh, WWE. That DVD was really cool. Yeah. The documentary. Oh yeah. It makes you miss E C W even if you didn't see it. Yeah. Oh good. I'm in the clear. It's about time, Ron. Brings me, like I said, brings me back to my high school days. Watch out for the security cameras. All right, I'm late to class. I'm gonna try to sneak in. What do you mean I was late to class? We saw you in the security camera. It's 
So that wasn't me. Ah, oh, come on! How do you see me? What? This game is doing you dirty. Leave me alone! Come on, hurry up, use the, use the ability to get good. Right? Ooh, I'm use a box here. No, I know it won't work, but for the heck of it. Hey, why I not? knew it! I knew it. I'm gonna get spotted again. Hey, it's a package. Wait. I'm see what's inside it. He's in the box. It's one of those porch pirates. What?! So he didn't see me that time, but those other times what? he did. Maybe the game's feeling generous. They're like, all right, never mind. Right? Or maybe they pretend like they didn't see me. Who knows? Yeah, that was weird. Okay, anyway, well, I barely made it out. I thought that, that's my last ration, too, I think. I thought I was dead. Yeah, I wasn't sure about that. I was like, looked at the life bar, looked at everything. I'm like, oh, this is not looking good, is it? Yeah. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are naked snake could. coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place Jake will be the snake flooded with poison gas. Somehow yeah, Solid Snake versus Jake Roberts. Sensors. Dun 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 dun. Here's my cigarettes here. So remember, kids, winners don't use drugs. Konami. Oh, wait, that's Capcom. Get that mod detector equipped. Let me save first. What's up, Snake? This should count as me saving right here. Like if I, if I were to die against this next battle here, hopefully he'll save me right here in the snowfield. It's like no, you go back. You go all, all the way back. That enough <laughs> is enough. <laughs> we'll always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. Thanks for telling me that, Mei Ling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. There we go. Uh, what is it now? Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines right Hi, there. we're calling with the elections. We want to know if you voted. No, I'm sorry. You? <laughs> yeah. Just call me. Hi, would you like to sign up for... Deep High-speed internet. The Watergate scandal. Your social security no, number is being that. used. You're not using this is a scam. We're just straight out telling you. Listen, there's this a telemarketer. Then get quick calling me, people. Who are you, anyway? Hoax Hotel, the video game. <laughs> Who are oh, you? Man. One of your subscribers. One of your fans. <laughs> Only fans? Then never mind about oh, that. Oh. <laughs> never mind. I got the clay malware mines. I got it. Plot twist, it blows up in my face. Just like everything else in the world. Ah. Snake, you idiot! Snake! Snake! Now, if it's the hoax hotel, Josh Brown would be the colonel. Like, when you die. Are you dumb? Snake! Snake! <laughs> That'd be awesome. Unlockable characters. Kit Boga, Jim Browning, who else? Ooh, oh shoot. What's going on? Is it Bigfoot? Is it the Yeti? Nope. This is Raven's territory. This is Raven's territory. On a Schwarzenegger? Is a voice actor? What? Uh-oh. Send him a message. Time to pull up a cardboard box. Whoa! Uh, you could just send me a text. <laughs> 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 
right. Chuck Far- Chris Farley? You should crawl on Whoa. the ground like the snake you are. Chris Farley would voice act Fat Fat Man. That'd be cool. That'd be insane. I'd buy this. I'd definitely. Buy I'd buy this. that for a dollar. Ah, ha, ha. If I had a dollar. All right. If I had a dollar every time I said ECW. <laughs> You'd be rich. Oh, he's a chef grenade. Yeah, All good. right. I forgot what it was. I think I was in one of your streams one time or whatever. It was a long time ago. I think it was like ECW or something. It was like they had it marked off as spam or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Probably so, yeah. Oh, you keep seeing ECW in the chat. They're spammy. No, ECW. Yeah. Oh, ECW. ouch! Get up, you idiot! Luckily, getting run over by a tank is not fatal. Or is it? Ah, fail. Snake's the only person I know that, that could get run over by a tank and still be fine. Oh, there we go. Right? <gasps> ah! Come on now, the tank's not gonna destroy itself. Dang it, throwing it the wrong way. There we go. You got go CW good. Not the wrong way. Oh wait, that's no, a chaff grenade. There we go. Here we go again. Let's try this again. Wait. We're live. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have Sid Vicious in the live stream one time. That'd be cool. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, nice. Like, Alright, let's do this. Oh. as you said in battle he is as if possessed by a demon much like you i would expect no less see i told you so but i will kill him so general ivan it's I finally starting to get good as well as your dignity or is it? watch your tongue shaman in the language of the sioux people sioux means snake it is known as an animal to be feared Snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes. The raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Whoa, Darth Vader's with us now. <laughs> Do I say anything or not yet? <laughs> I was like, wait, this is a this is a commentary. This isn't a let's watch the video and hang out. Oh, it can be. Ron does those. Ron does those. It's called the the, the chill stream. Yeah. Be sure to check those out. Those are awesome. What are you doing? Uh, we're just chilling, chilling with the homies. Yeah. All right, going to save right here, and we'll see you guys in part three. Until then, God bless and take care. I will be back for part three. I better be. Till next time.
Welcome to part three of Metal Gear Solid. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico and Bushido Blade Warrior. Yo! It's good to be here. What are we doing, Snake? Running around, hiding in shadows. Snake is now in the Nuclear Warrior Storage Building. The oh, worst section dangerous. ever. You get caught, you're going to deal with gas. Yeah. Gas. Ooh. Taz? No, I'm joking. <laughs> absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? <laughs> That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Natasha? Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those yeah, boxes this have had their detonation mechanisms removed, look good. so there's no fear of good them luck, exploding. Snake. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Can I use that for time travel? Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Well, I can't, because the game won't let me. Uh -huh. Let me talk to Thanks to Naomi. Let me talk to Nastasha Romanenko. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the Colonel mentioned. The most yes. useless character in this game. You can ask me anything mm -hmm. about nukes that you want. <laughs> I am also nice. a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate. Oh, she in smokes this too. I'm surprised these two aren't an item instead of Meryl and Snake. I was happy to accept. Mm -hmm. You're a tough we lady, and you smoke cigarettes. To get nice. Their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. <laughs> I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists <laughs> are serious about launching a nuclear weapon. The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen. She's actually mentioned I. in Sons of Liberty. Unfortunately, all I can mm -hmm. do from here oh, wow. is provide you know with information. Yeah, if you go to the memoirs or whatever no. section of the game Another where you read a book about Shadow, the, the book about Shadow Moses, I think it was, Danny. Same here, Snake. I believe it would be the newspaper, but yeah. No, it's like a part of the game where you read. There's a hundred pages you can read in that game of the Holy crap. book. Yeah, and Nastasha. Talks about her ex-husband, Colonel Ames. Yep, the guy with the pacemaker. Yeah. Mentos, the pacemaker. <laughs> Mentos, the fresh maker. <laughs> that town stone cold told Ray Flair, Calm down, son, your pacemaker's about to go out. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Ray Flair's <laughs> face, he had this look of shock on his face, but in real life, I think Flair said he, he wanted to laugh so hard, but he had to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> Flair, yeah, the pacemaker. Yeah. <laughs> I love when Stone Cold feud, uh, feuded with uh, Ric Flair. It was awesome. I remember the Hollywood Blondes feuding with uh, Ric Flair and Arn Anderson at WCW. Hurry up. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, dang it. Stupid elevator. Take it. Now it opens up when the guy's coming back. Lame. When it does that. What a bunch of. Bas and I'm pretty sure the guard's like, I don't uh, remember opening the elevator door. Who did that? Right, and it's funny, they can't, I don't, in this game, I don't think they can see you in the elevator. I think in Sons of Liberty, they can. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a good tip. That's a Skip Rogers tip right there. In elevator action, you must go to the top floor. Be at the top of your game. <clears throat> Now we're playing the waiting game. The music's so good. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Right, hurry up. Me. There we go. Reminds me of my high school days sneaking to class. Yeah. <laughs> watch out for the monitors and watch out for security cameras. All right, and I don't think I'm supposed to. No, I'm not supposed to be in this floor yet. Dang gummit! Dang gummit! It all looks the same to me. I don't know where to go. 
Time to bust out the strategy guide. <laughs> hey man, you gotta drop on that strategy guide? <laughs> Who's that? I think yeah, I would like Ron to wonder uh, who that is. Oh man, what? How do you radio for help when I had him like that? Shoot, hide. Yeah. He didn't even have it, his hands on his the radio. He had his hands on something else, but... Uh-huh. Yeah. It censored his... well... yeah. The right to censor? Here comes the siren going off. Here comes the good father. Yeah. And another one has to use the can. Yeah, right? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Give him a swirly. <laughs> nice, a ration. Almost some more. Ah. God dang it, gotta equip level 3, there we go. Uh, this is probably why I like the Twin Snakes more than the original. Why? Uh, didn't have to equip the card. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, they followed, uh... Basically, Metal Gear Solid 2 physics. Yeah, there we go. The tips his wife missile. Mm -hmm. We know we don't have the level 4 card. Yeah, shut up. Don't rub it in my face, stupid door. Hang it, door. Screw you. I'm mm -hmm. out of here. Imagine a Metal Gear, Metal Gear Railgun Shooter, but I don't think that'll work. Uh, that would, uh, yeah. Well, it doesn't seem out of the ordinary that Konami would do that. I mean, the Pachinkos. Yeah, the, the Malenkos, what? <coughs> Electricity. Uh-oh. Wouldn't want to be a Kentucky Fried uh, Snake now, would we? <laughs> no, we would not. It all tastes like chicken. If Tasty. You say so. Just add some barbecue sauce. <laughs> JR's barbecue sauce. Snake, watch out. I've never actually had it, so I couldn't say. Me either. The floor is electrified. First, destroy and now we're from our sponsor. No, the switchboard on the <laughs> northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote-controlled missile. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Captain ECW. Dagummit! Whoa. Dang it! <clears throat> I didn't expect that, but I guess it did happen. It did happen. I expect you to shut up and get to Meryl. Do it. And do it now. Punch it. Come on, I'm here! Do it! Whip it. There we go. Whip it good. Now that was easy to... Yup. That was electrifying. No need to shock you. I need to get out of here so I can breathe. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Ration. Ah. Come on, Ron, you gotta get good. There we go. Get good, son. Ouch. Oh, gas mask. There we go. I love the cameras uh, with machine guns. I love getting shot. Yeah. Du -du 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 -du. Ah, it's number six. Number six.
Numero si Ocho. Uh, numero yes. Here we go. Oh. Chapter and answer are useful. Ow! Oh shoot. Oh man! I could have made it to the door if I hadn't got shot. <clears throat> well, that's game over. Time for our, our final thoughts about the game. No, I'm sorry. Mission failed. Fishing mailed. <clears throat> Since when I'm did uh, the computer AI fail? Right. I think since it got Windows Vista. <laughs> oh! Nobody uses Vista. Vista sucks. Looks like you're getting good. Colonel. I'll give you that yep. much. Colonel. And time to re equip the uh, mask. Colonel, it stinks in here. Colonel. Watch it. That place is filled with ass. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. That's it. <gasps> that was close. Colonel, this place smells like ass. What's going on here? No, nothing stinks. It's a bloodbath. So is Gangrel and the Brood here? Oh. <laughs> there we go, small Oh, how nice! He left us a bunch of bodies. Blade. This part's pretty scary. Yeah, it's got me. He left us nothing but a bag of bodies. It's ghosts of Tsushima. Tsushima, I can't pronounce that game. Tsushima? Yeah. Tsushima. Tsushima? Shang Tsushima. Trying to pronounce. Is there a way to get stealth camouflage in this game? Um. Yeah, if you get the bad ending. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, if you, uh... Basically do it, uh... Have the ending with, uh, Hal. Otacon. Okay. But with Mero, it's uh, infinite ammo. Yep. Oh, I was not aware of that. Nice. Oh, Danny! Oh, Danny, ugh! And I know how to hold in my bowels, thank you. Apparently not. my friend. What? What are you talking about? Here comes J-Man here comes, here comes J -Man now. Oh, what next? <laughs> Snake. You're that ninja. And I'm the Gray Fox. I'm ninja. For you, Snake. Who are you? Cowabunga. I am back from such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. It's like one of my Dragon Ball Z streams. <laughs> it is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No difference. <laughs> ah, fine. He can 
Hide in your locker, you little coward. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Yo! That just sounds so wrong. I need you to shut up. This match is go. ECW rules. Me versus J Man. Watch out, J Man's been drinking that Crown Royal. Yeah. CQC. How about? Uh, it's not an angel getting hit. I would find an angel sitting at me. Uh, Cyborg angel. The nice. TAS speed runs to this game is actually pretty cool. Yeah. I seen someone beat this game on, on extreme, but TAS looks freaking awesome. Yeah, and also takes advantage of no frame invincibility when you beat the crap out of the enemies. Yeah. Nice. On CQC. Get him in the walls of Jericho. Get him in the walls of in this, in this room, there's a reference to a PlayStation 1 console in this room. Huh. I have no clue. Nice. Don't damage nope. this equipment. This computer's cost a lot of money. No need to kick down the chairs. You got anger problems. Yeah. That's good, Snake. Hurry up and catch me. We're playing How to Go Seek now? Ooh, Police Knots. That's a nice nod to one of Kojima's other games. Nice. That's how you cheat. You use ECW mode to How to Go Seek. Use a stealth camouflage. <laughs> you can't see me. Yes, I can. Yeah, John Cena. Uh, John Cena flage. Or what you call it? John Cena suit. Two. You can't see me. Like old times. I've been waiting for this pain. Ha! <laughs> I barely hit him right there. <laughs> nice. You barely touched him! Yeah. So he disappears and reappears like those people on those uh, insurance commercials. Yeah. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is here. In this case, they're not. Yes. Do you remember Snake? The feel of battle. The clashing of bone and sinew. Sinew. That sounds very pleasant. What is sinew? That's good snake. No clue. Death by snoo snoo? Who's sinew that this battle will be tough? Hurt me more. Okay, you masochist. Man, hit him! What the heck was that? I have no clue. Let's about to ask you that. Shut up, more! <laughs> Shot him through the window. Snake. Do you remember me now? Can't it can't be. be. You were killed you in were S2K. Killed
more like I killed you and I saw you die on uh, by touching a landmine. I remember, do you remember the promotion at the time? They sold Metal Gear, Konami was selling candy bars, they called it the Zanza bars. I don't know what's happening. Y all, y all, I don't y all, remember, I've seen them. Y'all don't remember that? I do remember that, I just never seen one in person. Well, that's because I'm joking, that never happened. Uh, wait, no, the <laughs> Mandela effect. <laughs> yeah, the ECW effect. Wait, which side, which side of the Mandela effect over? are you on? Which side is he on? He is a Terminator. <clears throat> Gray Fox. Colonel, what now? That ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before Nanny? I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? All right, Danny's cat. The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, that Mexico's the nephew. question is why. <laughs> From what I could tell. No, it's my cat. <laughs> Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure. Gray cat. He seems intent on fighting me to Black death. Black cat. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Uh, I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. So apparently my cat Leo wants to be a part of this commentary too. <laughs> cool. <laughs> More the merrier. We had a lot of guests on this 2K the past 10, 11 years. We had Jeff's mother, J Man's train, and now Danny's cat. Oh, yeah, yes, he says plans. hi to everybody. You can't stay here forever. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. You're Danny, right? The Are Metal Gear scientist. You're the Metal Gear chief engineer. Hell, you're, you're the right? S2K chief engineer, Danny Richardson, right? You know me? <laughs> oh no, my identity has been exposed. So oh no. Rescue me. It says right so, there, how Emmerich, no. Danny Richardson. There's something that I've got to do first. <laughs> oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Are you alright? Are you hurt? Yeah, I had a wrestling match with Kurt Angle. Oh, I'm okay. I just uh -oh. twisted my ankle a little bit. Sounds like my uh, Achilles tendonitis. That's yeah. pleasant. Achilles, yeah, so Achilles is a heel? I need information about Metal Gear. Uh, Step step in face. Metal Gear? Oh, yeah. yeah. What's I Metal Gear so. really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! Oh, J-Man, leave Metal Danny alone. Nothing but a nuclear equipped what did out. I do? Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists that train that used metal drops by my freaking trailer missile. all the time. You that wakes me up every night. Know. You tell me you didn't know. They're gonna put a dismantled. <laughs> but I'm not that kind of engineer. The missile module. Wrong. From the beginning, the sleep. purpose of this exercise was sleep. to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch sleep. capability oh, using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? Rawr! I didn't know. No. 
All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, Vulcan and a Raven. real gun. A railgun, you said. Yeah. A railgun shooter. Magnets you mean fire Resident Evil? Extremely high velocity. Dang, I forgot what it was called. Was originally developed Umbrella for Chronicles. The you mean Umbrella Chronicles? We yeah. Were in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between it's the on the ST2K channel. National Labs. The railgun is on so Rex's right arm. you're the one behind the Let's Play? Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. Indeed I am. You sure you're not forgetting, liar? It's true that Metal Gear the has a missile module to work the, to not carry the, up to the eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? You did it. Not me. Not my! Not my either! Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they Ron, you don't need to be so nift. <laughs> what does that mean, nift? Yes, but <laughs> nifty. You can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. Someone in the comments. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test yeah, everything working? in a virtual environment. Wait. But it's all just theoretical. <laughs> That'd be creepy. So this exercise it's like, was wait, who's this other person thing. in the call? I can't hear him breathing, that's do. it. If Earlier, my DoorDash driver sent me a text saying, I'm getting close. Damn. I'm like, Damn. I'm scared. Who is this? And that put just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's nice. all my fault. Nice prank. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. The Ninja Turtles game on the NES. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, They're talking about Metal Gear Solid 3. He was born on August 6th, 1945. ECW Hirashima bomb. And also God Peace Walker. Of humor, right. Texas Ranger. Mm-hmm. I love that game. Three generations. That'd be cool if they made a Walker Texas Ranger video game. We must have the curse of <laughs> nuclear weapons written into our DNA. DNA impact? Yeah, I'm surprised oh. they never did. Yeah. Ooh. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. To help make Foley? But the one that wound up getting used was me. Oh. Using science but to help Hill. mankind. It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Yeah. Where is Metal Gear? <sighs> Stop crying. You Where in this base are they keeping it? Ooh. Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. Who's Rex? Tower. Your dog. It's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too. Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll, you'll just slow me down, down, you little gully man. I don't need you. I just need your Perfect. brain. <laughs> I and then he rips his rest. brain out and he keeps it's my it. <laughs> my duty to destroy. There you go. Oh, oh Robocop too. Nice shooting, son. Chance, What's your name? Try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact Murphy. you by codec. How am I supposed to escape <laughs> from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. I've got this. If you say so, it's I the believe same you. stealth technology Stop. as the ninja. I do not. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this, I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. 
But I want Meryl to watch after you, too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they spotted me! Damn! <laughs> Meryl! What happened? That's not good. Meryl! Meryl! Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. <laughs> Here, use this security card. Oh, it's security level that. four. Or was that? Nope. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. I love dies. the dialogue in you're this game. Luck. Forget yeah. it, doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who ECW likes Japan convention. ECW. Japanimation! I'll go as Tommy Dreamer in the ECW convention. They're still the best mm. Mexico will go, go as Super Crazy. And Japanese cartoons yeah. played some parts. Angel will go as Tajiri. They did. <laughs> Unbelievable. I didn't get into science to make Danny would go as one of the referees. That's what all scientists say. Yeah, after all, I'm only like, what, 5'4? Like J Man would go as Sandman. Really, no, I, if you all he needs is his uh, Russian South Singapore South cane South or the dark one. So where's J Man? Right. He got so drunk we he didn't show up. Yeah. Science mm -hmm. has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Even if you are kind of again. Oh, suddenly now he's running. Yeah, really. Liar. He's faking his injury. He's faking to collect the insurance. <laughs> he's pointing at Eddie Guerrero. He's faking it. Yeah. Mainly. Snake does an old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein Thank you, said Chen it another Lee. way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassar like my friends. I wanted to do a yeah, yeah, business, shut up not and save my game. theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The solar <sighs> system or the code. The voice system. actress is so funny. Even though she's well, that said, it was the same for Dominic too. But she's being but so stereotypical. You used to make a horrible yeah. too stereotypical if you <laughs> ask me. Hidden racism in our games. I'm Calm sorry. <laughs> and save my game. Make my day punk. Save my game. I got game. <laughs> so what are you doing later? All right, that is it for part three of Metal Gear Solid. See you guys in part quattro. Until then, God bless. Take care. Show up. <laughs> be there. Or be square. Yeah, and be sure to follow us and follow the black cat. <laughs> be there or be triangle. Welcome to part four of... Let's play Melgar Solid for the PS1. Not the GameCube version, of course. I recently streamed that, even though that's the ECW-esque game as well. 
This is Ron Moore, and oh yeah, and for the first time with us on this 2K channel, making this SC2K debut, ECW Ace Gaming. How's it going? <laughs> it's going great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so Omega Ace Gaming, an awesome streamer. Check out his channel by clicking on the link in the description box below because I'm too lazy or stubborn to learn the new way of adding cards on the screen. Or however you do that, because I'm so boomer. I am a YouTube boomer, jeez. I've been yeah, on YouTube since 2007. And, yeah, so Snake here has just defeated Great Fox. And now he's got to get things to He's got for Meryl next. <laughs> you know, I, I actually, my, my first uh, experience playing Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear Solid, was actually the GameCube version. Oh, wow. Yeah, my friend Swindoll used to be in some of my projects a long time ago. He introduced me to the series, and then I got hooked to Sons of Liberty. And after that, I kind of fell off. I wanted to play Snake Eater back in the day. I just never got around to it. I think other games just caught my interest. But uh, this and Sons of Liberty, I really played a lot back then. Yeah, oh, I, I loved Sons of Liberty. Actually, I, uh, I had picked it up on the original Xbox. It was, what, Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance, I believe they called it? Yeah. Yeah, I ended up uh, getting it from, like, a like a ma and pa shop and uh i was i was actually visiting a like a family friend and one you know one of the one of their relatives uh had mentioned that there was a store nearby uh that sold games so we walked over there and you know i was young at the time so i didn't really have much money and they were selling you know the game had just come out on the xbox so it was like you know 50 60 bucks and yeah not knowing what it was really worth i just you know i, I picked up the case i approached the guy and i, I said i got 20 bucks I uh, I was gonna say I I remember when they announced the Twin Snakes remake in production, mm -hmm. and I saw the images of it. I'm like, whoa, no way, dude! And yeah, I had to get the Twin Snakes because that was an awesome remake. It was over the oh, top yeah. with the Matrix stuff, but it was cool. Yeah, it really is over the top, and I, they replaced some of the voice actors too, right? Uh, some of the voice actors, David Hayter took a pay cut in order to be in it, um, hmm. and. I think some of the same voice actors did return. I think uh, Gray Fox obviously had a different voice actor. Yeah, yeah. So did uh, Psycho Mantis. I, I recall. I think so. Yeah. All right. So now I gotta look for Meryl. You won't be in disguise for long with the way you walk. Right. Oh, which one? I'm not sure which one it is. I couldn't. Ah, oh, I can't. Stupid thing in the way. Is that? No, I think that's her. Which one? Which one is her? No, no, that's not her. I think that's her over there. I can't see her butt, so I can't tell. <laughs> I th yeah, that's her. Come here. Look at me. Oh, uh, she disappeared on the radar right in the middle of the restroom. We saw oh, that. <laughs> Yeah, back when I picked up uh, this game on the GameCube, actually, you know, the copy was sealed and everything. I opened it and the disc wasn't in there. What? Yeah, so I had this really awkward conversation with uh, with the employee. I said, yeah, I said, I opened it and the game wasn't in there. You know, they had a look of skepticism. I must have talked to two or three employees because, you know, they, they all just got involved. And then finally, they, they agreed to let me open one more, and they forced me to open it in front of them, so I didn't have to pay for a second one. But that was a first, and that's, it's never happened again to me since then. Has that ever happened? No, it hasn't. I, but man, I heard a story where someone, I think it was a PS4, someone ordered it, and when they got it in the, in the mail, when they had to ship to them, it was nothing but a box of rocks in there or something. <laughs> What's that mark? And so they had to, they returned it. Surprisingly, they actually set to the return. Because, you know, anybody could just make up a story and put, or make up, you know, pl planted rocks in there and take it back and say, oh, well, it came with a box of rocks, so can I get another one for free? And they probably, they probably thought you were trying to pull a stunt. And so what do you do in that situation? How do you prove, you know, that you're telling the truth? Yeah. No yeah, it was really awkward. I'm surprised they actually allowed me to get a second one. And you know, I was again, I was God. I don't even know how old I was. I was I, what, what is that? Fresh out of high school? When did, when did the Snake Eater? Uh, I'm sorry, the Twin Snakes release. 
Because it's 2004. Last time I feel truly alive. 2004. Other people die okay, so I was still in high school then. So, I mean, they had to believe a, a high school kid telling him, oh, the disc wasn't in there. That's surprising. Yeah. Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Meryl. How did you recognize me in disguise? I never met lady. So, there's something you like about me, huh? Sexy polygons. You've got a great butt. Oh, I see. He gets right to the point. He's blunt. You got a great butt. On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. You know, I, I know the game doesn't look that great anymore, but I mean, it still holds up, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe graphically not, but again, it's not all about graphics. Exactly. Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? <laughs> that pixel. There should be three the, keys. the polygon cleavage. This is all I've got. Yeah. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't you don't have you enough, enough XP. And what if you do? <laughs> then you can shoot. Metal Gear Solid RPG. Isn't there one like that, kind of, or not? Oh, uh, there's like an RPG card oh, game. Is it called Acid or something? I forgot. Mm -hmm. Yep. Acid uh, and Acid. Oh, I don't use makeup okay, this part right here. I it's where an inside joke mm -hmm. happened between me and Mega Dan and I've some other streamers. I always I've always dreamed of becoming an ECW soldier. But I was wrong. Yeah. And that right there, and then Mega Dan just laughed so hard at it, and it became the command my dream in my chat. In awesome. And it says, I've always dreamed of becoming an ECW wrestler, I think is what I actually said, I don't remember. And I changed it to streamer. That's awesome. I thought I was until today. Now I understand. I love this song. Is, yeah, me the too. Myself, come. Afraid of having to make my own decisions. Yeah, the uh, the uh, R E C W. I want to know who I am. Yeah. What I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've. Man, clean that mirror. What the janitor's at? I guess the janitor's must be on strike. You won't get enough chance for right. a You should wash your face too while you're at it. This isn't a training exercise. Sounds rude. Wash your face while you're at it. And put on more makeup. You look like hell. Dang, Snake. Lose your worm food. Yeah. Yeah. Is your face functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. It's okay. I got infinite ammo. It's a 50 caliber action express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I Your mouth didn't move yet, huh? Not yet. Right, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that very big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Like ventriloquists. Use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. Hell of a gun loading animation on PS1. If I go to the north, we'll have to yeah. go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Have you heard of Camelot 331? Camelot 331? Okay, yeah. Go. No, I can't I say I have. You. Awesome YouTuber. Has like, I think, over 100,000 subscribers. He wow. loves Metal Gear Solid games, the Metal Gear games in general. He's pretty good mm -hmm. at them. Nice. There's no nice. Yeah, I've never heard of him. What happened to the music? He did a lot of GameStop videos. He used to work there for 12 sure years, and that's how his channel blew up, all the stories he's told. Wow. Pretty hilarious dude, too. I'm a member of, of his channel. Nice. I know, aside from you playing uh, Twin Snakes, I know uh, Stampede Gaming, I know he's been playing his fair share of Metal Gear as well. I think he's doing, he's doing like a Metal Gear Mondays thing. Yeah, Snakes Revenge, I think he's been doing... Yeah, he was playing like the, the MSX version of uh, Metal Gear 2. Don't come here, sir. I love this music. <laughs> oh, yeah. They use, it, use this part of the game right here for an Excedra migraine commercial. It was hilarious. <laughs> Did they really? No, not really. <laughs> I'm fine. 
This be some epic interest music for some okay. evil heel wrestler. Yeah, you're right. I can just imagine them just walking slowly back in the trades though. Yeah. Towards the rain. That's great. A commander is waiting. Well, she sound different. Meryl, you sound different. <laughs> Where would you uh, where would you put this boss fight uh, if you were to rank it with the other boss fights from this game? Oh, the best one because of its innovation, mm -hmm. its innovation and its inter interactivity. Yeah, it's my favorite boss battle in the game. Probably my favorite boss battle in the entire. Well, I haven't played all the series, but definitely out of Sun, this one and Sons of Liberty, um, I still put this bo boss battle as the best one. Yeah, they really thought outside the box for this one. You don't like girls? Snake, Meryl's not herself. <laughs> don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. ECW Mantis. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. What, they made a typo? Try to knock her up. Whoa, dude. <laughs> That's your niece, dude. It's okay, Snake. Go for it. Uh, yeah. Okay, Colonel. Thanks. <laughs> it just keeps kicking her. I didn't say stop. Yeah. Chuck, you break her neck. Snake! Snake! You idiot! I said knock her out! <laughs> Optic camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. It's the predator. <laughs> the predator, yeah. To catch a predator. So Chris Hansen the snake <laughs> fighting all these predators. <laughs> I will show you oh, why man. I am the most can you believe it took until 2020 for me to finally watch that movie? What movie? Oh, pre the first Predator? Yeah. Wow. Freaking awesome, isn't it? There's also a part two. Yeah, oh, it's a great movie. Yeah. I. Uh, and that's the thing, too. Like, I've brushed past opportunities to, to watch it, but something else would just keep coming up, you know? Yeah. I can think of countless times, like, during my childhood or just growing up in my, in my teenage years. You know, like I'd have family members or like my cousin, for example, they'd say, hey, you want to watch Predator? I'd say, sure. And then something would just happen. It would just prevent us from watching it every time. Yeah. I like this part. It, uh, he reads your memory card. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. You have your Castlevania Symphony, the night uh, save data. He tell you about like Castlevania. Yeah, and on GameCube, the remake. You've been playing The Legend of Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> You've been playing some ECW. No, I don't say that, but that'd be funny. That would be. What if it got too scary and it started stating your real name and ad legal address and stuff? <laughs> Resident <laughs> ship. Jeez. Jesus. And you're live streaming this too. You just dox you. He just doxed you. <laughs> Mantis just doxed you from a live stream. Oh my god. Still don't believe me. You still don't believe me. I will show you my psychokinetic power. Dude, the voice actor he owned this man. He yeah, he did. Put it down as I, was he wearing an oxygen mask when he did this or something? Like the voice act actor himself? What was he talking through? Maybe a real gas mask? I don't know. They had him run around the block a couple times. Yeah. Oh, it works. My controller's moving. <laughs> <laughs> right. At the time, though, it was pretty freaking cool. Except when, you, except when you play on emulation, it doesn't work. Yeah. The Hideo thing, that's all. That's really cool, too. I thought his name was Hot Hideo. Because instead of video, it says Hideo. I thought his name was Hideo. That's that clever. was hideous. Hideous, yeah. Alright, here we go. I wonder how hard this would be to fight him on extreme. This is on normal right here. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I never beat this game on extreme. Sons of Liberty I did, but not this game. No way. Dun, dun. Oh, yeah, with, like, the lack of, uh, like, being able to aim and everything. I know they they added that to, like, the, the GameCube version, the first, the first person shooting. Yeah. Dun, 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 easy, easy, dun. 
You can't, yeah, you can't first person shoot here though, because you can shoot him like this in the GameCube version. What if Snake just timed it and he just landed on the seat as it was rotating around him? Yeah. Wait, this is fun. It's like the fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called the Psycho Mantis ride, or that's what it's called, the Psycho Mantis. Nice. Konami opens up a theme park. The Metal Gear Solid section. You got the Psycho Mantis. You got the uh, the Metal Gear itself. You get to ride inside actual Metal Gear. <laughs> Right. Good have to have a Castlevania section. Oh yeah, dude. I can't read. I don't know about this version, but I know the GameCube version. Colonel gives you a hint. He basically just tells you to unplug your controller and plug to the second port. <laughs> Okay, so you remember, actually I don't know if it, it was uh, just in the GameCube version, but you're supposed to look at the back of the box and it had a co uh, like a codec on there? Yeah, it was on the PS1 version. I mean, you can oh, do the same thing on the GameCube one. version, I think, as well, but uh, Baker tells you in this version, it's on the back of the CD jewel case. And I'm, look, I'm, I'm looking through my inventory, and I'm like, I don't have a CD jewel case in my inventory. What's he talking about? Where do you find it? And... And you find out it's in the back of your actual physical copy of your video game, the CD jewel case. Mm -hmm. The GameCube version, he says, it's on the back of the package. But of course, by the time you're playing the remake, you most li people most likely have played the original, so they already know where to look. So I had rented the game from Blockbuster, and that box doesn't have the <laughs> the codec. Oh, ha! I never thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> that was as far as I got. You know, when I played this on emulation at first, I couldn't uh, unplug the fir uh, the controller from the first port because you know you gotta configure everything with the emulation yeah. controls and just mess things up. I couldn't finish the stream. I had to say, all right, guys, we'll continue this next time because luckily it had an actual physical copy. I just wanted to do it on emulation because be I thought it'd be easier to set things up. Right. But so it's a good thing I had the physical the the console and the game. Mm -hmm. That's so dark. Yeah. Stop, Meryl! I know in Extreme you have a very short time to knock her out. She'll kill herself real quick, I think, is what I heard. Okay. Because how, how would you have figured this out without uh, knowing how to, you know, who'd have thought? Let me unplug the first controller and plug to the second port. We compel somebody to want to do something like that, yeah. Uh, on the X-Men for Sega Genesis, I, by accident, I figured out how to beat that part where it says, Reset the computer, now! And I just said, dang it, I don't know what to do, let me start over. I reset my Sega Genesis, and that's how you do it. Wow. And all of a sudden, these binary digits, because if you don't reset the computer, like it tells you mm -hmm. to, the bomb explodes or something like that. And so I said, dang it, let me start over again, son of a... And I reset the... Genesis and all these binary digits started showing up on my screen out of nowhere and I'm like what hap what is going on with my game did it malfunction and it shows a cutscene and I said oh what so I figured it out by accident that is so cool it tells you to reset the computer now literally telling you that and I think that that game came out before Metal Gear Solid yeah yeah I came out before Metal Gear Solid so it's like man they uh you know, Metal Solid is a very innovative game, but X-Men of Genesis, you know, that, that part right there was, I don't know if it's ahead of its time, but it's the first for me. Oh, come on now. I gotta get more ammo, get the Fomus ammo. Psycho matches be good in the ECW match. He'll throw those steel chairs at you so easily. Throwing steel chairs. I'll show you how it's done, RVD. <laughs> oh, come on, I shot him. It's BS. Oh, I got him, though. Come on. I can't. I, I, I just gotta keep firing. I'm about to get him right here. Dang it, ran out. Here we go. I can't read. One more shot. Get him. Dang it, ran out again. Man, imagine running out and you lose right there. Game over. Oh, man. It'll be so frustrating. Come on, get him. There we go.
that's that Colonel, sound effect right there when they're me. calling you. I used to have that for my Skype uh, tone. I owe you one. Really? Now that Mantis is yeah. beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? <laughs> What's her deal? Naomi. It's true. Well, we'll find out as we progress further in the game. That doesn't mean yeah. doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. Yeah, I'd use the other controller port. Yeah, yeah. Breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. The strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. Just like in Back to the Future. But I will read you the future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance space. Remember the GameCube version, all those pictures that come to life? Oh, yeah, they start laughing. Yeah. Yeah, that was the truth. Imagine seeing that in real life. <laughs> you look at a picture, uh, or in, especially in your own house, like a picture of whoever, yourself, whatever, just comes to life and starts going. Ah, 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 ah. That's a trip. Seriously. Why are you telling me this? I can read. People's minds. In my lifetime, <laughs> I have read you remember that, uh, and like the Metal Gear parody videos that they had on YouTube? Uh, um, like, I don't know if you did you did you ever see those? I don't think so. They had one where Psycho Mantis says to Snake, he says, You like men, and then Snake goes, You can see it in my mind, and then Psycho Mantis goes, No. He's like, Oh. Huh. I remember Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Tacos. <laughs> I've never seen that. It was a Flash parody on Newgrounds. Remember Newgrounds? Oh yeah, I remember Newgrounds. From 2005, I think they made it. It's freaking hilarious. It's like Snake's birthday, and the Colonel's like, "Snake, today's your birthday, David." And like, he, Snake's all surrounded by the soldiers because he gets spotted. It's like, yeah. Colonel, if I ever make it through this, I swear. <laughs> and then they, the soldier goes, hey, did you hear that guy's his birthday? And they all celebrate with a fiesta. <laughs> it's funny. That's awesome. I'm sure that's on YouTube. Oh, yeah, it is. Everything from Newgrounds just migrated to YouTube. Yeah. Newgrounds and You the Man Now Dog. It was a fun sites back then. Oh, yeah. Misery. Ugh, the story's so dark. Yeah. was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. You ever play uh, Metal Gear Solid 3? Yeah, I did. I streamed it a while back. It was like a blind run. Yeah, that's a great game. I suck at it. I was playing on very easy too, and I was just sucking at it. There's so much more advanced than the first two. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to take into account. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. Actually, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 has uh, had something really unique too, where uh, there was a really uh, th there was like a boss that was really old in that game. Uh, I believe they called him the End. Yeah, that's as far as I got because I, I tried to beat him for like an hour, couldn't find him. They keep on finding me. I said, "Man, forget this." I was done. Yeah, if you uh, if you if you stop playing the game for several months, I, I I don't recall exactly like the duration of time it needs to be, but. Uh, the game just he just dies of old age. Yeah, yeah, I heard that too. But I wanted to beat him like, you know, for real. Yeah, beat him legit. Yeah. And the longer the battle goes, his stamina goes down. But I couldn't find him. I killed his bird though. I pissed him off. <laughs> yeah. I saw you there. 
kicks him in the head. Stop talking. Yeah. That's too many questions in this game. A large place? Meryl? Metal Gear? <laughs> yeah. This questions everything. Hey, Lotez? I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. The virus is still out there. Please put my mask back on. <laughs> and please step away from me. Right? It's six feet for a reason, please. Do a parody. Metal Gear, uh, I don't know, Metal Gear Corona? <laughs> the Metal Gear Solid, uh, uh, COVID. I don't know. Sons of ECW. <laughs> yeah. The cure for the virus is the Elote, the Elote vaccine. Yeah, Elote vaccine. I know this was released on the GameCube, but I think it's due for another remake. Hmm. Maybe on PS4 or 5? Yeah. I mean, the, the story is so compelling in this one. I want to see the first Metal Gear NES be remade. Oh, that would be awesome. That'd be freaking awesome. Yeah. They could definitely Let's remake go, both. Meryl. Yeah. I'm sorry. They'll just release them in succession. Meryl. How could I let Mantis? They need to remake Action like 52. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yourself, I'll leave you here. Some 3D Cheetah Men. Hell yeah. Never doubt yourself. If done right, that'd be freaking cool, though. They remake yeah. Cheetah Man. You're right. Yeah, a new Cheetah Man game. I'm sorry. Yeah. I won't do it. Again. Uh, you know, I think it'd be cool for like an indie team to pick it up, make yeah. something good out of it. Can I ask you something? What? About the indie team picked up, did the Streets of Rage remake. Oh, it's freaking awesome, man. What? What's the problem? Oh, now? the Streets of Rage remake. Oh. Yeah, I did some videos on that. Check those out. Oh man, it was freaking awesome. That game is ECW. Streets of ECW. Your real name. Yeah. Name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to You're referring to the remake where they combine the first three games? Yeah. No. Bob Bomber yeah, games? Good. Yeah. So good. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested. That was good enough to sell, honestly. Well they tried it they want they they showed Sega what they did. Instead of doing business with them, Sega said, No, cease and desist. Like I, I mean, yeah, it's their IP. They can do that, but come on, yeah, man. Well, if they were smart, dude, I would have jumped. If I was sick, I would have jumped all over that. Yeah, yeah let's do business. I would have paid. I would have been glad to pay for that. Yeah. All right, so that's the end of part four of Metal Gear Solid. I plug controller to controller port one. It reminds you to do that. <laughs> and yeah, so well, I'm going to save here real quick before I end the stream. I guess a quick chat with Chun Li. I mean Mei Ling. The tongue of dying men enforce attention like deep harmony. Huh? Snake people don't normally lie with their dying breath. I think he was telling the truth. Maybe you should believe him. You're the one with bad breath. Now shut up. Ain't that be so cold? <laughs> but Snake, how can you smell my bad breath from the Kodak? All right, so Please see right here. I didn't plan on doing it. <laughs> thanks, thanks, don't give up. But it says you're about to quit. I can't quit. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> that is the end of part four. And Mega Dan wanted to be in this so bad, but he could not. He had to work. I know he'll be watching. And so thank you very much, Omega Ace Gaming, for, for joining me in this commentary. Yeah, thanks for having me. And I hope to have you in some more future S2K commentaries. Oh, yeah. All right, so that is it, guys. We are out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care. Welcome to part five of Let's Play Melgar Solid. This is Ron Moore along with Mexico and Bushido Blade Warrior. Yo. I bet Booker T likes this part. It's the, it's the fifth part. Five time. Five time. All right. Can you dig it, sucker? <laughs> sucker? Could there be wolves in there? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How and snow dogs, so the video game starring Huey things. Gooding Jr. I'm a musher. <laughs> oh god, I remember that. <laughs> that was a pretty good movie, movie, actually. It's my guilty pleasure. Them. Yeah. Snake, you follow me. Jeez, I hated this part.
Especially when I you don't have night vision goggles. I yes, hated this really. part too as I played it the first time. I was like, these wolf dogs are killing me. Yeah. Made me so angry. Okay, right here, I think I forgot to get the ECW vision goggles from that one room. Quote the Raven for more. Da, 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 ECW. I mean, tunnel vision. Da, da, da. And now oh, we are. Shoot. are Lagged. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh. Wolfpack attacking me now. Kevin Nash got hole. K Dog. You're in, you're in trouble now, Ron. Yeah. Don't uh, turn your back on the Wolfpack. Uh, now Peter's gonna. Other ones you might end up in a body bag. Now Peter's gonna fight Ooh. this video. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Your video has been marked for animal cruelty. So care. is your Super Mario All Stars? <laughs> no, yeah, oh, yeah. I don't care if the, the dog's suit. ripping your throat out. You don't ever harm it. He's harming me. <laughs> oh well, what you do to the dog? Reminds My me of that South Park episode. And the dog, stray dogs attacked him. Oh well. <laughs> you shouldn't have been walking there. Well, well, how the hell am I supposed to get to school? You're not supposed to go to school. To go for school. Mm. Jeez, I feel, like, I, feel, I feel like I'm playing Snake Eater here. It's so dark in this cave, I can't see anything. <clears throat> I was about to ask about that. I was like... Only one bullet left. Are you playing Metal Gear or Silent Hill? It's, it's so damn Snake, dark. what's wrong? Yeah. I thought you were good with dogs. Shut up. Shut up in there, <clears throat> will ya? Not me! <laughs> Not me! Well, this is the end. Or is it? Nope. Can't kill my buzz. Nope, no serene. Buzz from uh, Home Alone? This mine. I'll take point again. <laughs> oh, yeah. But the radar isn't working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me. Leave it to Beaver. <clears throat> Leave it to Beaver. <laughs> Does Meryl have a Karen haircut? Well, not really. That's more like... Oh, heavens no. That's more like Linda McMahon in No Mercy. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Good grief. It'd be funny if the monster blew her up. Rah! Meryl! Snake! Boom. I messed up! Go on and don't stop loving people! Or whatever she says. <laughs> and... How did you know where the mines were? I did. So, I wasn't think? just paying attention Pretty at good, all. Huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? <laughs> How about just crawl like this? And pick him up that way. Yeah, uh, even though I didn't pick none up right there. Oh shoot, wait a minute. Oh no. Ah, crap. She sounds like me when I'm wearing a face mask at work. Meryl. What is it? Uh, oh, so you sound like Darth Vader? <laughs> yeah. Meryl, get down. You sound awesome then. Oh. oh wait, oh wait, good god! Good god! Uh, sniper, Meryl! We just sniped her! Just took out her leg! Somebody get some help for that young woman! Somebody call an ambulance! No, don't do that! But I'm no good bitch! What, JR? <laughs> Snake. That Jezebel, yeah. stop her wolf! That no good. Don't say it, JR! Yes. <laughs> I am a rookie after all. Don't worry you can about it. Even I know that. Double it's the oldest trick in the book. The sniper's using me for bait to lure you out. I've always dreamed of being an ECW streamer. <laughs> or an ECW wrestler. Yeah. I can't reach it by myself. Don't so, hey, Spike Dudley did it, so. Oh, that's Molly Holly right there. Somebody help that young woman. I you down. <laughs> yes. I, 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 I can still help. Quiet down, save your strength. You. Quiet down, it's before save she got her strength. head shaved. You mean, what's your name with CM Punk's 
<laughs> Straight Edge Society, I forgot her name. Oh, I thought you were almost going to talk about AJ Lee. Oh, yeah. AJ Styles? Oh, wait. <laughs> Please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget Become me. Become an ECW soldier. Now get out of here. Castlevania 64. Graphics is that, Rosa? Uh. I can't toy. I Meryl! Damn. Snake. It's a trap. The sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl so he can pick you off. He? Don't do it. She! What a dumbass. Well, it's your moss. <laughs> I guess you should have worked in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. Not me. For hours, days, or weeks. Hey, it doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake. Can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic <laughs> sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. It's all well, at least things can't get any worse. I'm not doing it for someone or can else they? either. I'm going to save Meryl for myself. Meryl, you're so good Colonel. at... Don't injections worry. or nanomachine injections or whatever. Thanks. Why didn't you come out with a I'm sorry. Uh, vaccine for the COVID? <laughs> Instantly oh, demonetized. Oh, anywhere on Instantly. We're never monetized. Meryl's been shot. <laughs> They're just gonna monetize you just so they could take it away from you now. Right. A high quality sniper rifle is no, uh -huh. not my two cents. I uh, I saw a PSG one in the armory. Did you say grubs two cents? <laughs> Wow, that's a blast of the tank hanger. I have to go all the way yeah. there. My favorite's right there. Well, yeah. What's wrong with you, Otacon? What's wrong uh, with you, Danny? Nothing. <laughs> Danny and J-Man arguing now. <laughs> Alright, this snowfield. Is this Contra? Alright, here we go. So we got the mod detector this time. Uh. Okay, good job. Come on. I hate gonna guns like one. these, and I hate these cameras. And I forget when I use that, though, I can't see the mod detector radar. Alright, be careful here. All right, okay, so the mines are over there in the open field, okay. Ah! Well, you dodged it. Yeah, I'll watch out. Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. You use an ECW detector. I like how in the Twin Snakes is that rations fully heal you rather than barely heal you at all. Yeah, or well, does it depend on the difficulty level? <laughs> no, even on easy for the original Metal Gear. <laughs> It wouldn't fully heal you regardless, even when your health meter goes up. I'm like, well, man, really? That's cheap. Is it freaking but I think that's why I like uh, the Twin Snakes a little bit more. Yeah. I gotta watch you. I think there are... I don't, have my... I don't have infrared sensors, dang it. I know I got cigarettes, but... I think the laser that kind of helps, but it slowly them. kills you. Yeah, well, no, it don't kill you. It just it's, it does take away your energy, but even if you're at the, your last bit of health, it does not kill you. It just stops at the lowest part. Yep. Of course. I hate this part here. I either get caught or I'll fall in the freaking trap. Mm-hmm. The the best of the worst. The worst of the worst. Yeah. Like that. 
They go such a long way just to make sure hey, the armory is fully secured with these security sensors. Exactly. Yeah, I wish you go for the lockers in this game. I know they're twin stakes you can, but... And hide in them. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like about the twin snakes. Oh, okay, this is the room with the lasers. Mm-hmm. I'm just glad that uh, it, the room doesn't fill up with the uh, poisonous gas like in that hangar for the tank. Yeah. Then I have to hold there. my breath. <gasps> Can I speed run this game? Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Bobby. Bobby, that boy ain't raw. <laughs> Just <laughs> yeah. Rusty shackle oh. Trap doors. Trap doors is another thing I don't like. I think lasers aren't here too. I'm not sure. Probably not. You'd have to ask Skip Rogers. He would tell you. Avoid the lasers. At all costs. Avoid the lasers. Avoid the lay? Oh. Avoid the lasers and pay uh, your taxes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you cut out there. Oh no, wherever the PSG one is, it's one of these. Now I'm just so careful not to get caught with these guards everywhere. Yeah, That's this okay. is why I really didn't like this area. Oh, see, I forgot about that. I got lucky. ECW dodging of the trap door. Nice. It's a trap. When the door opens, it sounds like someone's going, yeah, yeah. I think it's in this storage room right here, but wait for this guard to move. Stupid guide. You just gotta wait till he falls asleep. I fell asleep. Okay. No, I'm joking. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's oh, in the game. It's in here. I feel it's asleep. In there it is right there. And there's lasers too. I gotta watch out. Watch out. The Amazon package is booby trapped. Yeah, I got the PS1. Ah, yeah. oh, dang it, I tripped the laser. I forgot the. Oh, you got a PSG I forgot to go across the ground like that, too. That yeah, the Colonel, uh -oh. now's Colonel not a good time. That's why I know. When I'm already stressed out as it is. I need a cigarette break. Hold on, guys, I need a cigarette break. Ow. Let me get the box. Okay. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. I'm not gonna make you out here alive. You can do it. Yo. Dang it. It's the end of the line. Or is it? Ah. Is it dumb? Watch out not to get your face shot off. Oh man. Oh dang it. Ah! Come on! Positive man. use the baby. <laughs> oh, looks like Mr. Burns got you there. Yeah, His right. trap door. Smith is? Who is this dolt? And it's Homer Simpson, sir. Sector. S sector ECW. Mm. Never heard of him. Excellent. Happy birthday, Mr. Smithers. Oh man. <laughs> That's gonna pop up as like a recommended video next to Ron's video. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'll click on this. Now, oh, I regret regret I got, that. We regret nothing. Now I gotta get the PS1 again. Get it. Oh, this is why I didn't like this one. <laughs> Man, how do you? Ah, oh, jeez. Did they change it? I don't remember if they did or. 
No, I just keep. Uh, it's awkward how you crawl back out of there. Just, oh man. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt. It looks like, oh man. This game is made to frustrate you. <laughs> Frustrating. I'm not frustrated. I'm not rage quitting. I just fucking. I just smashed my controller. That's all. I thought you said be cool. <laughs> that was cool. The game is cool. Let's it's handle this situation off. nice and chill. Ah, oh, jeez. With some green tea, Arizona green tea. And, and they're guarding the elevator. Oh man, I forgot to. I actually need to quit my ration. Oh well. Mm. Do do. Oh, don't worry, if you die three times in a row, that's called a Mexico. Or a hat trick. <laughs> yeah, uh, Victoria <laughs> say, don't pull a Mexico. <laughs> oh. Gotta love the trap doors. Yeah. It's a tarp. <laughs> no, that's not. See, that's not the infrared sensors. Dang it! See, I don't have that's it. I was I know hoping it. I have I... the infrared sensors, but I don't. I know I got the cigarettes, I... but the sensors work better. I know it's mm -hmm. here somewhere. Nope, it's not here. I left it at home. Oh well. <laughs> Left it in my other pocket. Colonel, I left my infrared sensors at home. Can I go back and get it real quick? Uh, <laughs> sure, no problem. We're on a sneaking mission, Snake. I can sneak back home and then come back. <laughs> Alright, let's see this is... Oh, come on and touch that! What? Man! Yeah, that's a bunch that's of some bull right pocket. Come on! That's it, that's BS. Thumbs down this video, alright, no. Yeah. <laughs> that's it, I'm just leaving an uh, awful review for Metal Gear. Just right, this yeah. one part. This game is lame because of that. Uh, it, ruins uh, the whole game. Uh, it ruins the whole game. KO! He just yeah. pulled a Mexico. A Mexa fail. Snake! This is Eat a Snickers. Solid Snickers. Solid Snickers. That, that made me a Snicker. <laughs> I like uh, Tony Snickers live streams. That's a pretty cool, cool channel. No, oh. shameless plug there. Yeah, he plugged my channel. I think twice today. I was getting new. Comments. He did. Mhm. Mm right, come on now. No, I, I went the wrong. Ah, oh, that's my fault, right there. Yeah. Dang it! Uh. Maybe hey, I sometimes you're stuck. Okay, Beavis. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Beavis and <laughs> AKA Retro Ryan and, and Bruiser Brady. Oh, nice. <laughs> no, oh, those guys are awesome. I know, I know they are, but they—that's that was their uh, was it a thumbnail? They, they. That's basically literally their whole thumbnails. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's a trap door right there too. Ooh, lucky. Ah. <clears throat> Guys, time out. I got something in my eye. It... Time out. I got something uh -huh. in my eye. Got you around the corner. Oh. Hide and seek. In this case, it's uh. seek. There's no time for hiding. Man, could things get any worse? I mean, they probably could, but... We'll just leave it at that. There has been... We lost communication to the basement floor to the armory. Oh man, see? Ah! Oh. There's nowhere oh. to go. Uh, uh. The, th the strategy is to keep running. Snake, quit Dang. yelling! Snake! <laughs> Snake! Snake. Snake! This is a sneaking mission.
mission, not Goldeneye. Well, Goldeneye, you, Gold you kind of sneak, post sneak around too a little bit, but this is not Contra Snake. <laughs> Goldeneye. That was awesome. Ooh, yeah, bullet. Fun let's play to do on this 2K. Yeah. I copyright struck myself too for uploading my old footage. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Why would you do stuff. that? Because I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, hey man, don't be using my footage. And you're like, what? You don't own that, Nintendo? Now look in the mirror, don't use your, don't use my footage. Why not? I mean, I'd be a psycho if I did that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good uh, parody video right there. If you ever did one like that, that'd be funny. I think Archfiend did something like that years ago. He flagged himself. <laughs> See what would happen. Oh, yeah. I had to dock himself. I have to okay. give myself my address. How, how can I get through this? Uh. Oh, good. Now if I just make it. Oh. Ah, oh, come on, you oh. see me? Oh, you God. can't see me. I'm John Cena. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're not. I need Snake Cena ain't camouflage. Though. Come on, man. How did I get through the laser part? I get caught. Come on, man. It's so oh, It's like, oh, okay, he finally got through it. No! Oh, oh, shit. No! Mm -hmm. That's it, game mm -hmm. Guys, we'll see you later. God bless and take care. <laughs> Time for the let's discuss. Yeah, Alright, we couldn't the, beat the, the game. Let's, the, the end. Let's, let's rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what? Man, how'd he save me before? Yeah. Oh, man, come on, boo. I'll make a time snap on the video. Okay, for Scarface. Yeah, leave me Mexico, leave us time stamp for every time I get caught. For every time the alert, mode, <laughs> the alert goes off. Yep. Yeah. Yep, pretty much. Hey, people, Mexico. if you find those useful, then let me know. I'll, I'll still, yeah. I'll keep doing them. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to do that. Oh, well, Mexico, when I do a 24-hour stream, you'll be on top of it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the first 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Have Valerie do the last 12 hours. <laughs> we'll split it. <laughs> Maybe Valerie can make an appearance on the channel sometime on the commentary. Nah, she's too shy. I'll make her up be like, come on, do it. Do it. Do it. You yell at her during the commentary. Yes, do it, run. She gets mad at you and you get to sleep on the couch. Yep. You broke his neck. Again. Even oh, we kind of needed the extra ration anyway. Rationalize with me here. Half of this video, I think, is me trying to get past this part. Yeah. Now Snake does a codec call to me, and I answer, How many times are you gonna cause me to die? Get good, kid. <laughs> oh. Actually have the David Hater actually message you about that? That'd be kind of funny. Oh man, oh see, I forgot to enable my card there. I couldn't get in, so I just went ahead and broke his neck. There you go. Yeah, Don't we got another body, ration for it, though. Now let me see if I can do this without getting caught. I mean, uh, tripping the, the laser. You got this. Can do it. You totally got this, Ron. You did it the first you gotta time. Believe. Not the third or fourth be time. Marky Mark and believe. Colonel, not now. Snake, do you remember where I left my cigarette? Ah, oh, mother! I mean, I, 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 I don't believe this. I don't get it. Son of a! It's a bunch get of BS. If you, if you're asking me. Get up, you <gasps> idiot! Get up, you get. idiot! I'm a cat. Get up and get good already. How stupid are you? Duh. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? No, no. I'm just Are you to... dumb? Computer dumb, huh? Uh, the game here. I <laughs> caught by these soldiers. <laughs> shut, shut up, shut up, and get to the armory. No. Oh. Shut up and use game shot. <laughs> oh. Did you see that? I thought I, I, that thought was I cool. died again. Time to bounce. Jeez. I almost Time fell to for run. that. Man. And so long rations, all of our rations are gone. You guys leave him alone! <laughs> no, we got one more left. Okay, now they're gone. Leave me alone! It's oh. too bad they can't stay knocked out. Nice. I know they can't stay knocked out for long, jeez. Yeah. Oh, oh you see that? I, at least I got him though before I die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, is that, um... You have been disqualified. Ding, 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 ring the bell. Twin snakes and... 
Uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 oh, definitely made sure that they stayed asleep and knocked out for longer. I meant to break his neck and I fell right there. Ladies and gentlemen, Solid Snake has been disqualified. What? The winner of the match, <coughs> Liquid Snake. Boo! Wait, I don't know who we're supposed ah. to for him. Who to boo? Okay, butthead. My goodness, how many times have been caught? It's gotta be like seven or eight times now. Don't worry, mm -hmm. somebody in the comments will we'll leave a comment on how many times you got caught. Right, yeah. First person to do it gets their comment pinned. And now people will be I like, I can run Ooh. through here and just get it anyway because the alerts are already off. Mm hmm. I mean, the alerts are already on. Whatever. Ooh. Yeah. I remember Shadowgate Part 3 on S2K. J Man predicted the exact amount of times I died. <laughs> oh, wow. That's nice. Only J Man would know something like that. Right. Then again, he is the J Man. Yep. Get, I'll get a text to him. Hey, what's going on out there? Uh, this is J Man. And Mexico gave me Hey, it's J Man. How come you don't want to get on Skype? Because <laughs> Skype sucks. And I tried I to couldn't get on even Skype. get in on oh! Skype. Oh, jeez. Whoa, I saw that. I got that. on there and all my contacts were gone. Oh, I can't. All my contacts were mm, gone. Yeah, you told gone. me about that. That's weird. And I said, that's Mine it. are still there. I'm done. Alright, J-Man, sorry, whoever. Either find me on Discord or call me on my phone number or something. I'm done with Skype. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, Skype is crap. Okay, I finally made it. I can't even it. joke around about it, B. <laughs> he got Woo it. Woohoo! Ron made finally it. made it and actually did something. Yeah, <laughs> then I'll die right here probably. I see. Yeah, don't worry, I'll have to... Uh, that's if you don't that, flip the lasers uh, at the hangar. Oh, wait, they're gone. No, they're gone right here. They're gone now. But, yeah. Now I gotta get through the gas chamber hangar, wherever the the weapons... uh, What's it called? The place where <laughs> when the you get caught, the gas... uh. Comes oh, out. yeah, that place. The weapons disposal facility, or whatever it's called. I don't know. The weapons disposal facility. The ECW facility. Something like that. Oh man, I oh! was close to it. That looked like it hurt. Way to fail. I meant to stop and crawl right there, but I got too close before I stopped. Oh, I'm still alive, barely. Look at that. You living by a thread. You're not gonna I'm live by there. Thread. You can't beat this game at all. Hey, you can't I kill snakes, Buzz. Right. You can <laughs> blow it up, though. You can blow it up, though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yeah, get good. I'm trying. Here, Use some beef jerky. Off. Yes. All right. There we go. That's a cool. Uh, and that was probably. Yep. Oh, notifications. Did. Valerie. Ernest. No. Nope. Hurry up and come home now. <laughs> Ernest Hemingway. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry I went to camp. <laughs> Just goes to camp. Uh, get it? Never mind. I was hoping one of y'all would do that. <laughs> no, I do like. Oh, it. I get it. I like Jay Leno. I had to explain the joke. You know, because occasionally no one gets it. <laughs> and then Kevin Eubanks. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Let me play another song. <laughs> <clears throat> oh man. Remember that. Hey, look at that soldier's wearing a Marty McFly Darth Vader uh, suit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, why is he doing that? Oh, Here's from the planet Vulcan? From the planet ECW. <laughs> you asked Lorraine out to the dance, and he bought it too. Jeez. <laughs> Sandman okay, versus ECW Zombie. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. I wonder who that was. Not I want to do research on that. Was that like an independent wrestler or someone that I have that? no idea. I, it had to have been somebody. They're hey, like, the hey, you want to come in and be on YouTube? <laughs> oh, he never told mm -hmm. us. <laughs> he made a cameo appearance on ECW on Sci-Fi. Nice. Yeah. All right, finally making progress here. Jeez. That oh, took so forever, though. No, don't worry. Uh, small time. Our mm. Machudo Blade Warrior. I still think mm. of you the other name. <laughs> I'll put timestamps <laughs> in the video, folks. You can skip the vid. You yep. can skip to when Ron dies, mm. or you can watch the video over and over again when he dies. I'll have timestamps. Yeah. Otherwise, I want to be the guy. Yeah. You want to be the Wii guy? Oh wait, I mean, Nico. He don't have to be called Wii guy anymore. 
Oh, Nen Ten Goku or Nico yeah. Ten Goku? Yeah, Nico Ten Goku. Yeah. I, I call him Switch Guy. I call him Wee Guy in the stream not too long ago. He really get for real mad, but he's like, "Hey, don't you dare call me the Wee Guy. I'm Nico." <laughs> <laughs> Call him the Switch guy. Yeah. Super NES guy. You always be we got to us. Yeah. He's had some good uh, LPs on the channel. That's what I mostly oh, yeah. remember. Mm hmm. Like I, He's good I, at those. I, I came in for the first time, I think it was last year. Or maybe this year. I came in as SGK on Twitch. And mm -hmm. I said, I, I think I said LOLs. And he goes, Oh my goodness! Of old buddies from the S2K in the stream. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. It must have been a shock for him. He's like, "Whoa, what's going on here?" Yeah. After all, we did kind of make him, and of course, he did make himself. I don't think we made him honestly. I mean, he did pretty good on his own with that 8-bit stereo uh, channel. Oh yeah. Indeed. Awesome. And he, he's already made a name for himself on Twitch. Yep. If anything, he helped the S2K, if anything else, because he <laughs> his, his Let's Plays and stuff have got a lot, a lot of views, uh, other than Jeff's uh, uh, Plumbers Don't Wear Tiles videos. <laughs> it's like one of the most new videos. Classic. It still comes up on recommendation. Watch this video. No, I've already seen it, and it's hilarious. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I think we had, yeah. around the time ABGN did it, coincidentally, people think we were doing that to pi piggyback off of ABGN, but no. It's just a coincidence. You guys it was just a coincidence. Yeah, we had talked about it, and then all of a sudden, AVGN has this. So he, he was working on that for a while, because you know that takes a lot of editing. And he was working on that yeah. for a while, and then our videos don't take much to do. <laughs> so he was working yeah. on that for a while, then uploaded it. Oh, dang it. Well, should we still upload it? Because people are going to think, you know. We're piggyback, yeah, back. Well, piggybacking off. But Let them think what they want to think. There's nothing wrong with that anyway, because, I mean, think about it, that's actually smart. If something yeah. is. That has a lot of views on YouTube is doing a video game that no one's ever heard of, and then mm -hmm. you know you just you know it was a piece of crap. Just as long as you're not trying to rip him off for his of his style or whatever or anything. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's nothing wrong with piggybacking off off of that. It's like a it's like a uh, like a wrestling show or wrestling independent shows that book wrestling shows on WrestleMania weekend because the, of that WrestleMania business. Yeah. Or a nightclub that books events because of a big event going on in that town, like the Super Bowl or something. It's a smart thing yeah. to do, it's you know. Kind of People do it, thing. so. Yeah. yeah. But but the thing is, we didn't even mean to do that. It just, it just, it's a coincidence. Yeah. It just happened to happen. All right, here we go, finally. Oh, you know what? Do I have di diaphragm or whatever it's called? Uh, pentazamine? Di di pe potassium, whatever it's called that keeps you still when you try to aim with the sniper. No, uh, I really no, hate. No, I don't. Son of a mother. Well, this is why I really you know. do not like playing on normal difficulty settings for Metal Gear. Jeez, man. Because when you have a sniper... I can't. I don't know if I can be sniper wolf like this. <laughs> well, at least I, I got know. it right there. <laughs> nice. I don't know. I'm pretty good at with sniper rifles, but... Yeah, man. I don't ah. think I can do this. Is the ECW force. Right. I mean, this boss battle and having to have an antidepressant, it kind of makes you wonder what were Kajima and Konami thinking? They're thinking about not being depressed. <laughs> I mean, all the guns that, uh, ah. Snake works with are handguns, and his hand is pretty still when it comes to those, but... Yeah, I've never actually shot off a, off a sniper rifle, so I wouldn't know. Only assault rifles and handguns. I never shot off any. I think I... When I was a kid, I, I think a cop or someone that let me... Put on safety, let me hold the gun in my hand for a second. Man, it, it is heavy. It's like, it is. Oh, these guns are heavy. It's heavier than a water gun. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's like, yeah, I might held a gun before. I never actually shot one. No, I've held a gun and also and shot off some guns. Target range shooting, that's what we like to do. And then we got, go out to the desert and shoot watermelon. <laughs> I 
I've seen a video where this woman was shooting something and the impact of the gun forced the gun to like shoot back here in the forehead. <laughs> oh yeah. You're not Ouch. careful. The recoil but sucks. At the same time, I would have, you know, probably done the same thing probably happened to me too. Mm-hmm. Gotta watch out for that recoil. I think I see her. Is that a rat crawling up there? It's, it's Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, those are mm -hmm. rats crawling on top of them, I think, up there. Oh, there she is. Well, as long as the rats aren't shooting at you, too, you're good. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hey, how come there are no snipers in Contra? I'm just kidding. Oh, interesting. Oh, well, they got guerrilla tactics. Oh, yeah. Wait, is Donkey Kong or something? Mm-hmm. Diddy Kong. Ditto. Yeah, forget that. I gotta go. <laughs> I had to go get some diazepam. Seriously. Just run up behind her and shoot her in the head with a handgun. Yeah. Uh, if only. Yeah, so I gotta go back and get that because, geez, that's just ridiculous. She's probably thinking, where are you going, snake? She's gonna call me on the codec. Chickening out. I need diazepam before I can take you on. I need to oh. use the bathroom. That's what that was. Mm hmm. Yeah. No, that's that one soldier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all coming soon to the ST2K channel Mega Man 5 stream. Welcome to the randomness. No, we already did that. I know, I'll do that. I'll, I just do that. I always think of Mega Man 5 and Star Soldier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys are playing this game again? Yeah, <laughs> you guys are crazy. Thumbs down. This game sucks. <laughs> oh, Mega Man 5 isn't that what bad. Say, it was alright. Alright, you don't know, Jay. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I made that one review. I think it was a Sonic the Hedgehog review he did with Jay. They're not on camera. They're behind the camera like they usually are when they play the game. And you hear something fall. And Star Soldier put a text across the screen saying, An NES cartridge fell on top of Jay's head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I oh nice. I the shelf and he accidentally kind of knocked it over. <laughs> I like, what the heck was that? Oh, our game fell on your head, dude. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> That's He's got funny. games on the mind. But uh, I gotta say, your editing skills is pretty good this time around. I guess I. Okay, where's uh? <laughs> Pay hey, attention here. Did I get the? I don't think I got that daz of him yet. All right. Yeah, once I get that, I'm still not good at the sniper. At least the first sniper wolf. There we go. Man. Diazepam. Thank you, finally. Jeez. Good, yes. good job, Ron. That was very easy W. Look at this Yeah. One. I wish that was... Uh, would have been my my office for uh, being a Nintendo Gameplay Counselor. Look what I got, though, now. Also, yes. You got night vision. Yes. Awesome. Oh, oh, oh. See, you can't shoot first person in this game. You can't twin sticks. Mm-hmm. Every dog has his day. That dog's day was today. To die. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a little gruesome. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just edit it out. We're, we're sorry, we're alive. <laughs> we're alive, pal. Oh no. <laughs> Sid. Well. <laughs> oh, good. I'm full on rations. That's always good. Ooh, more dads of him. But I think once you get it, though. It'll still pop up in your battle with uh, Sniper Wolf, at least on normal. Mm-hmm. Dude, go with the freaking hole! Stop being an idiot! Really? At least it's not as bad as the, the, the Twin Snakes. I mean the Twin Snakes, the Snake Eater Cave. Uh, that was dark. What'd they come out with the, the Twin Snakes Eater? <laughs> uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now what's up? Of course, the energy's refilled. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, well, let me tell you something, sucker. Let's I'm coming go. back for you. Can you dig it? Dig what? Ah. Oh man, get up! Ah. Get up and get good. <laughs> yeah. Get up and get good, man. Come on, Ron, I believe in you. I know you can do you it. You can do this, Ron. You can do it. If not, then oh, we'll, we'll be here all night. Yeah. Ah. Nice. Yeah, what? Like I also office? hate how they give the bosses frame protection when you shoot them. Yeah. So shoot not easy, W. Oh. Oh. Ah, come on. I need to play as uh, Sergeant Mark Briggs. Not taking her out already. Damn. <laughs> Crazy rigs. Mm. You're there. Where are you? Oh, I got a Kodak coffee steak. Hold on. What are you doing? Get good, kid. You better get good. Because if you don't, you're out of here. That was my Skype ringtone for years, the, the Kodak call. Nice. Yeah, that was some so good back times. When, back when yep. Skype was cool. Yep, it was cool. Yeah, and before Discord actually came into existence. Yeah. My goodness, if I can have a minute to aim. If I can be serious for a minute. Yeah. Without being interrupted. Paul Heyman, mm -hmm. if I can be ECW for a minute. Oh, I used to have a teacher I used to say, if I can be serious for a minute, and we're like, man, you're just making this too easy for us to laugh at you. <laughs> wow, you blew her away, bro. I thought you were going to say, uh, I had a teacher that used to say that, like, if I could be ECW for a minute, I'm like, whoa. And that teacher was Paul Heyman. All right, yeah. Or, uh, what's his name? The ring uh, defending no. world uh, champion. Matt Stryker. Oh, nice. Mm. Could have been. Remember Dean Douglas? <laughs> oh God, yes. Dean Douglas, good wrestler, but they gave him that stupid uh, gimmick. Dean, du the Dean, I know. Dean Douglas. I didn't know what Dean. The Dean. I didn't know what Dean meant at the time. But, like I didn't know it was the, like the main, the principal of the college, or whatever you call it. The Dean. I just thought his yeah. name, Dean, Dean Douglas, or Jimmy Dean Sausage, whatever. I, I didn't get it. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, very well, could have been. Or, or, there we go. Ah, oh. uh, you're not gonna make it. Oh, I got her. Oh, I underestimated you. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm out. You're out. I'm, I'm out of ECW ness. Colonel, I'm out of ECW. Yeah. Colonel, are you Colonel Sanders? Everybody to ECW to get, so we get that adrenaline. Naomi, everybody, East Mailing, ECW, ECW. Hmm. So the last 25 comments have all just said ECW. Yes. Got her. Uh, no, finally, no. Tucker. The Jeff posted a comment. Oh, stop it with that ECW crap. It's called Melker Solid. <laughs> Jeff is such a mood killer. How about Metal Gear Shut Up? How about Metal Gear Solid Shut Up, Jeff? <laughs> yeah. Well, like Jeff says, the only good ECW was the one by Vince McMahon. <laughs> nah, he, nah, he never said that. ECW would be better on the Sci-Fi Network. No, we, we saw that, and that, didn't, <gasps> that definitely wasn't true. Uh, oh, no. Tonight. I think Taz said on commentary, you know he was fed this line, or he probably said it to be funny. He goes, I think this would be better than the original ECW. 
I swear, he said it at gunpoint. We just yeah. didn't see that part. I think he said to be facetious. Oh, shoot. Uh oh. I got caught again. This close. Toss your weapon Ow. in here. Slowly. So, first permit person to comment how many times Ron Morris died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They've received a cookie. A fool to come back here. Stupid man. A lady sniper, huh? Didn't you know that two thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women? Do you want to die now? Or after your female friend? <laughs> Do I have a choice? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. Oh. Is that right? <laughs> Throwing some shade. I am Sniper Wolf. Hit her with the Kindle I stick. Marilyn Monroe. Oh. Oh. Uh, You're my special prey. Oh, okay. Pray. Pray and take your vitamin. You? Ouch, that hurt. I won't forget it. Until I kill you. You're all I think about. Ouch. Well, that was endearing. Hey, that wasn't nice. Remember the remake? He didn't knock him out at first, and he walked toward the soldier, and the soldier's like, oh, oh, and then Snake finally passed out. Yeah. <laughs> and the soldier acted tough. Take him away. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. What an interesting part that was. Jeez. We will see you guys in yeah. part six. Until then, God bless and take care. Follow the black cat. <laughs> Till next time. You can't kill my buzz. Welcome to part six of Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. This is Ron Moore along with Bushido Blade Warrior. Hey, how's it going? Oh, the captured snake. Oh no, Snake's a prisoner of war. The surgeon lights. Where were you on the night of January 18th? Uh, I don't recall, sir. Do you know who I, am? I like how you can move while still being tied down. I think if you keep doing it, Ocelot says, Don't even try it, you're tied up. Uh, where, where am I? What, what have you done to me? Me? Nothing like being tied up. Good from. Yeah. And now, after the Sorry, I can't uh, come to the phone right now because my hands are a little tied up. Yeah. James Bond, I'm a little tied up. The Never mind. Light. I'm a little tied up, lass. Brother of Dark. Les Avant Terrible. Do you need his DNA too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome. Still alive? Patients. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites, every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? <laughs> they Kurd angle? Politics <laughs> Kurd That's angle. <laughs> That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend... No need to be a Kurd. Or a turd. Yeah. Kurd Ferguson. <laughs> There definitely is a resemblance, don't you think, little brother? If or they're twins, how is he the little? Brother? Yeah. What? I'm not sure. Right. <laughs> anyway, oh, I, I think it's because you Eli was born first. That came out of, of Big, Big Mama. It's me. And then David really? was the second to be born. Those idiots. All right, Raven. I'll Who's be right older? There. 
David Hader or Cam Clark? <laughs> They're not responding to our demands. We launched well, the first one in ten hours as planned. Uh, I wouldn't know. I would have to look at their ages Looks like again. You read them wrong. Something's funny. There's no Ocelot's older than all of them. Ones to the oh, yes. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down Which is kind of funny that about Ocelot was born a Frenchman. Yeah. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Want to stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. <laughs> Tranquilizers. So you prefer your wolves to my show, huh? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the chief. <laughs> yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil uh, like him Instead of the DARPA chief, does he mean the His DERPA chief? DERPA DERP? Yeah. <laughs> Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my <laughs> hand. How could he have gotten in there? Oh, they're referring Boss, to the ninja. Otherwise, Grey Fox. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find That's racist. Why's it gotta be Grey? <laughs> We're short handed. Uh, so we dealing with the Grey Panthers? No, I'm kidding. This is an interrogation. Follow the Black Panther. See you later, brother. Uh, <laughs> I wish I was a Panther. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. Catch you later. I gotta say, though, Sniper Wolf is kinda hot. <laughs> Once she I think she's cold. Target, she doesn't think about mm. anything else. Sometimes yeah. she falls in love with Yeah, her. Ocelot, she... Ocelot was trying to Fine. get with her in Just Twin Snakes, and I'm like, she's too young oh, for you, bro. Not bad. Uh, Not date bad. someone that's more if actively and adequately more your age, bro. Yeah. Some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have had a lot of faith in your skill, huh, carrier boy? Carrier boy. So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? By the way, the you Colonel. got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? Do not. It's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. Wolf must have been feeling generous. What if you want her to stay that way? You better start answering my questions right now. Oh. You were holding one card. Do not push Where's select. The What's the trick behind that key? Trick? Weasel of a present said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem then. We're going to play no a game. No problem Snake, then. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. What if you do? The girl's life is mine. Press the circle button oh, like, repeatedly uh, you gain creep. your strength. When the you've had button. enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches we will zero, not submit to you, over. Ocelot. No what buttons to keep talking about? Friend. Don't even think about using auto fire, or I'll know. Don't even think about using the ECW mode, or I'll I'm know. I'm going to run a high voltage electric current through your body. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. But I never heard that before. You're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. Bad news, Barrett. You're a hostage. You're no pal. No Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared. Good. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. What I like about Metal Gear Solid 2 was that there was no torture sequence. Yeah. 
Even though uh, Ryan did kind of get choked out. How did you like that? Yeah. Shall we There's a torture again? sequence, but it didn't last as long. Yeah, this one's a little more. Uh, actually, Metal Gear Solid 2 was more bearable. This one, imagine. I've never done this on extreme. Jeez. Uh, yeah. I've seen uh, someone on YouTube do this on extreme. He had almost yet. died. He had barely made it. It mm. was crazy. I'm sure. And this is the part where the voice actress of Mei Ling couldn't even get past this part because she thought this was a little too cruel and gruesome for her. That's what, really? Yeah. Still okay? Want me to go on? Can you take one more? This is where she initially stopped playing the game. You mean where she stopped? You talking about the voice actress thought this part was too disturbing? What? Uh, the electric torture scene, yeah. She stopped playing right around here. You mean she stopped voice acting right around here? What, what, what do you no, mean? She was playing the game, or what are you talking about? She was playing the game. She got a copy of herself. Oh, okay. I thought you herself. said she quit doing the voice acting for the project and quit on the job because she thought this is going too far. No, what? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, she played the game herself, and she did not like this part. Oh, okay. Yep. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. Well, time for Snag to go and get some sleep. Looks like I got a roommate. The derper chief? Derpa chief? Derpa derp. He took our germs. You maggot. You worm. You scum. What a stench. Uh, this couldn't get any worse compared to the decomposing body in uh, Snatcher. Which is, by the way, another great Konami Kojima game on the Sega CD and MSX. Is that soldier? He is not an ECW soldier. <laughs> it's lightweight Johnny, the lazy worker. Yeah. Shut up, now. What are you gonna do? Make me shut up? Snake, are you okay? I've been better. How's Mara? They've got her. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. What a shocker. To buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Meryl, but I want the <laughs> Are you dumb, now. stupid, or dumb? What are you huh? talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? You've changed, Colonel. I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? Hmm. You've changed a lot. Metal Gear, secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the president had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the president and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the Start 3 Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. <laughs> that's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified Stark 2, or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the president's reputation. Control America's of news media outlets altered so and everything. Is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Someone said on YouTube, today, in this country, we're living Metal Gear Solid 2. Because you're the only oh, one yeah. who can. That case. Or in Snatcher no, times, anyway. without all the cool I stuff happening. Warhead. Yeah. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have big. Why so serious? You see, or is there some reason that you can't do that? 
Something you haven't told me about. Publicly, the president has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence of the genome army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. Hell with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> the corpse of the, the hell with you. is lying right here next to me. Poor oh, man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that Armstech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. Sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also... What? I know it's asking a lot. Meryl, you need some right? money, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. I'll save her. <laughs> I need 30 billion dollars. Okay, Dr. Evil. <laughs> Dr. ECW? <laughs> yes, Dr. ECW. Russian powers. 100 billion dollars. That witch, she took my clothes. Look what you've done to Mr. Bigglesworth. Shut up out there, will ya? Hmm. Keep talking, Johnny. It's too bad in this right. scene you can't flip the bird. Alright, hurry up. Does also need to see me or not? Shut up, man. Why'd they Shut up, Johnny. Finally. Snake. It's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Okay. I'll tell you once more. No, it's not necessary. We already know the rules. Mm-hmm. Who's Chad? Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. Sahashrola from a to the past? <laughs> I am not like Shalashaska. <clears throat> to me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniform fools. Well, shall we begin? Here we go again. You're a strong man. Well, I don't think so. I skipped that part because we don't. It's the same thing. <laughs> We live in a yeah. sad age. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. Putin? He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear <laughs> weapons system. The hind was just a down payment. So you're in this for money. <laughs> the hind was remember, just a down payment? I remember yeah. um, Lana from WWE. Brave, like yeah. Joey Styles tweeted to her saying, I like to put in Putin a request. Get it, Putin? Mm. Put in a oh, request. Oh, yeah, I got Putin. the pun. I like to mm. put in a request and ask you to leave this country and go back to your own or something like that. I was like, oh, oh. Yeah. Well, we all know that Lana isn't really from Russia. She is a legal American. Her, yeah, that's right. Her parents were missionaries for Russia, anyway. 
But her accent for Russia wasn't fake, though. Even yeah. though people called it out fake. Yeah. I thought it was pretty good. You okay, Snake? Yeah. Rusev Klesh. Yeah. Klesh? Rusev Klesh? I can't say it. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah. Rusev Klesh him. Yeah. Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay. But still, but Rusev is one heck of a wrestler. Yeah. Or what's his name now? <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too Miro? Yeah. Me Whatever it is, I haven't been keeping track. What? Don't worry. It'll feel good. Huh? Okay, huh? here I go. Oh, it really works. How does that feel, Snake? A little better? How did you do that? Still gonna love that vibration. With the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? <sighs> That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big boss. What? Big boss. Big boss. Big boss. I had no idea. I had no That's idea. No could. The YouTuber. It we haven't seen it in a while. Six years ago. Uh, Snake and I yeah. The real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that. Yep. <laughs> yep. How? wanted it. Besides, some people just need killing. That's petricide. Yep. Yep. That's the drama that Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while. And Alaska was the perfect place. And Alaska Snake. was the perfect place. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. I wonder who killed him. Snake. Yeah. <laughs> is there a woman in your life? Play uh, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake to find to out. <laughs> Sons of Liberty? Oh, wait. Friends? Roy Campbell. Not Sons of Liberty, that game that was never released in America. And no, I'm not talking about uh, no, Metal Gear 2 from Ultra Solid Frank Snake, Yeager. or Snake's what? Revenge. Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant, and the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But d didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did. In Zanzibar. Zanzibar. There was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of Outer Heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. Oh. He was always that's Metal Gear 1. Precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the Anybody get here? that Def Leppard reference, animals? It's your genes. No. They make you predisposed towards violence. That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. 
I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Is it W? Rishu! <laughs> Johnny is still cold from the time Meryl stripped him down. Yeah. Uh, uh, it seems like he really needs to evacuate his bowels. Yeah. How is he a genome soldier? Aren't all of them supposed to be great soldiers? And he don't seem like one of them. Uh, Johnny is just a joke about one of Kojima's workers that he had to deal with that was lazy. Huh, I didn't know that. Whoa, what? Danny, where you at? Whoa, how'd you do that? I'm not that spineless Hal Emmerich. Otacon. It's me, well, you kind of spineless right here, at least, in this game. You. <laughs> Hurry, get me out of here. It, let me go, that hurts. Hurry up. <laughs> let him go, J-Man, jeez. <laughs> Don't be such a bully, J-Man. Like I need some Crown cage. Royal. Now hurry up. Oh, <laughs> Crown Royal? Isn't that like uh, Rolling Rock that AVGN drinks? Uh, I don't know. I think they're totally different. Totally different uh, liquor or alcohol. Mm-hmm. Just say hi. I, I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I catch up in a ration. Also, I got you this level. Hey, yeah, gotta give Otacon credit for this. Yeah. Here, take this. So Otacon did help him after all. What's this? It's a handkerchief. Mm -hmm. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice. Oh. To me. Sounds like Stockholm syndrome to me. I was taking Sounds care like of ECW syndrome to me. After the terrorists, uh, they were Otacon is old. definitely a perfect victim of having Stockholm. She even let me feed him when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't. Yeah, so far she has wild half dogs. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. Here you go. You know what? Otacon probably could take out that sissy. Indeed. Oh, He's coming back. See you later. Wait. Well... I guess I... we know what this means. I mean, that's fake blood. Yeah. I just spilled a bunch of ketchup on me at work years ago. The big gallon of ketchup just dropped on the floor and just bounced and ricocheted everywhere. <laughs> oh, now the big bad guard is concerned. Yeah. Ooh. And stay down. I didn't really want to kill him, but okay. No, don't worry. He actually uh, comes back in the other games. Yeah. Oh, nice. Another ration. Yum. Wait, I thought he's not supposed to have anything, but he has the level 6 card. Hmm. Oh, wait. That's right. I forgot. Uh, Otacon just gave it to him. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now he's got everything back.
Snake. There's a bomb planted in your items. Oh shoot, that's right. I forgot. Who the hell are you? Uh huh. You'll find out soon. I wonder if on a stream it warns you. If it blows up in five seconds. Well, where's it at? I mean, at least time stops right here when you in this inventory screen, but there it is. Timer. Timer B. Mm hmm. Look out, doggy. That was a close one, Snake. Oh, <clears throat> close one he doesn't even begin to express it. That's a real enigma. He's yeah. definitely from inside their ranks. Is he an informer? Maybe some kind of renegade? I've got the feeling there's target some renegade work here. Eh, man, Nico did a good job on that. <laughs> Let's play. Too bad Nico's not in this commentary. Yeah. More ketchup. That's real blood. More like virtual blood, video game blood. ECW blood? Blood Moon, Blood Dragoon. of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No. An ECW soldier. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. It's not like you, Snake. Master. What is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I just couldn't listen anymore. What is it, Guile? <laughs> Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. Master it's only Miller. Natural. Would his but theme fit in this game? Attacking yourself for things that Probably. In the past. That road leads to madness. Believe me. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget <laughs> about Meryl. Stop liquid. Repeat That's everybody's Meryl names. Colonel? Meryl? Right. Hey, Lane. Master. Meryl say the same Master! 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 What? Uh, the puppet of... Uh, Master of puppets, I'm the one who's pulling your strings. Naomi. There aren't many women like her around. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. Ha ha. Genes. What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no. I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese. And he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Oh, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Master. Where? A New York, I think. Naomi, I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake, good luck. Watch your back, Snake.
Now to the ECW tower. Mm-hmm. Is that Thomas functional? Ah, shoot! <clears throat> Rope. I really hated this part. Yeah, me too. It's frustrating. Oh, frustrating indeed. Easy, sit double. Literally run forest run. Yeah. Maybe a stun grenade would be pretty helpful for this. Oh yeah, I never thought of that. I'm so used to using the FAMAS. Ouch. But what if you run out of you gotta use your guns then? Man, come on! Oh, dang it. Yes, I, I hate that. I, keep, I never keep track of that. Like, you try to shoot and then you have to reload, and that's what can mess you up. Mm hmm. Reload. Anyway. Reload. Reload. Oh, yeah. Time crisis. Yeah, or lethal enforcers, or whatever. No, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'll lean against the wall. I don't think they can see me then. Maybe he had stealth, sure. Oh, I thought he was dead. I think I'm out. Got to switch to the SOCOM. Thomas bullets. Oh, I'm out again. Hey man, how far up? I <laughs> see that nice. Timber. Now we're using stunt grenades. Here we go. There we are. We made it. All right. Nice. Hurry. Get up the ladder. Hurry. Oh. Oh, that was close. You hear that? They were shooting at me, too. Yeah, they were pew pew. Yeah. I Pepe. also find this uh, Kodak intermission very hilarious. Pepe la pew pew. <clears throat> Is this Goldeneye? <sighs> Just wait, here comes the Goldeneye that's going to take out the uh, satellite. What was the name that stays the. F not the freak, it, that's the. Frigid, that's the boat. Um, the surface, one and two. Yep. On the surface, this game looks cool. All right, let me get to the satellite dish. Whoa. Well, it's not the golden eye. All right.
So if you didn't get that rope, you have to go all the way back to get the rope. No. And I absolutely hated having to deal what was below it's after you down. evaded. Yes. I had a rope. I should Reminds me of Ninja Turtles rope 1. You gotta get that rope. Are you going to do? Take uh, the yeah. Nothing wrong with ropes. If I stay here. Here we go, this is fun. Off the wall action. Jump while pressing right or left on the directional button. You can make a big jump in that direction. If you press and hold the circle button while using the directional button, you can walk slowly across the wall. If you're careful with the timing, you should be able to dodge the gunfire from behind while you rappel down. If anyone can do it, you can, Snake. I keep running through that steam. Yeah, the steam, I hated this part. Man, I'll get pretty steamed. Hey now, keep your cool. Can you download this off steam? <laughs> uh, I don't think Konami's going to get that far. Let off some steam, Liquid. Man, that was close. Yeah. Nikita missile, take these soldiers out over there. They didn't see it coming until they hit them. Yeah, and I really hated these troopers. I should have killed him already. What the heck? Yeah, uh, you know the rule in a fight. Oh, I should have knocked one guy over the rail. <laughs> Good. Oh shoot! They're shooting at me. I, well, I, I thought they just stood there. Why are they just now shooting at me? I have no idea. Oh, luckily they got another ration. If I can use first person uh, aiming, I would maybe get there, but I can't do that. Ah, oh, dang it, really? Yeah, those guys are tough. I had to pick them off for headshots with the PSG-1. I don't know why I just didn't do that, but maybe I don't want to waste my potassium, whatever it's called. Oh, diazepam, I believe? Yeah. Maybe if I shoot the middleman, it'll get him. Uh, 
I should have killed all three of them. Well, it's an explosion, but I'm glad the Twin Snakes actually fixed that. Oh. Or, since easy mode, uh, on the Twin Snakes, having uh, the tranquilizer gun... All you had to do was trank knock him out, aim for uh, a vital spot in the head with that trank gun, and run past him. Yeah, ooh, I still got one of them. Dang it, now they're shooting at me. I guess I do need to use the PS1. <laughs> now they know where you are, and now they're actively shooting you. Yeah. Well, it took about three hits to, for them to see where I'm at. Aw, oh, man. See, I guess I should use the PSG1 at first. Mm hmm. aiming at. Get that from here. I think I can. Come on. Nice. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, it's not fair. The game made me stop right there. Stinger launcher. Oh, wait, we can run here, see if there's any more items. Down the stairs I go. Yeah, just getting past that part is so annoying. Oh, the other picture isn't working. Where's the the gun cameras? Turrets, whatever they're called. Oh yeah, they don't show up yet till later. Ah oh, what? Oh then I forgot what am I supposed to do? Danny, that was oh, close. Here. It wasn't it's very close. Entrance, believe me, I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck. Thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No. You're wrong. <clears throat> In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? Sorry. Forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Have you ever loved someone? That's what you came to ask? No, I mean, I, I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? I want to ask you. 
Do you think love can bloom, even on a battlefield? Yeah, I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But if you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, I told you before I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want you to either. Okay. Like you can't hurt somebody. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here. And then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. Right there, here we go. Getting further down. Further up. Now we can get up the stairs. The boxes magically move out the way. Watch out for the turrets. Okay, so chaff grenade here. Uh, wrong button, you idiot. Wrong button, you idiot! Wrong button again, you idiot. <clears throat> I'm a cop, you idiot. Stop pushing the wrong button. I can't do it like Gentoo can. Oh, Gentoo is amazing. So last one too. Yeah, when it came to outrunning the soldiers, it's best to use the uh, knockout uh, the knockout grenade or stun, stun gun, grenade. Stun grenades, yeah. And this part best to use chaff grenades. Traff giraffe grenades, what? For this particular part anyway. Those helicopters are easy to fly. I'm just kidding. <laughs> right, let's get right into it here. This boss battle was fun, but having to conserve your life was not the easy task. Oh, that must sting. A bit. Oh 
hey, at least the Stinger missile, uh, actually is uh, a good thing to have around. Good times. There we go. Hey, at least you aren't taking too many hits when it comes to this boss. I really didn't like this very much. Yeah. Oh, he's in there. Yeah, watch out. The that's the part with the missiles is what I got a problem with. Yeah. Dodging the sh uh, gunfire is easy, but the missiles were something else. I literally had to. Dang it. Garibaldi. Oh, you. Time to take you down to Earth. Yeah. Also, I really don't like the frame protection when you hit the bosses. What is that exactly? Frame protection? Uh, frame protection is basically a fighting game turn. It's like if you do a special move. And you have like a, it's like in Street Fighter. If you do a show Ryuken, you're invincible for a few frames. Oh yeah. Yeah, in Metal Gear, each time you hit and hit a boss, they blink for a while before you actually can hit him again. Yeah. So they're invincible for a little bit, which the hit detection after you hit the boss I find really annoying. I'm glad they kind of pitched out, eh, pitched that up in Sense of Liberty and Substance. Time to run! Run, Forest, run! Maybe I shoot through the ground and get him. Man, then you're just hurting yourself with yeah. the explosion. Yeah, I'll sting myself. <laughs> that... I guess you're getting a case of the stinger death drop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, kid. To me, this battle is easier than the first sniper wolf battle. Yeah, they also said that if you use the Singer missile against the first battle with the sniper wolf and also the second round, that makes it so much easier. If that makes any sense. Ah, oh, dang it. Fail. 
Mission failed. Alright, come on, let's get this done already. Yeah, I agree with you there, Ron. Should be, I think, two more hits. Shut up! Shut up! Listen to me! Yeah. I get that distinct impression when fighting Solid Snake like this. I mean, Liquid. Alright, one more. It's almost done. Got him! GG, Ron. The end. Or is it? At least we don't have to use the rope again. Right? Yeah, cut me some slack. Cut you some slack. Kojima isn't that ruthless. But that feels good. It's all warm. That explosion, that cold. Mm-hmm. When it's snowing. That takes care of the cremation. Ha. <laughs> Man, that is savage and ruthless on what Snake just said. Right. Takes care of the cremation. Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. <laughs> helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to Otacon, the Otacon, you fanboy. Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. Um, Otacon's kind of a gimp right now with that bum leg of his. Yeah. What's up, Snake? I want to save. That's what's up. Don't forget to save your We're almost desk two. two. Can't save memories even on that system of yours. Mm -hmm. Memories are fragile things. After you reduce them to binary numbers and send them <gasps> through the air, the memories, memories are fragile things. I wouldn't be so sure of that. There's nothing my system can't do. Memories aren't just sounds. And oh, they're literally talking about the code the used in the PlayStation the One. That's so cool. Anything can be done digitally. What? If that's true, why don't you go ahead and try to say what I'm thinking? They were talking about data and binary code. Anything. You have to put it into words at least. That's right, and that's what memories are. Wordless. I don't know about that. No matter how far data Wordless. technology advances, you'll never be able to penetrate the human heart. You're wrong. It's just a matter of time. But first you have to try to understand human emotions, Mei Ling. And how do I do that? You have to allow yourself to fall in love with someone. Alright, that is the end of part six of Metal Gear Solid. See you guys in part seven. Until then, God bless and take care. Follow the black cat and God bless. Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. This is Ron Moore, along with Mexico and Bushido Blade Warrior. Yo, how's it going? Oh, it's cold outside. Burr, 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 it's burr. cold outside. It's cold. Kind of reminds me of that Amanda Show skit. It, it's a very snowy day. It's a wonderful I, life. I can't remember the last time I seen snow. I think it's been years. Five. Mm. Actually, uh, as, we as we are recording this overnight here where I live at, it may snow, which is rare.
Oh, interesting. Ooh. I hardly ever get snow down here. Mm. I heard there's a blizzard in Mexico. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> if that happens, <laughs> ECW that's, a, blizzard? that's a true sign of the end times. The Pokemon move, Blizzard. <laughs> blizzard Buffalo from Mega Man X3. Blizzard Buffalo, one of the cooler uh, snow-themed and icy-themed bosses in Mega Man. Indeed. So, I just defeated Liquid Snake. He's been liquidated, and... So right now I gotta make make my way back down the tower, the communications tower, and I gotta watch out for these freaking turrets. Yeah, they suck. Yeah. They'll make your life a living hell. <clears throat> He's burnt a uh, living hell. Hell? This isn't hell, brother. This is outer heaven. Ron's got no chance in hell to beat this game. <clears throat> yeah. No chance. No chance How about a, hell? you're fired match between Mr. McMahon and Trump? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it all ended with the Stone Cold Stunner. Mm -hmm. That awkward looking Pretty stunner. Much. It still looks, I don't oh, know what's yeah. look worse. The stunner, the stunner that he took or the stunner that Linda McMahon took? I <laughs> thought Linda's was horrible. She just kind of just like, ooh. <laughs> Linda is ECW. Not really. And I've taken my fair share of stunners, and none of them look that horrible. <clears throat> yeah. Meow. I like when The Rock takes the stunner. That's pretty damn funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, but it's kind of stupid. Triple H did the best, I think. Mm. What? Hit the elevator. Elevator's like an idiot. It yeah, looks like you're already. having a great time with this, Ron. Right? <laughs> One of those old uh, apartment elevators. I don't know if they have them these days where you can just take the elevator up to someone's apartment. <laughs> That'd be nice. No, unfortunately, we don't have one. I'm on the fourth <laughs> floor. No! Well, maybe if there was a fifth floor, then there would be an elevator. Snake, there's something I forgot to tell you before. <laughs> what? There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd have <laughs> one for you. First, so <laughs> first grade class. Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also, about the elevator that I checked out. It's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? Uh, about <laughs> 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Look out, Snake! Oh boy. The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you. Yeah, this is oh, not gonna shoot. be good. What? Crap, bastards. Now die! Oh, jeez. Uh -oh. it's, th it's three minute warning. Well, time to... Dang it, I don't <laughs> think I have these the... Guys the holy I don't have the infrared sensor. Dang it, so uh, it's the best I can do here. Might as well not use it. You effed up. Oh, completely. Thomas, all right, here we go. This part was scary. Like they're they're in there with the whole time, and then Otacon's face, Otacon's face on the screen. Look out, Snake! And then the face getting all big on the screen. Like whoa. Those, like, the guys stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you! Whoa. Uh, shoot to kill. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Dang, I'm out of ammo altogether. Oh wait, there we go. There Reload. Jeez, oh, yeah, here we go. Woo! That's close. They're all dead. <sighs> Good ridden. Good riddance. 
that escalated slowly? Very slowly. I also hated that part. I actually died a lot. Yes, yeah, a few times I did. I, when I live streamed this a few months ago, uh, I think I barely made it. With the skin of your teeth? Yeah, that's, that confuses me. Your your teeth don't have skin. Hmm. Maybe that's the point. I don't know. Uh, no it, well, there's enamel on your teeth. Enamel? I, th I thought that was like something inside your teeth when they drill to the enamel. Ow! You okay? Just my need to get a dentist. Okay. Oh, this Danny's getting beat up over there or something. Snake is about to get ready to get out of here. Choke slam! Choke slam! You Choke slam! You. Dun, 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 dun. ECW for you. ECW, CW, let the girls be girls. <laughs> I've always practiced getting stunnered because I never. One day the dream will come true and I'll get stunnered by stun. It's a stun. <laughs> yeah. That'll be a stunning revelation. Stunning. You, took, like, the, you took that like a champ. Yeah. <laughs> huh? That's a nice reference. Colonel, listen to me. I found a parachute near the wreckage of the hind. A parachute? You don't think that Liquid survived? Impossible. As soon as he jumped out of the pilot's seat, he'd be sliced up faster than an onion on an infomercial. <laughs> so what's that parachute doing there, then? I have no idea. A trap? Either that, or a message. To me. Meaning I'm not dead, I suppose. Maybe. <laughs> I think Not it's more dead. Like I'll string you up. Well, in any case, don't let your guard down. I won't. <laughs> oh, snake. They said don't let your guard uh, down. Lovely. Looks like she don't have her eyes of him. Are you okay? Otacon, That's what it looks like, too. Prototypes. No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's aiming at me in the middle of this blizzard. It's her. Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. Oh it's boy. Definitely her. But a Danny, you, you sound, sound like, you're like you're happy. happy. No, I'm not. So then what no, is it? No, I'm not. Snake. Please don't kill okay, her. Okay, man, please don't Come kill her. Soon. Metal Gear Solid, redub by Ron Moore and Bushido Blade Warrior. You'd know that if you talk to yep. Her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> okay, little <laughs> creepy stalker girl. never <laughs> quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf, no, you can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. Come on, Snake. Good. Get good. You will want the better prey. You see? Get good. Naturally make better F you. Soldiers. Wolf, don't do this. Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's the only thing you need to be near at is the kitchen. Location. Is hmm. that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. Do you know what that is? It's a bullet. Straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf! Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Ooh. Ooh, she talking some big smack now. Well, it's time for Snake to lay the smack down. Actually, I don't uh -oh. even need that. I'm not going to even use the PSG one. Mm. Gotta get that just in case. I need, yeah, always use rations. I'm going to use the uh, Tips' wife missile. Nikita. Yep, here we go. 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 This looks like fun. Dangerous, but fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot easier. I learned this from someone on YouTube. Hopefully it's enough ammo to actually. Yeah, I did this in the live stream. People were like, 
like Y chromosome and others. Wait, what the heck? You could do this? I said, I know, right? Oh, right in the ass. <laughs> booyah, right booyah, booyah, booyah. <laughs> He calls her on the codec. Listen, what's wrong? What's wrong, Wolf? A little butt hurt? <laughs> Ooh. Better start running, Wolfie. Right in between the legs. Three pointer. The field goal. It's good. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. <Ball game. laughs> this isn't football. What are you shooting at, Wolf? Yeah, He's trying to look for him. I thought she was uh, shooting. Well, she ain't trying gonna to find him. Find him first. Oh, she went really far that time. <laughs> Acid of East up, baby. I'm really enjoying this. I actually this went is... to a elementary school called Alta Vista. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Are you telling me there's not one apartment available in Del Boca Vista? <laughs> Right at the foot. She really put her foot in her mouth. Tip. That's funny. I mean, when Jericho told Trish Stratus, Yeah, you're right, Trish. I did put my foot in my mouth. But that's nothing compared to what you usually put in yours. Oh. Ooh. Epic burn. <laughs> and that's Trish like Stratus, Jericho. let me tell you something. His mic skills were awesome. There. I laugh. Yeah, Mike awesome? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was awesome too. Chris Jericho is still definitely the man behind the mic. GG. Uh, uh, uh. KO. Floss victory. No, yeah. Solid that, Snake but... Tournament Fighter. I mean, Solid Snake. Metal Gear Solid Tournament Fighter. Or just middle gear. Mm -hmm. You have Gray Fox, Snake, Hoorah. Wolf, Meryl. That'd be awesome. Hoorah. I waited for this moment. So you used the other I am a sniper. weapon. Waiting is hmm. my job. Never moving a muscle. If you two was here. No, your job is in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Shot. You, you cannot save me. Please. Just finish me quick. I am a coward. I have always dreamed of a peaceful of Being an like ECW this. streamer. A curd. <laughs> so that's why you're called Wolf. Or being an ECW wrestler? On battlefield. Raised on the battlefield. Gunfire, sirens, and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs, day after day. Driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then he appeared. My hero, Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big, you mean boss? Big boss 100? I became a sniper. Big boss? <laughs> hidden, watching everything through a rifle hmm. scope. 
Now I could see war. Not from inside, but from the outside. As an observer, I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my life. Hey, not stupid. <laughs> Ooh. I joined this group oh my. of missionaries. Shots fired. To take my Shots fired. On the world. Not anymore, it's over. Uh, Wolves dying. You're done. But You're out. You'll never wrestle here again. Or anywhere, <laughs> you'll be dead. Sniper Wolf would be a good uh, heel manager. I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. That's all I'll say right now. now being a heel will be a lot more funner than being a face. Anacon would be a good uh, backstage interviewer, I guess. And not like dogs. Or commentator. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglinek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true. We're all for sale at some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. She... She was never my real target. I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A man like you. You're a hero. Please. Set me free. Why? Time to put old Yeller Why? down. I love Don't cry Bushido to be alright. I'm not crying, you're crying. Snake. I'm not dead, you're dead. Oh. Only two stand. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any handkerchief. I got one. I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Dirty deeds yeah. and dirty handkerchief. DTA. Don't trust anybody. To hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. On your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? Snake! What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through Snake, this, whose I'll side are you, you on? Oh. 
Okay. I love the PlayStation <laughs> 1 <laughs> graphics. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, Mr. Invisible Man. You can't see me. Okay, John Cena. Okay. Well, John Cena. John Cena versus Kevin Bacon. Oh. Kevin Bacon. I didn't know there was bacon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there was a wrestler named Bacon Man. Remember him? I wish nope. I remember the wrestler. Oh, that's because he didn't exist. But anyway, Snake now is <laughs> about to move sure on to the ground somewhere. space. Where I had to, that would be for part eight, where I had to insert disc two. Disc two. Insert now. No, oh, I lost disc part. two. First, I want to make sure that uh, I don't have the uh, infrared sensors and the Claymore mines. Dies of him. No, I don't know if I need that anymore now. Now that Sniper Wolf's done. Won't be having any more sniper battles. I don't think I need that anymore either, so why are they giving it to me? Gimme, 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 gimme. The PSG one ammo. So calm. Man, I just remember something. I could, I could use my mod detector. But anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! And I still run into it. I thought that was a camera. <laughs> I thought that was a camera uh, vision on the radar. That's why. Duh. Oh man. Mm -hmm. How stupid are you? Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Huh? No, no, neither one. I just <laughs> misunderstood that. So if I do timestamps for this video, I'm definitely putting that as a timestamp. Ron blows up. Boom. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Ron gets blown up. Ron fails. Ron fails. Otherwise, okay. Ron becomes the guy. Now those are the cameras. Okay, here we go. All right then, that's it for part seven. See you guys in part eight for disc two. Where things are gonna get very interesting. Mm-hmm. Until then, God bless yeah. you. Take care. Welcome to part ocho of Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. This is Ron Moore, once again with Mexico and ECW Blade Warrior. Okay. And oh, sorry. Yeah. Good times. Finally on disc right. two here. About time, Ron. I lost my disc two. No, I'm sure I don't even have the game. <laughs> <laughs> I love this place and I love the crane. The crane probably frustrated me the most. What was this, Terminator 2 for PS1? <laughs> I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. And which way did he go? Right, this part's tricky. Mm-hmm. It's easier to take out the crane. Ah, oh. oh, dang it, I let go of the D-pad because I was trying to... <sighs> messed up. Don't let go of the D-pad. Don't! Now oh. wait, wait! You can destroy the crane. Yeah. How? A rocket launcher. Yeah, but you'll the the alert will go off because they're here. They'll hear it, right? No, they won't hear it. Funny enough. What? Wow! I never knew that. Mm-hmm. Even Skip Rogers didn't know that. Only yeah. the Shooto Blade Warrior did. Too bad this is pre-recorded, so I can't do that now. But anyway. Hey, mm -hmm. we're live. 
No, I'm oh, oh yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, uh, I knew, Our I knew to um, been exposed. I knew to use the rocket launcher. I just uh, choose to do things the hard way because I'm a real Mayan. Plus, uh, not only that, the Kodak uh, Colonel sends you actually explains it. The code. Uh, I, I thought you died too many times. Colonel Colonel Sanders. I thought you said the Kodak Colonel, like the Kodak Colonel. Would that be Skip Rogers? Could be. Ooh, uh, watch out for those rats. Dang old rats. Let's take leg strength to do what he just did. Kneel down. Jeez, oh, man. Take a knee. Talk about living this on the is edge. Why I like substance and. Uh, Basically, uh, Sons of Liberty more than the first one, but I like the Twin Snakes. This game has some substance. Mm-hmm. Burn. America Solid Sustenance, or whatever it's called. This game is the E in EC Dope. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, dang it. Die. Shut up, you snitch. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. That's never right. happened. Mm, it's going it's here. Videos. It's kind of like wanna, how um, I've been playing Metroid recently. I'm going to get the body armor. Nice. Let off some steam, Bennett. Let off some steam, Bennett. It's all timestamps coming too for every time Ron dies. <clears throat> My video, there'd be like 50 timestamps. <laughs> Alright. The body armor. He might be hands full tomorrow night with the uh, farewell stream. I gotta say, Arnold's movie for Commando was pretty good. Ah, uh, yeah. What happened? What'd you do with Sully? I'll let him go. Remember, Sully, I said that I'd kill you last. That's right, Matrix! You did! You say did. That, Matrix! I, I lied. lied. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't disturb my friend. He's dead tired. <laughs> so many great dead one liners tired. in that movie. And it was even before Robocop had plenty of good one liners. Yeah. He oh shoot. What the hell is going on? Yeah, but whose side are they on? Damn. No mm -hmm. clue. Hey, at least this elevator doesn't have a weight limit. I had my stun gun equipped and they take it away from you as soon as the cutscene starts, you have to re-equip it. What? Now that's a BS. Oh my. You broke his neck. No, he's a licensed chiropractor. He, he knows what he's doing. Uh, yeah. uh, uh. Solid Snake in Chiropractor, the game. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Not me. Not me. Whoa. Where the heck are these ravens coming from? <laughs> no clue. Snake, I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay, what's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. 
I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But, you better check it out. Yeah, but whose side is she on? That mysteriously dying, that ninja, too many strange things are happening. Things are, happening. Mm -hmm. are you saying that Naomi might, might be behind it? What was that? Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could Couldn't hear you. Terrorists. If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Hmm. <laughs> Better watch your back, Snake. All right, time to get good. I hated this boss fight. So I'm sure you have your reason. going on I can't move the raven has put the mark of death upon you blood from the east flows within your veins ah, your ancestors too were raised on the uh -oh. plains of Mongolia Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other we share many ancestors you and I I don't have any crows in my family tree you jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, worthy adversary. adversary. Yeah, I really do not like this boss battle either. The world Eskimo Indian Olympics. Yeah, I know it. it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. <laughs> You want to pull each other's ears? Spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake. Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. We'll, well see. We'll see if the there's words. no words. Yeah, I just learned to keep using mines and claim more mines and hopefully not run into them. Mm hmm. If he doesn't blow them up, that is. Yeah, right. That's only if he sees them, though. Hey, 
Come on, Ron. You can do it. You can do it. He can do it. Oh, yeah. I've... I, I seen what he could do. Mm. Back in the day, I used to beat him with a stinger missile, but uh, I saw someone do this on YouTube, and it actually works pretty decent. Mm-hmm. I wonder what he's even shooting at. Oh, he hit one of them. So, he's just wasting ammo. He's got infinite ammo. Yeah, maybe there's like some targets out of sight that we can't shoot now. Watch your step, man! Bullseye! Boom! Oh, yippee ki -yay. Yeah. Enjoy the, the rest of that. Oh! Ouch. That looked like it hurt. It did very much. Oh! I wish I had infinite rations. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta love Vulcan guns. Oh yeah. You always need bullets. So, thank you, Skip. Any other advice? If you can't beat it, run. And his vision of sight is huge. Yeah. Oh, not that. Oh, he missed. But he didn't miss that one! Oh, nice. C4! I see four really what you did there. He's picking up the pace now. He's heaving and hoeing. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can see that. Ah! Eh. Dang, I thought he was going there. I hate the jump scare when he spots you. Yeah. Yeah, that. Aww. Come on, hit it, hit it. Jeez, oh, come on. Come on, man. Do me a solid. Just blow up. Do me a solid, Snake. <clears throat> there we go. Yes. Come on, show some ruthless aggression. <clears throat> yeah, show some ECW aggression. He's shown some aggressiveness, that's for sure. Shoot. Time to dodge some bullets. Ah. Oh, ouch. How is Snake not dead? <laughs> No clue. Because he's a solid guy. Hmm. I'm he's surprised he's not a holy man. <laughs> oh. Almost hit that. <laughs> Whoa, look out. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it, but I hit that one. <laughs> uh, that was kind of funny. It happens. Oh, come on. Hit one more, Raven. Uh, I don't even know why he's taking the long way. Hmm. What about me? What about oh, Maven? Ah. Ah. 
Oh shoot. Oh shoot is right. I'm just glad that the uh, ration hasn't frozen over. Yes, there we go. ECW. Blow you to ribbons. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you. Understand? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching for Lace of Antrible. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. What is it? That was not the dark. Derpa. What? Gotta love the Grim Reaper. So what was Decoy Octopus's true identity? I think we've barely seen him. Like in instruction books or begin the game or whatever. What does he actually look like? <laughs> no clue. Yeah. And whose side was he on? You can go to the uh, Metal Gear Wikia. No, that's cheating. <laughs> Who goes to Wikia? No, I'm just kidding. Well, it's ran by the fans, so... Yeah, how accurate are those things, though? I've read some wikias of fandoms, and I'm like, wait a minute, that's not what happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people just put and say what they want to say. The, uh, the Shawshank Redemption wiki, the guy that uh, slept with uh, Andy, Andy Dufresne's wife before they both got killed, mm -hmm. someone put on the wiki saying, he dead. That's all it said, he dead. That's the only information. It, it's, it's up for deletion or something. Pretty funny. He dead. Mm -hmm. Still, I trust the fandom than the actual Wikipedia page. Yeah. People used to tell me that all the time. I read off Wikipedia. I go, anybody can write anything on there. Yeah, Mexico goes uh, on there and edits yeah. a few articles. <laughs> I have about like six. It's me, Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No. She's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay. Maybe we better let the Colonel hear this, too. Yeah. Go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of... As a conspiracy. A spy. Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either. But she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? 
or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. Master sounds familiar. Sounds like somebody else. But anyway. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Ooh. <laughs> oh my. Whose side is he on? That's I'm losing track of whose side's on who and who who's on whose side. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is it for part eight of Metal Gear Solid. See you guys in part nine. Until then, God bless and take care. Follow the black cat. I shall return. Hey guys, this is Mexicool, along with the artist formerly known as Small Tummy Wonderful, now known as the Shooter Blade Warrior. How you doing? Thank you for joining me. Oh, no problem, Mexicool. I'm doing pretty good, and you didn't butcher my name. <sighs> I try. I try not to. I'm like, ugh. Of All course. Right. Hey, is that well, snow I see on the game? No, that's a chaff grenade, as uh, our good buddy Ron Mower used. Oh, nice. No, I was just wondering, because uh, today it actually snowed where I was at. Well, at the time of this recording, but it was actually nice to see snow for once. I hardly ever see it. Mm-hmm, sure. And the reason why Ron Mower can't continue the RP, or LP, is because he just got married this past Saturday. So everybody give him your uh, wishes, tell him, you know, congratulations if you haven't already yep. done that, and... Ron, we got you on this LP. Yep, we totally got you, Ron. Alright, let's see what goes on here. Ooh, alright, who's calling us? Snake, it's me! What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody oh, here. Quiet. No A little too quiet. Nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is I use the override that. system that President Baker told you about. Three keys. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Tricks, I huh? said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm three in the keys. I have right enough now. trouble keeping uh, just one key. Baker's private files. D Baker's is this file. President Baker a Baker <laughs> man? Of course, but I think so. Are you a Baker oh my. Cake. Yep, that describes me pretty well. Yes. As Gen 2 always says, get back in the kitchen and make me a sandwich and bake me something. If you're good <laughs> at it, at least. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh boy. Let's look around here. Let's see what we see. So soon, Otacon, you almost seem like a very clingy and stalker girlfriend. Exactly. Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. Jeez, I wonder how well Ron will do this time. While seeing that one LP where he failed quite a many, quite a, quite, quite, quite a bit. Quite actually. a many a time, right, Mexico? Oh, I just failed right now, so what am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, you're fine. That's cool. Yeah, so believe it or not, I've only beaten this game one time. I've only played it one time. Like, I, I've never owned a PlayStation. I've never owned this game. But I borrowed uh, it from a friend just to give it a go. And boy, it was I've, tough. I've played it once. I want to beat it again, but on the same difficulty level. And I still get creamed. Nice. Snake, I did it. You got past security. Yeah, I think I like Sons of Liberty more. <laughs> Yeah, you were telling me yeah. that you like Sons of Liberty better. Also, here it is a better game. Yeah, and I also like Snake Eater, too. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new That goes against the Start 2 plan and the Start 3 plan. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's only because of our dead president of the early 90s, Herbert Walker. Oh, gotcha. Yep. And that's not even the nice fact, I didn't about know that. Uh, he originally started the Start 1 plan. You mean it won't show up on radar? Or the Start 2 plan, which is a disarmament of nuclear weapons. Ah, oh, okay, I gotcha. Yep. Nice. Mm hmm. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing mm -hmm. could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and Listen. nuclear inspections. It's like you can't Girl, tell me the short version of the story. Are you listening? Guys, I got like a mission to do. I'm listening. Talk to you guys later. If word of this Snake, out, no wait, we gotta talk to you right now. The start three treaty. The start three treaty. Incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. Yep. The United States would be denounced oh, by the boy. UN. It could even bring the president. Oh down. heavens. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You As you shouldn't make any excuses. Any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but... I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disc with all of the test data. Well, it took what? it from me. Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical oh, to the man, real thing, so gonna have his work so. cut out for him, oh, isn't he? Out how to override it? Oh, for sure. But that's why they hand the big ones. Right now I'm looking through all right, Yeah, the considering the Metal Gear Rex is an all-terrain no, launcher from any uh, place, you name it. That's a threat. And of course, our good uh, friend uh, that's playing this game just kills everybody left, right, up, and down, and center. Yep. <laughs> he makes no offense count. Anything, but it's funny. So I guess those bullets, they have everybody's name on them. Mm-hmm. One for each name. One for each person. Are you feeling lucky, punk? <clears throat> Snake! Did you find it? No, I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. Derpa chief? It looks like <laughs> we were paying a lot of bribe money to the- He took our germs! Bribe money, huh? Yeah, and Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. 
So anyway, what about the override? Oh, Just come give on. Me a little, little bit, bit longer. longer. How long do you want? Mm -hmm. Oh heavens. It's like by the time, you know, he's you know, he's finally done, we'll be done with this LP. No, I'm joking, we won't be done with the LP, not yet. Not for a while. <laughs> yeah. We're trying. Definitely trying. Okay, I vented the power codes and disengaged the safety device. Oh, this is certainly interesting. Time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Chernodin? Hey, that's mentioned in Snatcher. No, there's been a change. The new Wait, I love Snatcher. Why, <laughs> boss? Snatcher is a great I'm game sure for the Sega CD and MSX. Really like I'm surprised that game's never came up on the ST2K channel. Oh, just Why? wait. There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence George of George Sears, otherwise nuclear it's all the snake. The what do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the president's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India. I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes. President will break. He will give in to our demands. One billion dollars. Oh man, that's quite a bit of money. <laughs> yeah, Austin Powers reference. Yep, I love it. The first one's better than the other two. I'll leave it as that, because it's true. Mm-hmm. It almost seems like Mike Myers isn't going to be making a fourth Austin Powers movie at all, at any point. Nope. Not even if the money's there. He's done. It's only if the speculation is true, but I think I think Mike Myers is not going to make a fourth one. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich? At the Spetsnaz. He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, <laughs> you know I just power, forgot the make millions is almost two billion dollars. I guess the best guy yeah. wanted his money so bad because he just bought a lottery ticket. Now the odds of winning those things are yeah, right. The lottery ticket. Regular army is a slim to none. More like none. Oh yeah, plus it's a very addictive habit. For some people, it is. I'm like, damn. New people that I used to work with, as soon as they got off of work, they're like, oh, or when they get paid, they're like, alright, I'm gonna go buy some water tickets and scratchers and stuff. My uncle is like, yeah, yes. almost like the Hope's Hotel. It's sort of like how my dad's Facebook account, or one of them, uh, added me and posed as my dad, and I'm like, what is going on? Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, and I was like, have you heard about the Powerball Lottery? And I was like, okay, let me get the Hoax Hotel, thank you very much. I've also heard that the probability of winning those aren't very good, so yeah, why try? Yeah, it's, sorry, we're not listening to you. No, you listen to me. Sorry, no, not interested. Yeah, I look at the odds for like the Powerball, it's like ridiculous. It's like, damn, you got a better chance of getting shot by lightning like five times or whatever than you do actually winning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I do gotta say though, that's more money than I would know what to do with. Yep. Like, even my neighbor was, uh, uh, 
There's a Facebook profile that randomly added me on the 19th of this month, and I was like, oh yeah, that's just a fake account. Like, what is it with all these fake accounts? They're everywhere. Yeah, and what's with these scammers that are out to fish personal information and your login to your Facebook? No, give us your information now. Now! No. Sorry, not interested. Nope, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Definitely wouldn't want to be ya. Yep. Snake, great I job. Great job. Secret the promotion is, great is job. yours. How's you burned it. There? They finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. You see, the override so like I said, I've only beaten this game about. one time, it which is be used ridiculous, the because, you know... And I've probably beaten it twice, I'm not sure. I've only beaten it once, but I know people that are really into this game are beating it. They're like, I've only beaten it once. And you can only use the keys mm -hmm. once. yeah. I mean, I also yeah. like the uh, Twin Snakes more. But it takes three keys, right? Yeah, I saw the reviews for that, and people just Hold genuinely... Like that game better, but you know, everybody has yeah, their own preferences. Yeah, they actually added an easy mode that's actually similar to uh, uh, Sons of Liberty. Yes. Yeah, I mean, this game is pretty tough. You know, you, you see Ron uh, die a lot. You should just see me when I play this. I would never do an LP of this. And Snatcher, and Snatcher is easy compared to this. Snatcher's. Clever. To me, too, it's a lot more interesting. I, I really like the story. And you see the input mm -hmm. in the yeah. of the control but room. I've never been into Metal Gear. I Just see. saying. Those but I've been in so many Metal Gear LPs. So it's interesting. should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Oh boy. Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First yep. I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, yep. right? This was used All in Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake. After you insert the key uh, in the okay. module, a hard disk reads the yeah. information contained. Yeah, Kojima is a brilliant, um, crazy game developer. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Damn. Oh, and that's a very costly fumble. There goes that card. Snake, this is bullet. Hope you had a spare one. No, I doubt you did. I'll enjoy watching. Wow, Liquid, Mr. Eli. Come on, Snake, Snake you gotta get that key. Got it's get the key. key. Get mm -hmm. it? No, I'm checking. Horrible. Yep. Let's see if I could do some. Now he has to run for his dear life. I'll do some lame Ron jokes. No, I'm checking. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, somebody's getting all shot up here. No, he's definitely getting shot up. I guess Snake is now a holy man, get it? Oh, ooh, I like that one. That's actually good. Cause Snake got filled with holes. <laughs> Better than what Dude, I was thinking. Hole it. it was like if Solid Snake was a cheese, what cheese would he be? It'd be Swiss cheese. Boo! No, <laughs> Cause of the holes. I guess Swiss cheese is considered a holy cheese among other people. If you say so. I didn't know that. Just making some jokes. Hey, that's what STTK is all about. Make some jokes. Yep. Oh, I gotta love the nuclear drainage ditch. I mean, guys, we're here. We're doing this for fun. That's why we're here. Yep. Course. Geez, I wonder what an old laptop from when when does this game take place? What year? Uh like at the literally just the new millennium just coming around. Oh, okay. Yeah, somewhere around like the 
takes above like 2001, 2003, maybe, yeah, maybe 2002. Yeah. I mean, I had a laptop from 2005. It wasn't very good. So imagine computers back then were expensive and not very good. Mm-hmm. I bet. I bet your Actually, smartphone that you have now is better than any computer yeah. from back then. And Windows at the time. Oh, Windows yeah. XP. I love the Windows XP. Okay. I used to have a yeah, Windows Millennium down. Edition. If anybody remembers that. <laughs> Ooh, man, dinosaurs, man, we're dinosaurs. We're old. We are, but we're cool. You know what's cool? Dinosaurs. Snake. Yeah, no, we're no, cool no, video no, game hipsters. Okay. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor Stegosaurus. Not sure. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but I didn't want the colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Die? No. Snake in this game awfully asks a lot of questions. It. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but what are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is the cause of death? Didn't the arms tech president and the dark Derpa? Chief, I mean, oh, you took our terms. Die of uh -oh. something that looked like a heart attack. Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid Yikes. the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. I can't believe So it. it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. Other than All Snake's only problem is, is rapidly aging. Snake, Naomi, it's Naomi. Naomi, what the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi. Is what the colonel says true? Yes. But not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. Huh. I don't know that my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification. But my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. It's like, my I, age, I know absolutely race, nothing about myself. Naomi. Of course. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. It's like, wait, how do you know what's Naomi, though? Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Now, I will admit, before the first time I played through this game, I looked at the strategy guy kind of knew what was coming through, what was going to happen, I know what else and I still died a lot. Me. Yep. I was alone for so yeah. long. Yeah. Until I As in him from the Powerpuff Girls, literally him. devil? Oh, I think that's... Yes. Yeah, that sounds about right. Frank uh, referencing the Powerpuff the Girls. Soldier. Yeah, I'm funny. When you picked me up near the, when, the good old days of Cartoon Network, I when was it was dead good. From starvation and he yeah. His rations with me. I can't say yes. I haven't watched Cartoon, Cartoon Network. The man who you I want to see. My brother and my only 2013? Oh, no. Was the last time I watched Cartoon Network? Gray Fox? 
I watched it only for Saturdays. Oh, nice. They had a lot of good stuff on Saturdays. Always good for anime. Yep. Yeah, don't even get me started about Cartoon Network. I was like, uh, what the hell do they even do now? I was like, man, I don't... I don't well, a lot of people are complaining about the president that's running things. Yes. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Stuart Snyder is out of the picture, so that's... Uh, a huge blessing. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Then again, I don't you watch cable at all very much, so, or satellite, any of that stuff, so, yeah. I watch a lot of people stream more, or I spend times and days with my girlfriend. That's good. So, were your prayers answered? Yeah, cable's just got way too expensive. And I had a friend who has it. I have a friend, he has cable, and pretty much every year it goes up. Yes. That's right. Yikes. Two years. Price gouging. You were all I thought about for two long years. Naomi Hunter sounds like a stalker and clingy girlfriend there. Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them oh, too. Oh boy. Dang it, Naomi. Naomi. You didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? Dr. No. Clark turned out to be a sheep. That's paramedic. Oh. A sniper and so snake eater. eater. Dr. Robotnik. He's come here to kind of, me. almost. I don't think so. I think he just came here Dr. Eggman, I always forget. I Which one was Jim Carrey? <laughs> a final battle with oh, heavens. That's all he lives for. Sure that Sonic it. movie was actually Boss. pretty good. No. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Die? Fox Die is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox Die contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages, they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then they cause a heart attack? The heart cells Otherwise, off uh, uh, ketosis. They kind of explain that in the Star Fox then Assault or the GameCube. Oh, okay. Apatosis. Sounds painful. Yeah. You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Yeah. Naomi. What? You must have Apoptosis is kill me too. definitely right. an interesting subject. Do I still have time? Naomi. I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision oh, to what? use Fox Eye. Oh, what? Mexico? Huh? You weren't. No. Oh. You were injected with Fox Eye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> ah! Snake! <gasps> Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed mm. from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. You betrayed me, Colonel. Don't come across me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? <laughs> oh boy. Oh. You know, things were already pretty bad. Now they're about to get a whole lot worse. 
Sorry, Things Snake. Just hit the fan now that the uh, oh, now yeah. that it's activated. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key. Express and my gratitude. The for us too. I really must express my Shape memory alloy business. Sorry to have involved you in that what are we talking about? Alloy business. Holy crap. What are you talking the about? The DARPA Chief's code. You weren't able to learn the DARPA Chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our what demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some of the reasons. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake, so I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Thanks, uh, Octopus Fox didn't die. survive the, the encounter. Oh, that's very unfortunate Thanks to hear that. He didn't die. survive. You mean you yeah, had yeah. this plan from the beginning? Just to get me to input the detonation code? Far by yourself, huh? did you? <laughs> you didn't think you made Who it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine useless now. to me. Their ace, ace in the, the hole, hole is useless now. Huh. Ace in the hole. The Pentagon's plan to use you was already oh. successful in the torture room. <laughs> What are you You're talking the about? Only one who doesn't know. Uh oh. Uh, poor fool. Uh. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Dear where brother. Where are you? Very close by. You're too See? late. That's not Master yeah, Miller. Yeah, you're very late. Campbell. Even I knew this was coming. But then again, I remember how to strike you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. Directly inside the base. Like, literally, right the there. He's right so there. He's in front of you. Snake, me. You there, brother. Hmm. It was me, Austin. It was me all along. No! You may die now. You may die now. Uh-oh. Lovely. Talk about having a bad day. This is a really bad day. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You uh, couldn't Snake break it open with a rocket launcher or something? Hey, that would work, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. But you would have to think about the recoil of the explosion, too. Of oh. Nikita. Or whatever. Yeah, I would end up blown up already by now. All right, let's blow up our let's blow our way out of here. Ooh. Oh, I'm dead. Mm -hmm. Snake, I'm opening the yeah. door. But I gotta say, Ron's editing skills has gotten better. Snake. Mhm. Mm Ah, uh, here we go, the part no everybody's way. been waiting for, yeah, including myself. Did you like my sunglasses? You point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the oh, Pentagon boy. are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. 
That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation. Laser Hunt terrible. Why? I wonder. Huh. Maybe no doubt. Let's see if I can find out the answer to that. No doubt. Petty revenge? No idea she was motivated by such a petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Is it an unsolicited demand uh, liquid? I would say so. Man, this is a Metal Gear game that pretty much like all my friends would always brag about. Oh yeah, you gotta play it. It's awesome. It's on two discs. It's a long ass game. It's the boss battles, everything. And they would just glow and talk and talk and talk about this game. And then they'd be like, hey, Yeah, of course, the game that? also has some wacky amount of glitches. That too. I had a friend find out like a few of them and he showed me and was like, Whoa, how'd you figure that out? Because so I guess the game testers mm -hmm. didn't see that. Yeah, seems likely. Well, then again, you can't catch everything. Twins. Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by Les enfants terribles. Les enfants terribles. You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. Yeah, I'll put this I game on my games gene. that I'll probably Everything never play again. So you would be the greatest mm -hmm. of his children. The only reason probably because the list I have of uh, games that I do want to play is so damn long. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. Hmm. I'm just the leftovers of what they Yeah, so I used to get to those, those at Tips and Tricks Can magazines, and once like the strategy guide came out for this, I was like, oh, oh okay, look this over, oh, okay, gotta yeah. fight Psycho Mantis in the second sure. controller port, so oh, I was like, this is interesting. Yeah. Of course, my friends were all jealous, they're like, I can't believe that, you spoiled the game. I mean, I kind of did, but you still have to play through it, and it's not a very easy game. Even if you know what's going to happen, where to go, mistakes happen. Yeah. Just look at a previous part that Ron War kept hitting the laser, kept getting caught, kept getting killed. Mm hmm. That's happened to me quite Multiple a bit. Multiple occasions. And also stepping on a, his own Claymore mind. If Bushido Blade Warrior had a dollar for every time I died in this game, he'd be a pretty rich man. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, you, you have more than a dollar. <laughs> I must have died over like 100 times this, 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 my first playthrough of this game. Oh, yeah, I suck. Mm -hmm. yeah. At least 100. Maybe like 95. Yeah, like, damn, that's so cool. You suck. I was like, yep, I definitely ain't playing this game again. There would be no LP of me playing this. Yep. Who would have thought that Liquid Snake was a pretty good uh, Gundam pilot? Or a mecha pilot? <laughs> it, it just comes natural to him. Mm-hmm. Is he some sort of new type? Huh. Could be. Gundam reference. Snake. <laughs> Impregnable. <laughs> and you can need a bigger gun. No, I'm joking. connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes? That's right. So if you could somehow destroy the sensors... The radar. see that round plate on Rex's left arm? Yeah, that thing that looks like a shield. That's a radome. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So he'll be blind. 
blinded. Yeah, try to hit that ray dome with a stinger missile so that would stop it. No, mm -hmm. the was designed so it can be controlled manually too. Oh, great. The part that looks like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it'll open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You different can't story. It. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. The cockpit. First, I destroy the ray dome. That will force him to open up the pilot's seat. Right. If you can shoot a stinger missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer control. I like to think of it as a character flaw. Point. It's not a weak point. I Me like too. To think of it as a character flaw. Huh. People just aren't completely yep. out some type of character flaw, don't you think? I guess so. Oh boy, let's see cockpit. how this goes. This is gonna be certainly interesting. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Good amount of damage. Ugh. I didn't like the missiles. But there's ways to dodge the uh, missiles that get shot. Just try not to get trampled, right? Yeah, that would suck. Ask all the bugs well, I stepped on. I'm sure they didn't like it. Mm hmm. I mean, considering if you get too close to Metal Gear's feet and <laughs> Liquid just decides to you know, step on you, yeah, it's basically instant game over. So it's an instant death if you get too close. Yep. That's why bugs stay away from your feet because they know if they end up under that shoe, they're dead. Same thing with Snake. He's like, mm -hmm. oh. That's for sure. I remember that stupid fatality from Mortal Kombat 3, Jax or whatever, he grows all big and then he steps on you. I found that Oh more, yeah, Mortal Kombat 3 and I found that more Mortal hilarious Kombat. than anything else. Yeah. Funniest stuff ever. It was. That was the game when they just decided, well, we're gonna try it. we're gonna try whatever we feel like. Animalities, babalities, friendships. Yeah, things that just got silly with time. That did. I think they figured, like, well, people were already established. We could do whatever we want, so why not? Mm-hmm. Yep. No, but that game did have some pretty awful fatalities. I think Smoke had one, too, where he just, like, shoots out a bunch of bombs and just blows up the earth. I'm like, oh. oh, that's definitely Smoke there. He just blows up the whole planet with you in it. So I guess there's re really no winner there. I guess that's a fatality slash har harakiri. I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, of course. Smoke wins. No, he doesn't. Nobody wins. We're all dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I really am not a fan of this boss battle here. Neither am I. This game, the, this part, was the part that took me the longest, and I was just like, ugh. Yeah, the missiles were kind of unfair. Very unfair. See, this is the part two where I played it and I got so close and I almost, almost and I just like, ugh, I give up. Right. After trying so many times, you're just like, ugh, I can't do this anymore. Alright, I'm done. Can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. I'm <laughs> gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sucks even more, like you said, when, you know, the missiles, but, you know, when you're so close to beating him, and then you just die, and you're just like, oh, all that work yeah, for nothing. Yeah, and you get stepped on, and you're like, mm, so angry. Yeah, step, when I got stepped on the first time, I was like, I didn't know I could die like that. And I was like, well, it kind of makes sense now, but yep. I felt more humiliated than anything else. Yeah, it's kind of a slap in the face. Exactly. Or a kick the groin. Exactly, that's how I seen it, too. I was like, wow. You know, you couldn't kill me with your cold missiles, but you could just step on me. Yeah, it's sort of like how I don't like, uh, you have to wait until you shoot bosses again because of their invincibility frames. Mm hmm Oh, that's I hate that. Cheap.
Well, <laughs> time for uh, Gray Fox's last stand. And it's brutal. Viewer discretion is advised. Mm hmm. Gray Fox is unbelievably super strong. Oh yeah. Holy cow. Plus, I like how they kind of make Gray Fox kind of like Mega Man with that built-in gun. I love it. Yep. Fox, why? What do you want from me? I'm a prisoner of death. Only you can free me. Fox, stay out of this. What about Naomi? She's hell-bent on taking revenge for you. Naomi! You're the only one who can stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. I was young then, and couldn't bring myself to kill her too. I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. I raised her like she was my own blood, to soothe my guilty conscience. I remember after playing through this boss battle, I was like, oh cool, and I see this part, I'm like, oh hell yeah. And then we all know what sure. I did it! It was me all along! I'm the one who did it! So no, I won't let you take credit for that. I will tell you, I did it. Hmm. <laughs> Oh man, that's not a very good idea. Well, Gray Fox is about to become a uh pancake. Ouch. Ouch. We hunt jackals. Beyond. Watch him die. Snake, are you just going to sit by and watch him die? Dread is than a jackal. is more dangerous than a jackal. Destroy the radar. Impressive. You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox, but now you're finished. <laughs> Oh, um, we got a hostage you, situation you here. No. Oh, Snake, you yellow belly pansy. <laughs> My words exactly. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Ugh, brutal. Snake, we're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing, the only thing I was good at. But at least I always fought for what I believed in. Snake, goodbye, Fox. It was nice knowing you. Oh. You had a family, damn it! Look what he did, JR! Crushed him! Crushed him, crushed his dreams, crushed every bone in his body. Yeah. Foolish man! Yeah. He prayed for death, and it found him. Oh man. See, this is not good. Anyone, not even yeah, no, yourself. Not well, that's that. Until next time.
Alright, until part 10. Until next time, guys. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to the finale of Metal Gear Solid. This is Ron Moore, along with Bushido Blade Warrior and Mexico. Hey, and it's been a long time since Ron joined us for commentary. Welcome back, Ron. Thanks, it's good to be back, and thanks for doing the rest of this game for me, because I wasn't able to finish it. Uh, yeah, no problem. That's very ECW of you, Danny. Yeah, it uh, sure is. Yeah, and believe me, uh, before we even started, like, oh man, I really, really... <laughs> Hated being invincible, having my god mode on, and then being locked into a the tank hangar and also the command room where Metal Gear is housed. And just, oh, so even if I destroy the cameras with the stinger, I'm not getting out of this room, am I? And the whole purpose was for me to die the whole time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <That> sucked! <laughs> that made me mad. Yeah. I remember um, in GoldenEye, I used invisibility in the the facility, but your mission objective is to talk to Dr. Dork, whatever his name is. He can't see you when you're John Cena. And I was like, ah, oh, dang it, so I had to start over. <laughs> you had to be the other John Cena. You had to be Word Life John Cena. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just glad that as I was playing this, it's good being in first-person mode because it avoids knockdown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah! That you know I get, say, you get knocked down, get back up. Mm-hmm. Yep, it doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down. It matters how many times you get back up. And this is it. Ah, oh, nope. What it? Uh, there you go. Oh, 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 oh. Damn. Dang it, Liquid... You didn't know how to take a hit with a stinger missile. You right? suck. <laughs> yeah, pretty annoying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Down you go. Get your Metal Gear action figure. Order it today. Live. Metal Gear cereal. Metal Gear cereal? <laughs> hey, I should have had that. That would be cool. Metal Gear, Cere Metal Gear cereal. Sons of, uh, what would, what would the sub name be? Sons of ECW. No, I'm joking. <laughs> sons, I don't know. Or Sons of a Bridgety. Of a what? Sons of a Bridgety. I've been watching <laughs> uh, Metal Gear uh, abridged series. Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh oh, look out. He's still not dead. Yeah. Why won't you die? He's like the you Terminator. Yeah. He just doesn't give up. Right. Mm-hmm. How would you know if Snake sleeps late, Liquid? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> The world needed men. The world needed us. We were valued. We were decided. Big Boss's dream was to have a place where heroes or mercenaries not to be forgotten, always remembered and valued as heroes, but not Big tools of the government. Big Boss Man's dream was to feed Al Snow his dog. Hmm. Oh God, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I shared that today on Facebook. I remember. My favorite was when he uh, took off with Big Show's dad's casket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My mom was like, what the hell are you watching? Yeah. And yeah, I Bruce Pritchard, about that too. Bruce Pritchard did a shoot interview about that. He said there was actually a real funeral service going on not far from there. And they were like, what the heck is going on? Mm. And that explained to him, sorry about that, guys. We're filming a, a vignette here. 
Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and still, now that's actually funny. Unlike Katie Vick, which is just disturbing. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know who the hell thought that. Uh, th Vince. Thought of that. that writer should have been fired. Vince McMahon thought of it. Oh, man. Oh. And then everybody was, was probably telling Vince, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Looking up to Vince. That's yeah. a horrible idea. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes, man. Damn, damn. Mm -hmm. that, was... But that was different. Your face is I'm different, Snake. For WWE. Wait. He said, your face is different, Snake. No, it's not. Ooh. We're twins, you idiot. Well, you're the ugly twin. <laughs> yeah, you you got the you got the you got the recessive genes. I got the ECW genes. You got the WWE genes. Oh, the genes, WCW genes. Oh, they're terrible. They're terrible say, children. Let, let's let's say fun let's say fun terrible lilies. It's a nice French uh, saying. Yeah. Lost in front of ECWs. Hell in the cells. Or cell in a hell. Ooh, super baby method, yeah. What was that movie called with they had those very intelligent babies? And they could talk, and their mind talk as if they're grown. Oh, oh baby geniuses! Yeah, okay, that's it. Yeah. Nice face, Basil. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, the movie. Look who's talking. <laughs> Phenom? Yeah. I got all of the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born. My bad. But Whoops. I, I did it again. What? Oh, man. The ECW soldiers. I've always dreamed of being an ECW soldier. But they're different. That is your dream. Yep. Yeah. We apologize for the slight laggage. <clears throat> Thanks to father's DNA, they were able to identify more A DNA impact. Responsible for everything from <sighs> yeah, good times. Killer Instinct. I haven't played that game in years. Gene therapy. That game. I'm horrible at Killer Instinct. NGSF. The Genome Soldiers. No trivia right there. That's actually Skip Rogers making a cameo appearance in this game. Oh, not, then, not, yeah, not him. Skip Rogers made an appearance in this. Not him, but the guy that showed before that. That was Dr. Doak from Goldeneye right there. Created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices. Just like a bad guy <laughs> to go over everything. I wonder if there's a video that keeps count of how many questions in the entire series characters asked and Mel Gear Solid. Mm-hmm. There's got to be a counter for that. Ding! Yeah. Ding! <laughs> also, I find it funny when you go through the information about the MSX Metal Gear games from the first one to the second one. When they talk about uh, Miss White, they misspelled it with... misspelled Holly with two R's instead of two L's. Hmm. Oh. So they made a grammatical error, just like in Mega Man 3, Dr. Y. Lee. Mm hmm. Yeah. Bimmy and Jimmy. I'm joking. Uh, Bimmy, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> you mustn't Bimmy. forget Bimmy. Where's Jilly? <laughs> oh, is that Marion's sister? <laughs> Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. Or, or, no, Nori Noriam is her twin sister. They too. Uh. <laughs> That's funny. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success. 
success. Success? Don't be a fool. Yeah, fear. You're the biggest fool when I hear you about sport foo. Mm -hmm. What? Of course, fear's not with us right now. He might be watching. Possibly. Hey, I was I, I was fooled a long time ago by Ron Moore and J Matt's April Fool's joke. Oh yeah, eleven years ago, epic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you were saying the only the only people that uh there's only like a couple people huh that did realize it was a joke or whatever and everybody else thought it was real just one yeah. that was uh kevin from sc2k oh okay <clears throat> well oh no yeah. oh no oh, wait i forgot green also because yeah, i was on gonna it. say green too because he didn't, did, didn't didn't he do the response yeah he was in on it yeah thing. yeah he did he was totally in a on bunch it of 12 year olds yeah <laughs> i honestly <laughs> believed him too yeah well, I would have went SD2KJ, man, because that was before I kind of, I didn't really know Ronnie back then, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even J-Man told me, he's like, yeah, I'm not going to be part of the SD2K or whatever, He because he, I talked to him on Skype, and he's like, and, you know, he kept he kept it going or whatever. He didn't say, oh, no, it's just an April Fool's joke. He got me, too. He got yeah. me. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the best kind of April Fool's. Kind of yeah. like how I did uh, Mega Man Legends, uh, when it wasn't even March anymore. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it's March somewhere. Just not here. I, no, I'm joking. I fought a few people. <laughs> I, I fought a few people uh, the other day. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I, I didn't even see the video. I, I seen it came up, but I, I watched it barely today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I watched the whole thing, and uh, I totally understand. Yeah, but at first, it was, it was April Fool's joke. I was making people think. I wasn't going to stream anymore. And Rich said uh, he was feeling sad as he watched it. And he goes, I go, April Fool's. He goes, oh, man, I really thought you were going to stop streaming. You got to look at the dates video. The yeah. dates on the video, people. Come on. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I have a name. No past, no future. You don't have a face. Mm. It's all right. I'd rather be a heel. Yeah. <laughs> Heels are pretty good, depending. Yeah. On who you like. It's easy to get heel, uh, heat. Just be X Pac. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Battle damage assessment. Colonel, you double cross me. The heck is AWAX? Uh, it's an okay. Air Force thing. Ajax. Military. ECW Air Force Base. Uh -huh. Oh, lovely. Piercing tactical nukes. Lovely. <laughs> Metal Gear. Of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel... If you do that, it's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced <clears throat> me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? Get off the camera, Colonel. What's Just going on, JR? What happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Make the Colonel. Roy Campbell. 
The Secretary of Defense just took over the Kodak. Who is that, King? That's the Secretary of Defense, JR, huh? Mm. Jim is a douchebag. What is J. Robert's dad doing in this game? Mm. Oh. Oh. There won't be anything left of you when I get my hands on you. <clears throat> and nothing will be the same. The Derpa Chief is already dead. Yeah. He was my friend. Then now he derped. Yeah, yeah. Everybody else, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Oh. You're an embarrassment, Jim. Your face oh. is an embarrassment. Ooh. Then now I embarrassed the ST2K, Ron. Then now you felt that way. <laughs> I was about talking it. about. I was talking about the secretary of ECW. Gotcha. Oh, and I was doing research of Metal Gear Solid on the Dreamcast. Oh wow, what'd you find there? Uh, let's just say that it's a little uh, darker on the Dreamcast. You stole everything from me. Oh, boo-hoo, Liquid Man, up already. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. You took well, the ECW heavyweight title away from me. I want it back. <laughs> <laughs> you took me. You took away the title boss from me. It's a title you don't deserve. Oh, no, I'm joking. Oh, oh heavens! I wouldn't be. I wouldn't mind being a manager like Paul Heyman, just talking, talking, <laughs> talking. Yeah. Maybe occasionally getting slammed. Brock. <laughs> Brock Lesnar. Did somebody say three minutes? Uh oh. And it takes uh, like 30 seconds, half a minute just to get into this battle as Liquid is just ranting. Yeah, it has a head start. At this height, mm -hmm. three minute warning. Should there be a it's cheat where you freeze it? Music ever. Should be a cheat where you freeze the time. Mm hmm. How about you? Here we go! Snake versus Liquid! The match of the century! Oh, I can't wait for that! Oh, he kicked me off! He almost fell off! Rules. He almost fell off, JR! Huh? Shut up, King! Liquid's a despicable human being, if you can even call him that! Mm -hmm. Kidnapping Meryl! Look at poor Meryl over there! Somebody help that young woman! Yeah, and get her out of the ball. Eat, eat, see, E-E-C-Double-W-E-C-Double- -E -E Oh! The commentary team I liked was uh, Coach and Al Snow or whatever. I think they used to do Sunday Night Heat. I liked- mm -hmm. They're pretty good. I liked Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby the Brain Heenan. Oh yeah, Bobby the Brain Heenan. One of, probably one of the best. Rest in peace, Bobby. Hey Gorilla, you know how the Undertaker got that urn? I'm almost afraid to ask. He earned it! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, I said, ha, you know, that's the king. I got, I didn't mean to imitate yeah. the king. I'm imitate, 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 imitate Bobby the Brain Heenan. And, and he goes, uh, yeah, the old fashioned way, he earned it. But will you stop? Yeah, the commentators I got stuck with most was because I watched SmackDown during the Ruthless Aggression era was, uh, I think it was Taz and Michael Cole. And Taz wasn't too bad, but Michael Cole could get annoying. 
Well, him and oh, Taz together were actually pretty good. Definitely did have his annoying moments. He was yeah. good when he was with Taz. Over the years, I don't know what happened to him. I guess without Taz, he just isn't that good. I'm telling you, Taz mm -hmm. carried him through commentary. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. they, Taz they were just can good actually, together. That's all it was. Taz yeah. got the commentary for days. Hey, yeah. I got him back for almost trying to kick me off. Uh oh. Oh! You almost had Tom. Shut up! I'll beat him. Almost. Can you can you can't you stomp in his hand right there? Nah. Invincibility frames. Ah. Uh, oh come on! Oh hurry up! Oh no! Oh. Ah! Oh, and right no. there, you told me not oh, to oh! Line, I almost thought I killed Merrill there. I know you can. I know you can stop him. I know you can stop stop him in mid charge. Uh huh. There you go. <sighs> Bye, Liquid. Die screaming. Mm -hmm. All right, start the slow ten count until he gets back in the ring. <laughs> One. Yeah, the, the last two, man standing. Two, ten. No, look, look, <laughs> no, no, he's like a, he's just a, a splat on the on the ground, so you know he's dead. But they still count to ten slowly. <laughs> last man standing match. He somehow materializes back together like the Terminator. Good God, he's still alive, King. But he didn't uh, beat the ten count, so he lost. 1, but whose side is he on? Meryl with her Karen haircut. Meryl is actually pretty hot. Hot headed. Oh, no, she. Soul. The best is yet to come. Thanks, Danny. Just like in the movies. An ECW job. I guess we're considered expendable. Is there a way That's a good movie. A way out? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, indeed. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No. It's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I'm going to keep doing the voiceover for Skip Rogers. Are you crazy? Mm -hmm. I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon. Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my, my own decision. Otacon. This is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Snake, I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Meryl, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks? Well, that sounds nice. I believe in you. Thanks, Snake. I'm counting on you. Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where's Otakon? Otakon. He's, he's, he's 
funny how Meryl's Dude. voice actor is pronounced Otacon. Yeah. Uh, I think you can on, really tell that she's really American. I think that was on purpose, though. Like, she just don't know how to say, like, Meryl don't know how to say his name right. Mm, yeah, of course, Meryl could probably say that it's Hal, but... Let's play Ocarina of Time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, in, uh... The abridged series they made, Otacon pronounced Japanime. Japanimes. <laughs> like, <laughs> Japanimes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was really original stuff. I must be heavy. Looks like we're not gonna have a love scene after all. What's that way? Too bad. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Snake. It's freezing outside. You need some clothes. There's my sneaking suit. Oh, hey, there's my sneaking suit. Yeah. Pretty How sneaky. Convenient. It just happened to be right there. Yeah. Hurry. Mm, looking good, Snake. Yeah, <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Don't rush me. Don't rush me, woman. Yeah, better get that. Gotta get the ration. Even though I'm in COD mode, I really don't need it. You gotta be rational in this game. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. I don't even know why I did this. <laughs> It makes for a good video. That's all. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The car wouldn't start at first. That would have been a good mm. opportunity to endorse Die Hard Batteries as their sponsor. Mm, and now, what more sponsor? Die all Hard right, Batteries. This is where I skipped enemies and actually blip, went for the barrel. Yeah. Good job. That's a barrel of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fun. Snake freestyle rapping. Her name mm -hmm. is Meryl. I really like her. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. I'm gonna fail. Oh! Oh! We will if you shut up! Rap, uh, pretty good rap on par with John Cena. <laughs> yeah. Kurt Angle. <laughs> My name is Kurt Angle, and what the heck? I want a gold medal with a broken freaking neck. Oh, I'm Kurt Angle. Angle. Oh, funny. Allow me to mangle you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But what else did he say? My name is Kurt Angle. I'm the king of rap. Better watch out, cause I'll make you tap. Or Man, I'll I remember mangle. watching that live. <laughs> it was funny. I was laughing. <laughs> Some people just don't know how to freestyle rap and don't know how to rhyme worth silver tip dimes. When do you ever give up, Liquid? Yeah, you already lost the match. It's already, like, past the 10 count. Mm-hmm. Way past it. <laughs> no TAS was used here, and look how many times I've shot Liquid yeah. in how, the face. How did you unlock ECW mode? Uh, I used the Game Shark code. Oh, cool. For nice. infinite health. Nice. Uh-huh. Why are you Just cheating? The game's not... Oh, why, why are you cheating? The game's not saying, where did you learn how to drive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that in the video. Why are you cheating? Turn off invincibility. Turn it off. Get good. Yeah. <laughs> I still remember that. The guy got mad go at me. I live with this because, well, I probably wouldn't be able to handle everybody's criticism. I mean, I just ignore them or they won't shut up. Like that one guy. The goblin or somebody oh, will ban I them. Ignore, I ignore them, but it's like, okay, you're making me stressed. Oh yeah, well, if it gets to where it won't shut up and they're just causing toxicity, then just you, you or the moderator will ban them. Like that Tom Goblin banned that guy. Enjoy it, bro. Mm -hmm. 
because he got mad that I was cheating in Mario 2. And uh, Jay, the NES addict, was in the chat. It was funny. He goes, hey, Ronnie, he's not enjoying it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Best joke ever. Dang, I should have said that, too. I said, hey, just enjoy it, bro. But I didn't even think about that. But but that's all right. Jay got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's always weird to get people like that in your stream. And you're like, man, these people, if you're not enjoying it, you know, just get out of here. Right. Yeah, I mean, also, if they're not subscribed to you, that's clear, a clear sign that they don't fully support you. I remember Danny got rid of those trolls in my uh, Metal Gear Solid stream on, uh, when they were on Twitch, and they and one of them came over to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, yeah, it's like, I really don't like anybody talking about somebody, <clears throat> talking about whether they've lost it or not lost their virginity. I'm like, dude! How is this even your business? Why are you getting yeah. personal like this? Probably in high school. High school students insult each other like that. You're still virtual. Oh, yeah. Okay, Bear. <laughs> and people like that. Uh, yeah. I'll just say, your mom's a virgin. Ooh. Ooh. Like She's virgin a virgin Mary. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute, King. Good Ooh, God, he's wait. still alive. What? You, your car crashed. How are you still standing? Why won't you die? He has the fucking recessive. Yeah, he has the recessive of genes, but he's still oh, yeah, still alive. Uh, no, fu fox. The end. Game over. No, I'm joking. Die. And now word from our sponsor, Die Hard Batteries. He's having a heart attack, Jr. Yeah, die. Fox die. He's having a heart attack, Jr. That's impossible. Congratulations, the SC2K got sponsors. Every 30 seconds, we have to mention a word from our sponsor. Sponsored by yeah. ECW. Arizona no, sponsored by Ron Moore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. The ECW Ron Moore. Yeah. Get good or get out or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that video, though, the Ravenous Spectre. Get good. <laughs> get yeah. good. Get yeah. good. F you, of course. I know how he is. He literally said the actual word. I love that. Yeah. It's fucking, yeah. That was funny. That's how, that's the, that's that's how, that's how I discovered hilarious. him. That's how I discovered him. And I subscribed to him because of that. Yeah, I mean, just because whoever plays their game a certain way, it's like, eh, whatever. Nicholas Stry he does sound like a snake. Now that's the spirit. I have complete authority over mm -hmm. operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Merrill's fine. Mm -hmm. Really? I like to hear this game in Spanish. I'm sorry. Muy uh... habla español. Yeah. It's okay, Colonel. Not bad. Not bad. I'm not a Mex Mexico can translate. Oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's Mexico. A you... episode of SD2K in Spanish. Ernest, you and Mazen well, Power I... on YouTube should do a Spanish uh, live stream. Just talk, do the whole stream in Spanish, playing video games. That'd be fun. Yeah. I'll even put. That would uh, be my... pretty difficult for me because I can only understand a few words. Hopefully, me I'll and Mazen. The game in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, me and Mazen would do a collab one day if he can come to my house here in Mexico, and he'll translate to the Spanish audience. <laughs> oh, that'd mm -hmm. be cool. <laughs> yeah. No, I was playing Resident Evil Revelations too. I had it in uh, Spanish, and I was like. Some of the translations, also, that's not what they said. And, like, you know, the literal translations are different from, you know, one language to another. It's never exactly what they say. Yeah. Indeed. I had to learn that on DVDs.
Roy D. Mercer. Snake, I'm gonna come down there and kick your eyes. Oh. What about uh, Raven? Shaman, son, how about I kick your uh, kick you in the arse? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Don't worry. Mailing is with her right now. Hank Hill, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'll tell you what. <laughs> that was a good show. That was funny. King of the Hill is great. He had one last message he wanted to say to you. Rusty Shackelford. He told me to tell yeah. you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that. So that's not, that's not what he said. Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. He'll always love you. Rest in peace, Frankie Edgar. With every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe. Maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. What about Vulcan Raven? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah. yeah. So when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. That's all I can say to you. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. Hmm. I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake. Whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then, and then die. I mean, live. Don't you think, Snake? Just live. Don't worry. I'm going to choose life, too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from here on, I'm going to just live. Down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a leap to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other, teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. Have y'all ever rode on a snowmobile? I finally realized. No, I but I have. have. You have? Just a lot more. Just oh. a lot more. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for my own game to come out. I don't think I've actually rode on a lawnmower. I just used one, but not rode one. Let's keep it as a reminder. 
Yeah, my grandma had one, and then I was like, oh, cool. So I was just driving around on it, and they're like, get off of that thing, unless you're going to mow the grass. <laughs> you call yourself lawn mower, but you never rode a lawn mower? That'd be my entrance or whatever, the Mexico's entrance where they come in on the lawnmowers. Yeah. Like Smackdown yeah. versus the Raw games. <laughs> yeah. That's how everyone is. You, Mazin, and Omega Ace Gaming, the Mexico's. Nice. Or maybe you, Mazin, and, and we got Nico, if you're still around. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? I'll be super loco. Yeah. Except I can't do a moonsault. <laughs> Off the balcony. Man, he was one of my favorite wrestlers. I went back and watched his uh, ECW matches. I was like, damn. Yeah. And Joe Gurdon on commentary goes, Super loco means super crazy. Or, or super crazy means super loco. And jo Joey Styles says, thank you, Mike Tenay. <laughs> uh. One of my favorite factions or groups, uh, the Mexicals. Yeah. Will we find it? We'll find it. Good times. What are those? Caribou. To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. Time for hope. It's a time for ECW. Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou. Your face. <laughs> oh. I think I'm gonna like this new life. Come on. Let's enjoy life. Plot twist, the thing doesn't stop, uh, stop, start, and then they die in the snow and the cold. Spoiler alert. No, I'm joking. Uh. <laughs> in the 1980s, there were more. No, I'm not going to read that. <laughs> oh, come on. I was looking forward to that. <laughs> I was like, you probably do. You know, Ravenous Spectre, I like when he does like that. Like he reads stuff. It's funny. Yeah. And Jerry Ray, that's not. Part two. Yeah. He'll read all country. However, as of 1998, there still exists 26,000 <laughs> nuclear war high ends in the world. Oh, There's man. still 26,000 taters. <laughs> Ron would be good at impersonating people. Like if he's doing stand up, oh yeah, some of my friends, all right, I'll grab an inspector, and then he's gonna start talking like him. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> like, all right. Up. Now a word from our sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> Ned Flanders. Oh, James Flanders. Okay. All James right. Flanders. Chuck, Chris Farley. Oh, Chuck Farley. Otherwise, Cam Clark. Yeah. Doug Stone Cold Steve Austin. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's the end of Mel Gear Solid. And we finally finished this LP. It's kind of a long LP, yeah, but, but for good reason. It took a while. It took about maybe two months. Well, I mean, wait, for the whole LP in its entirety? I think, when did we start it? Last uh, some, no so, uh, spring or summer? <laughs> I don't remember. I had to go back and look. I know Megadan and Ravnus Spectre were in, and like, probably part one. Uh, Omega Ace Gaming in part four or five, whatever it was, with the battle with Psycho Mantis. So a lot of people... Maybe the, with those three, other than us, I think those three were the only a special guest that appeared in this LP, I think. And, yeah, it was fun. And I did not, did not get to record the rest of the game, the final battle, with uh, Metal Gear. Because I had to move, transition to Mexico. And most people know that story, but I still enjoy doing this LP. And, yeah, so uh, I think I've rated this game before. I forgot what rating I gave it before, but I know I'm going to give it... A nine. I thought I would say a nine out of ten. The voice acting, of course, is great. Much better than Resident Evil. And oh yeah. And the game is uh, is just awesome. And uh, yeah, the story is great. And just the the innovation, like the the battle with Psycho Mantis, how he reads your memory card, reads your mind, and how you got to beat him up. 
unplugging controller one to controller port two, which I tried that on the PC computer with the emulator that didn't work. <laughs> so, um, uh, but the funny thing was is that it actually works. It's just you have to clear out the player one controllers and then plug it into port two and then set up player two. Yeah, it's, yeah that sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, so forget that. So I actually streamed this on the, my uh, actual console, uh, well, on the PS2 console last spring. And so, yeah, that was fun. This game uh, will always be ECW. Uh, my favorite game on the PS1. Again, I give it a 9 out of 10. Danny? Uh, about mm, a 7.5 out of 10. All right. What are your thoughts on the game? On easy, and when it comes to setting off alarms with the gas chambers, yeah, that part's difficult. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, Mexico. You know, I, I give this game, I always do the weird rating, I always do the letters, so I'll give it an A minus. And I gotta say, you know, this is one game that I always heard about from everybody that had a PlayStation. They would talk nonstop about this game. And I could see why, you know, it's a really great game. And, uh, you know, just the adventure, you know, going through this whole game, it's awesome. And then for me in particular, you know, I've only played it through it like a couple of times and only probably beat it once. You know, I really did enjoy it. I just haven't had a chance to get into it as much as everybody else. But, you know, overall, it's been a, it's a really great game. And my most fondest memories of this game, I'm going to have to say, though, is not from playing it, but from doing the actual LPs of this game. Yeah. I remember in high school, people talking about this, too, around when it first came out. And I've heard of Metal Gear, but that was Metal Gear for NES. And I never, I think I might have seen this on commercial. If I remember, I think there was a commercial for this game. It's probably where I've discovered it. Uh, it's like PS3's third year uh, in, in ex existence. The PS1's uh, third year, yeah. And yeah, this game is timeless. Metal Gear. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to come across, uh, I've, I hardly come across anybody that has the original PlayStation that hasn't played this game or played, you know, Metal Gear in some for, form of play or whatever, whether it be, you know, the original or a remake or something. Yeah. You know, this game is you know, very popular. Yep. Unfortunately, though, I've only beaten this game once. Even with the strategy guide, I still got my ass handed to me. I beat on normal. I don't think I ever tried on hard. By that time, I was getting hooked onto Sons of Liberty. Oh, nice. <clears throat> EC 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 freaking dub. Double the best this game is gets the ECW out. stamp of approval. Oh, yeah. If Ron puts the ECW stamp of approval on there, you must go play this game now. Developed by ECW Entertainment Japan. Good times. life they want to live the important thing is that you choose life and then live it's over or is it <laughs> yes sir the entire unit was wiped out those two are still alive the vector yes sir Fox died activated soon, right on schedule. Yes, sir, I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir, I covered as a <clears throat> Nobody knows who I'm <laughs> Awesome, I'm trying to uh, freestyle rap. Uh, chopping slow, <laughs> <Here's> <laughs> music. music. Thought 
he was the inferior one. <laughs> yes, sir, I agree completely. It takes a well-balanced individual such as yourself to rule the world. No, sir. No. Everyone knows that you were the third one. Solidus. Who's the third mm -hmm. man? What should I do? Solidus. Yeah, but whose side is he on? What? Mr. President. Biden, dun, how could dun, you? Dun. <laughs> what a cluster. Joe Biden at Saldus Snake. Uh, All right. Uh, I killed about 25 of them. Oh, you're, a, pan times I got. Oh, you're a pansy. You beat, on, you beat on easy with ECW mode. You're oh. a pansy. You need to be a, be a real man and beat it without cheating on hard. I'll I got a flying squirrel rank. <laughs> What 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 rank is that really? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't even remember my rank. I was like, yeah, I beat it. Turn it off. Flying squirrel. <laughs> All right, guys, that does it for this let's play. Thank you very much. Thanks to Mega Dan, Rapid Inspector, Omega Ace Gaming. I uh, hope I didn't forget anybody else that may have joined in on commentary. And of course, thank you guys. Thanks to Danny for recording the footage when I couldn't finish the LP before I moved. So. Mm -hmm. It was good, guys. Thank you very much. I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care. Take care, everybody. And it was great finishing it up, even though I admit that I had to not restart it once, but twice. Stay hmm. ECW, people. And that's the end of the LP. Or is it? Yep. Be sure.